There is only fresh perspective and new beginnings. This is a love story. I don't think that's true. There is no audio. Wait, there is audio. It's just so quiet that I can't hear it. Let's see. There is a lot of options here. Controls. Uh, I'm... I don't know. I'll find out later. Um, there's no options. All right, I guess I'll just start a new game then. Chapter one, the hero and the princess. Cool. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Um. Wait, is this a fucking visual novel? What the fuck? Wait, explore the end of the world. Wait, explore the end of the world? What are you talking about? Have you considered that maybe the only reason she's going to end the world is because she's locked up? What the fuck? How many options are there? What? Killing a princess seems kind of bad though, doesn't it? Can someone else do it? Forget it, I'm not doing this. Have you considered that maybe I'm okay with the world ending? <laughs> do I get some sort of reward for this? These are all valid options. Oh, okay. Thanks for telling me what to do. <laughs> Sweet, I've always wanted to off a monarch. Viva la revolucion! <laughs> then you continue to the cabin, turn around and leave. This seems like the quickest ending. Seriously? You're just going to turn around and leave? Do you even know where you're going? Absolutely not. Okay, fine. You're persistent. I'll go to the cabin and I'll slay the princess. Ugh. Okay, fine, I'll go to the cabin and I'll talk to the princess. Maybe I'll slay her, maybe I won't. I guess we'll see. Lie. Yes, I definitely know where I'm going. Nope. <laughs> the only thing that matters is where I'm not going. The cabin. I'm not going to the cabin. Uh. I'm actually pretty okay with the world ending. I relish the coming of a new dawn beyond our own. Gonna go walk in the opposite direction now. Uh. And quietly continue down the path away from the cabin. Maybe I shouldn't use a controller. Because I thought this would, like, I would actually have movement. But also, wait, I can... Oh, it moves with the... Um... The screen moves with the mouse, that's cool. Let's say nope. Fine. I suppose you just quietly continue down the path away from the cabin. Good. What we're being asked to do here is wrong. Better to wash our hands of this whole situation than to take part in it. Wait, voice of the hero, I just realized. Ignore that annoying little voice. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Okay, you could have gotten a different voice actor there, but all right. That's strange. It looks like this path also leads to the cabin. How convenient. Everything back on track again. Maybe the world can still be saved after all. Okay, I'm good. Uh, okay, okay, I'm going into the cabin. Sheesh. Turn around again and leave again. Let's do that. Yep. It's remarkably selfish, if you ask me. I've already outlined the stakes of the situation. If you don't do your job, 
everyone dies. Like, dies, dies. Forever. That sounds like a you problem, my guy. I don't care, I'm not killing a princess. Good, maybe everyone should die. It's what they get for dumping me in the woods and asking me to kill someone for them. You're not emotionally blackmailing me into doing this. Probably continue down the path. Good, maybe everyone should die. It's what they get for dumping me in the woods and asking me to kill someone for them. When I said everyone, I meant everyone. That's a pretty large group to just condemn to death over a single princess. Again, that doesn't sound like my problem. And last I checked, you're part of everyone too. So if you think about it, walking up to that cabin and slaying her is really in your best interests as well. I don't care. I don't mind dying. Also, wait. The, um, the cursor, I don't know if the stream can see it, but the cursor is, uh, oh no, the stream can't see it, but it's like this, this really, like, messed up hand. Fine, just turn around and press back down the path you came. Oh, would you look at that? You're at the cabin again. Now, I'm not normally one for superstition or astrology, but I have to say, it seems like the universe itself is doing its best to bring you to your fated confrontation with the princess. There's no fighting this, is there? I have to go into the cabin, don't I? Fine. Oh yeah? Well, I guess... Well, I guess I start walking in a different direction again. In fact, I'm going to just keep trekking through the wilderness until I find a way out of this place. There's always a choice. Let me tell you right now that you're making the wrong one for pretty much everyone who has ever lived, as well as for everyone who ever will. That's not my problem. And here we go. As you trudge into the woods, something strange starts to happen. At first, it's little flickers out of the corner of your eyes. Glimpses of familiar wooden structures through the leaves. But as you focus on your surroundings, you start to realize that those flickers weren't just a trick of light. In every direction, there is a path and a cabin. And not just a cabin, the cabin. An infinite fractal of paths and cabins desperately trying to draw you back. Where you need to be. <laughs> this is like the opposite of plot armor. This is like the plot going against the main character. <laughs> Wait, what's going on? You're too stubborn for that, aren't you? It doesn't matter how many paths or cabins appear around you, you're just going to do whatever you can to shirk your responsibility because you care more about irritating me than you do about the fate of the world. <laughs> You're not wrong there, buddy. You've doomed us all. You know that, right? But of course you do. Otherwise, you wouldn't just wander off into the forest in search of certain death. You lose track of just how long you spend aimlessly tromping through the wilderness. And it's not like any of that time spent lost in the woods really matters, because it isn't long before the world ends and everyone dies. Yay! Chapter 2, The Stranger. What? Wait, what? <laughs> it ad advanced the next chapter? In the woods. And at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Hey, Milo, how you doing? You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Oh, so it's not actually a chapter. It's like kind of just resetting, kind of like uh, kindergarten. Explore. I'm getting a terrible sense of deja vu. Wait, hasn't this happened already? Okay, no. You aren't kidding. She actually ended the world last time, didn't she? What the hell is she? Oh, you bastard. You're in, You're in for it now. I'm wise to your tricks. But I died. The whole world ended. What am I doing here? Those walls weren't there last time. You can't just force me to go to the cabin. Also, yeah, there's a wall here. It's like... Good, you? Um... 
Could be doing better. Yep, okay. Heading to the cabin now, where I'm definitely going to stay, that princess. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I'm going to the cabin. Suddenly proceed to the cabin. Let's say... I'm getting a terrible sense of deja vu. A terrible sense of deja vu. No, you don't have that. This is the <laughs> first time either of us have been here. <laughs> no, no, no. You totally don't. doesn't remember that. what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. I don't know. I think it's more fun if he knows what we're thinking. He's like a captive audience. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> we're something contrarian. Who are you? <laughs> Got off for Easter break now? Nice. The entire world ending wasn't enough to get rid of us. I don't think there's much he can do other than object. I wonder what else we can do to ruin his day. <laughs> and if by ruining my day, you mean ruining everyone's day forever, then yes. I suppose there are plenty of ways you can pull that off. <laughs> Let's do it. The world really did end last time, didn't it? We should be careful. For all we know, we just got lucky. The world hasn't ended yet, and you are never going to slay her with that attitude. Stuff those pathetic little voices to the back of your mind and stay focused on the task ahead. So great. Those walls weren't there last time. Can't just force me to go to the cabin. Okay, head into the cabin where I'm definitely going to slay the princess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm get, I get it. I'm going to the cabin. Suddenly proceed to the cabin. Those walls weren't here last time. You can't just force me to go to the cabin. What are you talking about? I'm sure those walls have always been there. It makes sense if you think about it. If there weren't any walls in the woods, someone might have gotten lost. Or, heaven forbid, someone other than you might have stumbled onto the princess. Oh. Wow, you're just not giving me any choice. Uh, let's lie. Yep, okay. Heading to the cabin now where I'm definitely going to save that princess. You know I can tell when you're lying. Uh, saw a picture, it was Mario and Luigi Barrett's walk and for replaced Bowser on the box art. Damn. <laughs> That's great. A warning before you go any further. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. We're stuck going in there. Maybe we should believe her. Maybe she isn't a liar. <laughs> Ignore him. He's just being difficult for the sake of it. Let's keep an open mind. Depends how cute she is. That will determine everything. Wow, I have a lot of choices here. The cabin interior is wrong. A confusing patchwork of many cabin interiors all projected across what's almost the same space. It's all shifted. An inch here, a foot there, such that the seams are never quite visible enough for the place to make any sense. If I say here, say so don't have Discord. Yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> I mean, once I reach 500, I'm probably gonna, I'm, I'm gonna do like a for a solo run, so. Uh, also, uh, I don't, uh, yeah, this is trippy, because, like, the door, the mirror, and the rocks on the floor are completely still, and the window and the table, too, but then the background moves, if I move the cursor, this is trippy as fuck, uh, Material devoid of feature. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. Yoink. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. If he wants us to take it, maybe we should just leave it to collect dust. Or better yet, grab it and throw it out the window. 
good as a knife against a world ending monstrosity anyway. That's a fair point. No, we're taking the knife. <laughs> have you seen this place? We have literally no idea what to expect and no idea what we're dealing with. I've already told you what you're dealing with. You're dealing with a princess. How many times do I have to explain this incredibly simple and straightforward premise? You can't just say that. But when everything here is so wrong. Listen to me. My job is to describe facts as facts and to guide you through your job. I don't trust this narrator. And through that action, save the entire world. I don't trust you. I think you're like the narrator in um, Little Misfortune. Where you're secretly the villain. So, why should I trust you, huh? Also, weird how it evolves from basically a rabbit to a ferret. Then again, it's the same gen as a f uh, where a fish evolved into, evolves into an octopus. Well, actually, that one is supposed to be a gun evolving into a tank, but yeah. But if you're going to slay her, you cannot let fear creep into your heart. You cannot lose yourself before you even get to her. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. you've piqued my interest. What's going to happen if we lose ourselves? Nothing, because you're going to pull yourself together. Just ignore the stressful geometry and stay calm. How? Even if we closed our eyes, you're constantly describing it to us. Uh, also, how's the audio? Just... Oh. Um, okay. Just need to double check. Looked more like a tank in the beta design? Yeah. But like, they didn't just change it, so... <laughs> I'm not going to stop doing my job. You're just going to have to get better at yours. <laughs> if you don't mind. Yes, take a deep breath. I'm all for getting under his skin, but we'll miss out on loads of fun if we shrivel up into a ball and go insane the first time we see something weird. Yeah. What you're seeing here is obviously real. Just accept it and go with the flow. It really isn't hard. Okay. Okay, I'm fine. I like how they all have the same voice. Like, is it, is this like, like the hero and then like the narrator and the contrarian, and like the angel and the devil on the shoulders? Is that what this is? important task explore you didn't say anything about the mirror on the wall approach the mirror take the blade enter the basement you didn't say anything about the mirror on the wall we should look at ourselves wouldn't that be fun yeah let's do that you won't be looking at yourself because there isn't a mirror there's the table the blade sitting on the table and the door to the basement there's nothing else in here there's definitely a mirror. There isn't. You insisting it isn't there just makes me want to look at it even more. <laughs> Why would you lie about that? What's the point? I also want to look at myself. I want to see how handsome I am. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Remain silent. Approach the mirror. I also want to look at myself. I want to see how handsome I am. We shouldn't waste time preening. If he is lying about the mirror, no! No, 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 no. I'm not lying to you. Use your eyes. There is no mirror. Why would I lie about something so meaningless? What good would it even do? But you tell me. We're looking. Yeah. Approach the mirror. You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall. Isn't much to see. This really isn't funny. Wipe the mirror clean. You reach forward and rub your hand against the cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. Yeah, it's the same hand as the cursor. I pointed it out. So... I don't think the princess is the, is the villain. <laughs> I think the hero I'm playing as is the villain. So it would have been cool to have 
the fire seal in gen 2 to the first fire water type uh in gen 2 i think that would have been too broken which is why they had to probably scrap it it was there a second ago and now it's gone you know that taking the mirror away from us isn't going to change things right we'll find it again and then we'll see whatever it is that you don't want us to see Take the blade, enter the basement. Um, I guess take the blade. If you take the blade from the table, it will be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Okay, fine, you took the knife. You really shouldn't hold it like that. How the fuck am I holding it? How are we supposed to hold it? <laughs> the other way, from at the bottom. It will look much cooler and more serious if we hold it with our thumb at the bottom. Oh. <laughs> It really doesn't matter how you hold the blade, as long as you have it. Just make a choice. Oh, wait. Oh, the cursor. Oh, my God. The cursor is changing with, like, the events. Oh, but you can't see it. Hold on. I might... You know what? Hold on. Uh, capture cursor. Okay. It might get annoying, so, like... If it's too annoying, I'll, I'll remove it. But, yeah. The cursor has the knife now. Keep your grip as it is. Hold the blade the other way. Your grip on the blade. Congratulations. <laughs> yes. This is so much better. I can awake my inner Brit. Okay, fine. You're right. This does look a lot better. <laughs> it really doesn't matter. Just get on with it and deal with the princess already. Throw the blade out the window. <laughs> Without it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> we'll be fine. Don't worry about it. What's the worst that could happen? The world ends. Been there. Done that. <laughs> yes, contrarian. I'm not so sure. This place is already messing with my head. It would be much better if we had a weapon. What's done is done. Good luck, hero. So it could have been a split evolution with the seal line. Kind of like what they did with Valplum and Belossum. Hmm. Enter the basement. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a web of branching staircases all built from unidentifiable materials. Yeah, I mean, the seal line probably needs a new evolution. Nothing here seems to belong. And the closer you examine your surroundings, the more confused you get, your head throbbing with the effort of making sense of this place. None of the stairs even seem to go anywhere, let alone down. I mean... It does go down, just jump off. The air here has a sickening, almost sludge-like miasma to it. A kind of indiscernible quality that comes from the blending together of every scent there is at once. An odor that is simultaneously everything and yet, with some of it all coalescing, into a thick, nauseating nothing. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Her voice. A disquieting collage of tone and personality drags up the stairs. Hello? Hi. Hello. Uh, no. No. Uh, thank you. <laughs> oh, don't be such a baby. I don't want to do this. Let's just turn around and leave. This feels wrong. This feels like a trap. Like whatever we do, we're gonna die. We don't even have a weapon. <laughs> I wonder why. But we already tried turning around and leaving, didn't we? And he threw up a wall. No way to go but forward. And whatever choice we make, whatever she is, we know one thing for sure. This is like a like a game of D and D. <laughs> but like the like two play like one player isn't taking this seriously, and the other. Like, one player is taking this way too seriously, and the other two are just not taking this seriously at all. So, Peach Showtime came out today? Yeah, I saw. Hmm. Surprisingly little buzz about it, though. Like, I haven't seen too much of, like, of it. I've seen only, like, one person playing it, or two. And what's that? 
fate of the world hinges on your success, there'll still be plenty of ways to ruin his day. Uh, take the harsh stairs. Uh, take the harsh stairs to the left. Take the center staircase. Take the soft stairs to the right. Uh, there's a difference. Um, can never go wrong. You, you know what? Right, right is always right. almost seem to cradle you as you make your way down like they're guiding your heels from one step directly to the next you barely have to extend any effort to descend the stairway doing most of the work for you you don't feel like there's any concern that you might slip or tumble or lose your way but the further you go the deeper you sink in first it's like a lovely plush carpet your toes digging down and barely hitting any resistance at all Soon enough, you're fighting just to keep your knees from sinking out of sight. The softness threatens to swallow you whole, to wrest control of your body and surround you in a false ethereal bliss, pretending to save you from the cruelties of choice and consequence. It's slow going, but you manage to fight against the overwhelming urge to fall back into comfort and nothingness, the very struggle to continue forward consuming your every thought. slowly lose sense of yourself the further you go. Time disappears, and you can feel yourself begin to untether. Physical sensations dull and then vanish, until the only things experienced are the endless repeating patterns and emotions of the journey, a continuous march forward to a destination long forgotten. Consumption and betrayal, skepticism and blind devotion, rivalry and submission, terror and longing, pain and unfamiliarity. And at the heart of it all, an emotion that can only be described as... Are you okay? Uh... What, what the hell was that? What, what happened to us? I feel so strange. Like I'm fundamentally different, but also still the same person I was at the top of the stairs. Oh well, that was a trip, but now it's over. It's time to get back to our old devilish ways. Um, apparently it's the best thing I've given time to before so far. Oh, damn. I think Paper Mario uh, will blow that out of the water. Hmm. Let's, we'll see. The princess, eyes bright but otherwise shrouded in darkness watches you impatiently from the other side of the basement. Don't forget why you're here. And, uh, why are we here again? In case you weren't listening, I'm afraid I lost myself on the way down. <laughs> you're here to... He's just being an ass. We remember. <laughs> Though I'm still not sure if we should trust you. Let's talk to her for a bit. Try and get our bearings. She seems... normal. I'm sorry, I didn't realize I was here. What's your name? Getting down here was weird. Like I was pulled apart and put back together again. Do you know what happened to me? For all I know, you're locked up down here for a reason. Why do you know... Do you know why you're down here? You're apparently a threat to the world. I was sent here to slay you. Let's save that for last. Um, getting down here was weird. Let's say that. down here but at least now you're not alone and i'm not alone either you're not alone we're probably stuck down here forever aren't we there's no way out and barely a way in ah and now i see what you meant as the princess speaks again it's almost as if she fractures where there was once just one of her there is now another we can do that? I don't like this. It's those cabins all over again. Can, can we put her back? You said you'd been here before, right? 
What exactly happened last time? Does it matter? Yes, it matters. But I'm not going to waste any more time frying out details if you're going to be so irritating about it. It seems to me like you saw something you weren't supposed to have seen. If only you'd listened to whatever words of wisdom you were given in that other reality. But what's done is done, isn't it? So you do remember the other reality. Whatever you saw last time, unsee it. Whatever thoughts weaseled their way into your head, unthink them. It's not already too late. You have a job to do here, and you need to do it now. Ooh, new plan. Let's see if we can make even more of her. <laughs> um, so regretfully think about that time you threw the blade out the window. <laughs> oh, wait, these are... Oh, this is all one answer. I'm getting you out of here. Try and free her. I don't know what you are, but I can't trust you. I can't trust anything here. Leave her in the basement. Regretfully think about that time you threw the blade out the window. But wait, why is this all one answer? Um. What's her name? You can call me princess if you'd like. That's a shitty name. It doesn't matter. We've been down here for so long. What's the point of a name if there's no one around to use it? Uh, are you blind? There's more of you now. Do you need help? Not that there's much I can do chained up like this, but I'm the only one down here. So if you need anything, I'll do my best. I don't feel like I've gotten any bigger. Uh, that's not the point, but all right. There must be something wrong with you. I'm the same as I was a moment ago. Huh. She fractures again. I don't like where this is going. Neither do I. Which is why you need to slay her now before things get more complicated than they already are. Yeah, but I don't have a knife. How am I supposed to slay her now? There's three of her. How would we even do that? Where would we start? We'd always start by retrieving the blade. <laughs> The one he made us throw out the window. <laughs> I wasn't the one who threw it. <laughs> you know what, fair. Oh, come on, you told us to. Don't try to pass the blame now that it's come back to bite us. Well, if I'd known we'd be dealing with this, maybe I wouldn't have been so hasty with my suggestions. I don't think we're going to be able to put her back. Kind of hurts to think about it, doesn't it? It's like everything we say just multiplies her. Let's keep doing it. It certainly looks that way, so please, for the love of everything, stop asking her questions and stop stalling. You're obviously just making things worse. Um, why is this here? For all I know, you're locked up down here for a reason. Do you know why you're down here? Yeah, let's ask that. I don't know why I'm here, but there has to be a reason, right? You don't just lock a princess away in a place like this without a reason. I wish I knew what it was. But you know, right? You have to know. You're the only other person I've ever seen. Or at least the only one I can remember. Don't give me false hope. Please just end this already. One way or another, just do it. <laughs> don't be coy. We both know why I'm locked away here. I'm a monster. And the second I get out of this place, I'm going to end the entire world. Well, thanks for telling me. Okay, this was fun for a bit, but <laughs> you can't even really interact with her, can you? <laughs> What's the point of asking questions if all we're going to get is a million answers? That's fair. I can't even follow what's going on anymore. We need to get out of here. This whole place is making me itch. Um... Regret, regretfully think about that time you threw the blade out the window. That's not right. Wait, that's not right. Yeah. On. Take a step forward. Your foot lands, but it lands different. You experience a firm footfall, a gentle tread, a confident stride. You can feel yourself rupture 
The room spins, your perception multiplying in a sickening kaleidoscope as your very self is pulled in incomprehensibly many directions. You find the blade suddenly in your hands. All at once you use it to strike at her bindings as you remain upstairs and slay her and leave her to languish alone. Is this what the end of the world looks like? What an unbearable mess. Also, the the knife. Oh, the cursor has the knife, and it's bloody. But this, <laughs> we can't. Do you not have anything witty to say? I could use a good bit of wit right now. <laughs> no, I don't, because this isn't fun. How are we supposed to have fun if everything is happening at the same time? It's the same as nothing happening, and nothing is excruciating. <laughs> Luckily for all of us, nothing and everything doesn't go on forever. The world and the princess collapse in on themselves before it all falls apart. I think he's gone. Oh. We were never going to salvage this, were we? What happened to Avalon? What, what are we? There are, there are parts, parts of us that are dead. They just don't fit. They just don't fit. They just don't fit. We can feel them moving around in spaces they don't belong. It's all so uncomfortable. Did you do this? Did, Did we, we do this? this? Can, can, we, pull can we pull us back apart? Can we fix us? Can we fix us? Can we fix us? We nope. should help her. I think we did this. I don't think we did, but... How surprisingly sincere. I didn't actually think our actions had consequences. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little late for regret, isn't it? Please, please, please. It's going to be okay. I'll do my best. I don't think you're supposed to be fixed. No. You just destroyed everything. I'm not going to fix you. Say nothing. Um, no. I think we made her hangry. Wait, oh. The illusion of choice. When everything is possible, nothing is. Wait, there was... Wait, there's no voice. But you don't know if she had the chance to hear your reply. She's gone, replaced with something else. She's gone? Where did she go? Should we try and find her? Or was that mirror of hers? Why is it here? Why now? Um... I don't know where she went, and I don't know how we'd even go about looking for her. The narrator is gone. I think I'm supposed to look at the mirror. The narrator is gone. Does that mean the world ended? I suppose so. Again, what the hell are we supposed to do? I don't know where she went, and I don't know how we'd even go about looking for her. Right. She's gone. It's just us and that awful thing. Again. What the hell are we supposed to do? I think I'm supposed to look at the mirror. There's something dreadful about it. I, I don't think you should. Wait, the hero said that? No. <laughs> don't do that. Wait, are the hero and contrarian talking to me? Like the player? I approach the mirror, it's my only choice. You don't do this. I don't have a choice. Ignore him. The mayor never scares you before. It's different now. It feels... I don't know. Final. You approach the mirror. Gaze into your reflection. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone, but the mirror remains. It's time for you to see what's in it. The body. It's you.
You are alone in a place that is empty. It is quiet here. Proceed to the cabin. Wait. You are at the cabin. Approach her. What are you? The gifts of a, the gift of a fragile vessel? Is this the end of the world? Let her out of there. Do you know the narrator? Are you what sent me here to slay the princess? Are you what trapped me here? Do you know about the worlds beyond this place? Are you the princess? Do we know each other? What happens now? Attack the entity, destroy your body. God, there is so much to look at here. You know what, let's save. What are you? The gifts of a fragile... Yeah, the gifts of a fragile vessel? of paths and walls. They are stretched into a shape not unlike many, but it is a shape they cannot hold. I am sorry that you met this vessel so early in your journey, but they will make for a rich and vibrant path. Do not mourn them, for they will finally get to know themselves. What are you... Is this the end of the world? Let her out of there. Do you, kn do you know the narrator? You are the only thing I have ever known. The space we're in is vacant. Nothing comes here but us. That doesn't answer my question. Are you what sent me to slay the princess? Are you what trapped me here? What are you? I am the solitary light in an empty city. What are you? That that's not an answer. Solitary lights, what do you mean? What do you think I am? I don't know what I am. I'm a person. Solitary lights, what do you mean? Thoughts without connections. A dim and nascent network. I wish to be more. What do you think I am? I think that you are like me. I probably am, to be honest. We are oceans, reduced to shallow creeks. Is this the end of the world? Let her out of there. Do you know about the worlds beyond this place? I know only what they are. That does... that's not... Is this the end of the world? That's a good point. You actually say something that makes sense for once. Let her out of there. I'm sorry. There are some changes that can never be undone. There are some tears that can never be unshed. This is not a place that can hold a fragment of a concept. The moment she arrived here, she was going to return to me. I promise that it doesn't hurt. Are you the princess? She is part of me, and part of me is her. But were you always the princess, or are you just making her a part of yourself? You speak in circles. Does it matter where one thing begins and another ends? Do we know each other? You are familiar, but you are not me. I feel sadness, longing, hope as I witness you. Well, let me just... Mm, actually, no, never mind. 
What happens now? Nothing as we are. But I know that there are worlds beyond us, and that we are meant to reach them. There is no exit, but this vessel is a creature of perception. She can make you forget, if only you believe her to be able to. Bring me more perspectives, so that I may be whole, and perhaps then we will know our freedom. There's a whole new set of questions. Aren't you scared that I'll find a way to kill you? I have not lived. I am not afraid to die. How much will I forget? Everything. Until we meet again. How many more pieces of you do I have to find? More than you have found. But less than there are to find. I am infinite. The rest will find their own way home. And what if I don't let you do this to me? Then we will be here forever, as we are now. Unfinished. Dry. Hollow. Um... I was sent here to slay the princess to stop her from destroying the world. If I help you, is, is that what you're going to do? You ask of things that cannot be done. To destroy is merely to reshape, to remold. You're being semantic. What are you going to do if I help you or let it be? No. Something's flowering and unilluminated. Okay, make me forget. I'm not going back. If you need time, then I'll wait with you. Okay, I'm ready to make wait forever. You are as I am now, and forever is a long time to remain undone. I am not you, but I know that I would return before forever was finished. What textures will you leave for yourself to occupy forever? Will you place the images of you and I into a box for safekeeping? If you close that box, will you become another me in another world? An imaginary pattern repeating itself until it can no longer bear the weight of its Landrian cage? Your memories come back to the box. Because you'll always want to know what it means to be you. I will be here waiting by your side until you're ready to return to mine. Oh, what? The game just closed. Um, well, shit. Okay, that's cool. Um... Uh, why is it you know what? I'm not even gonna question it. Just, I I don't you care. Return to me, and though you were gone mere moments, I never left your side. Attempt to walk out of your destiny. I never left your side. Okay, make me forget. Hold on, before I click that, I want to save, and I want to load this. Alright, attack the entity. Your will cuts across the entity in front of you, but nothing happens. My roots burrow in an ocean beyond your sight. We cannot harm each other as we are now. Destroy your body. You raise your will to end your life, but as it buries into the space, your body should... Should... But as it buries into the space, your body should be... You feel nothing at all. One of the many hands in front of you reaches forward and gently touches the side of your face. There's nowhere for you to be but here. Alright. Um. Uh. 
what just happened? Um, the game closed again. Uh, did load game? Okay. Okay, make me forget. She asks that I tell you to remember her. I will. You will. <laughs> she asked me to tell you to remember her. I'm like, I will. And then she's like, no, you won't. <laughs> Everything goes dark and you die. A spiral vessel. Bring the stranger to her. The real state the princess starts here. You'll know when you see it. In the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Um. The end of the world? What are you talking about? Are you considered that maybe the only reason she's going to end the world is because she's locked up? Let's say that. While I appreciate the mental exercise, we are running up against a bit of a ticking clock. Nevertheless, let me assure you the princess is locked up because she is dangerous. She is not dangerous because she's locked up. I don't know. Before you decide to waste even more of our time by asking how I know that, let me suggest a more pragmatic lens through which to view this situation. Causality doesn't matter here, because the end result is the same no matter what led us up to this point. If the princess leaves the cabin, the world will end, and there is no changing that. It's no use arguing semantics over a metaphorical chicken or egg, because the egg is hatched and it's about to ruin everything. Unless, of course, you do your job and slay her. Can't someone else do this? Unfortunately, you're the only one who can pull this off. I don't make the rules. I wish I did, but I don't. <laughs> of course. Plot. Uh, the end of the world, what are you talking about? Talking about the end of everything as we know it. No more birds, no more trees most problematically of all no more people you have to put an end to her but how can a princess locked away in the basement end the world don't linger on the specifics you have a job to do here just get in there and do what needs to be done we're all counting on you do you have any evidence to back this up look you're already on the path that leads to the cabin why would you be here if it weren't to complete a very important task. If you've made it this far, you might as well reach the end of your journey. Killing a princess seems kind of bad though, doesn't it? Does it? Are you a monarchist? Is slaying a princess that much worse than slaying a fisherman or a miller or a seamstress? If anything, slaying a princess is much better than slaying a seamstress. Seamstresses contribute something of value to society. What the fuck is a seamstress? <laughs> Forget it, I'm not doing this. Have you considered that maybe I'm okay with the world ending? Of course I haven't. Why would I even consider such a thing? <laughs> Nobody wants the world to end. I kind of do, but alright. I mean, maybe some people do. Nihilists, or very, very evil people, but surely you're not one of those. Dot, dot, dot. Uh, forget it, I'm not doing this. I think that's what I picked last time. Do I get some sort of reward for doing this? Yes, but you have to slay her before you get it. Can you tell me what my prize is? Can you tell me what my prize is going to be for doing a good job? It's a secret, but I think you'll like it. It's a special reward, just for you. Whatever you think it might be, 
I can promise you it's going to be even better than your wildest imagination. Look, I'll go to the cabin and I'll talk to her. And if she's bad, and if she's as bad as you say she is, then maybe I'll slay her. But I'm not committing to anything until I've had the chance to meet her face to face. Then I guess we'll just have to see what happens. But a word of warning. You go in prepared to hear her out. She could easily trap you in her web of lies. And the more you listen to her honeyed words, the harder it'll be to pull yourself out. Then each and every one of us is doomed. I don't think that's true though. So sure. Go talk to her. See how that turns out for all of us. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. Proceed to the cabin. Oh, there's an animation. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. Well, this is furniture of note. A plain wooden table. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. Well, this is different. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Take the blade. You take the blade from the table. It'd be rather difficult to slay the princess and save the world without it. Also, the contrarian isn't here. Enter the basement. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Her voice carries up the stairs. Who's there? Uh, the mailman. She sounds dangerous. It's almost as if she's the one in charge down here. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. Hi. Just checking in on you. Hey, I think I'm here to kill you. Continues on the stairs. Um, hi. It's been so long since I've had any visitors. Come on down. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. There's only one. She's so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? Eh, I'd give it a 6 out of 10. Focus on the task at hand. And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? Uh, that was the plan. What? No way. Why would you even think that? Oh yeah, you caught me. I'm here to slay you. Nah, uh uh I haven't decided yet. I'm just here to talk. Steal your nerves and step forward. Um, I'm just here to talk. Then why did you bring a knife with you? How about you drop it? And then we can chat. Okay, that's a fair point. She makes a compelling point. What if we just dropped the blade and talked? Look at her. It's not like she's a threat. Um... Don't you dare. It's fine. We can decide what we want to do after we talk to her. Maybe she really is a monster. Killing someone in cold blood isn't very becoming of us. Mm, I'm saving. Um, drop it. The blade tumbles out of your trembling hands and drops to the floor with an unceremonious clack. Thank you. Maybe now we can just talk. Against your better judgment, you step forward to speak with the princess face to face, unarmed. 
we'll be fine. Um, I don't know what you're hoping to accomplish here, but I can assure you there's no reasoning with her. <sighs> Just make sure you don't forget about the blade on the floor. You're going to need it. So here we are. What an awkward start to a relationship. <laughs> Yeah, uh, it's, uh, pretty awkward. A relationship? Are you coming on to me? How would I get you out of here? I'm here because you're supposed to end the world? There's people out there who think you're going to end the world. What do you have to say about that? A relationship? Are you coming on to me? Don't jump to any weird conclusions. We're two people who have met each other. By definition, we have a relationship. Fair. Um. This 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 feels like like a, a like a news reporter. Uh, what's your name? How long have you been down it? And here, what's your name? She hesitates before answering. You can address me as Your Royal Highness, or Her Majesty. Any honorific should do, really. Not for lack of detail. You can't trust her. Yeah, I kind of want to stab her already. Um, there's people out there who think you're going to end the world. What do you have to say about that? Don't just tell her that. <laughs> <laughs> Is that why they threw me down here? But I don't want to hurt anyone. I like the world. I think. I don't trust that. Uh, I don't remember much about it, to be honest. I've been down here a long time. Just how long has she been down here? If I'm supposed to be capable of ending the world, then how did I wind up here, chained to a wall? Have they told you why I'm allegedly so... dangerous? Hmm. What are you going to do if I let you out of here? I've been told enough. I was hoping you'd tell me. No, but I'm sure they have their reasons for keeping that information secret from me. No, and if I'm being honest, I'm more inclined to trust you than I'm inclined to trust them. Remain silent. Um... What are you going to do if I let you out of here? Princess hesitates before responding. She doesn't know. She's been down here too long to have any idea of what she'd do in another life. She knows what she'd do. She's just searching for whatever answer she thinks you have to hear. I don't think I can answer that question in a way you'd find meaningful. At the end of the day, whatever the two of us have going on down here is about trust. Whoever sent you to slay me claimed I was a threat to the world. But they didn't tell you why. That doesn't sound right to me. And I don't think it sounds right to you, either. Otherwise, we'd be killing each other instead of talking. She has a point. There's a reason I've been telling you to question the situation, and there's a reason you've listened. So, I could tell you that I'd lead a quiet life in the woods, or that I'd open an orphanage, or that I'd do any other number of good things that I'm sure you think you want to hear. But you don't really know me, do you? What can my word possibly be worth in a situation like this? Yeah. She's right about one thing. Her word isn't worth anything. Like I said, it's all about trust. Blind trust. So do you trust me, the prisoner, the victim, the princess clearly incapable of ending the world? Or do you trust whoever put me here? Um... I don't trust you. Even if, uh, like, even if you're innocent, I, I don't like your attitude, so... She's I want to kill you anyway. This isn't about trust. This is about risk. We stand to lose everything. All for the sake of one person. And a subjugating monarch, no less. How would I get you out of here? How long have you been down here? Okay, we've talked enough. How would I get you out of here? You can't. Don't bother. I'm 
guessing you don't have the key then. I'm sure there's a key somewhere around here, and if there isn't... Well, we can always put that knife to good use. Yeah, by shoving it down your throat. Her sharp eyes settle on the edge of the blade. She isn't suggesting what I think she's suggesting, right? She is. I'm sure of it. How long have you been down here? Too long. Okay, we've talked enough. Oh, have you decided what to do with me? You know why you're here. Say the princess. Yeah, say the princess. I'm getting you out of here. Examine the chains. I'm going to keep you locked away down here at least for a bit. We can get to know each other better while I decide what to do. I'll keep her locked away. Say the princess. You charge the princess, blade trembling in your hand, but you've already lost the battle. Huh? She casually sidesteps your thrust before knocking you to the ground with a single blow from her elbow. We shouldn't have hesitated. But she doesn't stop there. She kicks you a few times for good measure, the pointed tip of her shoes feeling like a pickaxe against your fracturing bones, making sure you stay down. As you lie, crushed and broken on the basement floor, the princess kneels on your throat with the kind of weight you didn't think her slight frame could possibly possess. As you gasp for air, she eyes you with an intense curiosity. You shouldn't have let that fear creep into your heart. You had the upper hand. And now look at you. Is this really the best you could do? Look at you. Completely broken. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little disappointed. She applies more pressure, slowly squeezing what's left of your life out of your lungs. This is the end, isn't it? I'm afraid it is. Everything goes dark, and you die. This bitch. Alright. Chapter 2 The Tower. Um... You're on a path. Um, let me make a save, and let me load. Uh, I'm going to keep you locked away down here, at least for a bit. We can get to know each other while I decide what to do. That seems like a pretty good compromise. Leaving her alive is too risky. If you don't deal with her soon, she will find a way out. One way or another, I'm going to find a way out of here. You can make it easier for both of us if you help. And if you don't... I can promise that you'll come to regret that decision. You have to make a choice. Let's hope for all our sakes it's the right one. The princess... Okay, I'm getting out of here. Uh, I made my choice. I'm locking her in the basement. we'll have to take we can make this work if we just stay here and keep watch no one has to die you're making a mistake you turn your back to the princess and make your way to the stairs you're an idiot it won't be long before i slip these chains and once i'm out of here there will be hell to pay for leaving me behind slip these chains she can't, right? She needed our help to get out of here. But do you hear the conviction in her voice? I don't think she's bluffing. Either way, she dropped her mask, didn't she? You can still turn around and finish the job. No, we're sticking to the plan and locking her down here. Oh, that's a relief. I was afraid I had already committed to not slaying her. Um, let's save again. Oh, that's a relief. I was afraid I'd already committed to not slaying her. Too late to do the right thing. Now hurry. You charge the princess, blade trembling in your hand. 
but you've already lost the battle. Okay, well. She casually sidesteps your thrust before knocking you to the We shouldn't have hesitated. But she doesn't stop there. Can I load? You shouldn't have let that fit. Oh, there we go. No, we're sticking to the plan and locking her down here. Settle in against the far wall to watch the basement door. It isn't long before you start to drift off, your eyelids heavy with fatigue. But sleep doesn't come. Instead, your rest is broken by a piercing, wailing voice calling out to you from the other side of the door. I know you're scared to interact. Why don't you make things easier on yourself and let me out? It's not like this little door I'll hold for very long anyway. It's probably a good idea to try to get back on my good side. She sounds terrified. Like she's less of the princess you saw and more like something out of a nightmare. As she violently rattles the door, you do your best to shut her out of your mind. When I get out of here, I'm going to pick you apart piece by piece. I won't forget what you did, and I'll never forgive it. Know the kind of enemy you've made tonight. It doesn't sound like she's getting any weaker. No, it doesn't. Throw me all you want. All it does is ease my guilty conscien conscience. So all of that was just an act, wasn't it? You're not really innocent or harmless. You're not even the princess, you're a monster. Ignore her and go to sleep. Oh my god, shut up. Throw me all you want. All it does is ease my guilty conscience. God damn. It isn't all at once. The paralysis comes in waves. First your toes go numb, and then your feet, and then your legs. You lie prone on the floor of the cabin, unable to do anything but witness her approach. Whose side are you on? Yours, of course. But I have a duty to uphold the truth. Lying about the facts of the situation doesn't change them. So helpless. I can keep my time with you, can't I? Uh, no. Closer, one silent footfall at a time, cocking her head in curiosity as you feel your organs shutting down one by one. Or maybe I can't take my time with you. You don't look well. A little green around the gills. What a shame. If you'd only help me get out of here, we could have done such wonderful things together. This is gonna give me a seizure. Your lungs stop drawing in breath, and your heart freezes in your chest. You have seconds left. I'd say better luck next time, but we both know this is the end, don't we? It can't be. This can't actually be how everything ends. I'm sorry. But it is. Everything goes dark, and you die. 
Chapter 2, The Nightmare. Oh, this is different. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Did I save over the thing I, I did, didn't I? Yep, okay. Um, You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. I'm getting a terrible sense of deja vu. Wait, hasn't this happened already? Okay, no. But I died, what am I doing here? She's going to kill me again. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, uh, trust me. He doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. Shh, what if he hears us? Oh. So it changes. That's a very good question, little voice. What if he does hear us? You'll find yourselves very hard pressed to keep any secrets from me. Not that it matters right now, because, like I said, this is the first time we met. Still, I'd rather not get off on the wrong foot. We've a world to save, after all. Let's assume I'm telling the truth and this really did already happen. Why should I listen to you? Why should I bother doing anything? say for a moment that this really is the second time you've met me, or at least a version of it. You died last time, which probably only happened because you didn't listen to me. That is technically correct. We couldn't trust either of you, as far as I'm concerned. We still can't. All we did was lock her away. And how did that work out for you? No comment. Well then, congratulations. You've been given another chance to actually do this right. And your solution is to send us back in there. You want us to slay the princess. Or do you want the princess to slay us? Obviously, I want you to slay her. One of you poses a threat to the world, and the other doesn't. Anyway, I believe your other question was something along the lines of, What's the point of doing anything? If you're asking that, it sounds to me like you're making the rather dangerous assumption that your actions last time around didn't have any consequences. Uh, no comment. What do you mean? Of course there weren't any consequences. We were killed by the princess, and now everyone's right back where they started. That sounds pretty consequence-free to me. Speak for yourself. My perspective there were plenty of consequences. I'm never going to forget the way she just made us stop working. And that's only scratching the surface. If what you said is true, it begs the question of how you got back here. Did time simply rewind itself, or have you found yourself in another world altogether? If it's the latter, what do you think happened? All right, you know what, since, since the game is narrated, I'm going to go make tea. Um, I'll still be here. Uh, I'm just going to go boil the kettle. And I'll, since I'm quiet most of the time, I'm just going to... Um, I need to fix the current playing it. Um, there we go. But yeah. Since I'm quiet listening to this, uh, I, I'm just gonna, um, I'm just gonna stay muted for a little bit and wait for the kettle to boil.
Do you think the people there live happily ever after? Or do you think that the princess, left unhindered, brought about the end to everyone and everything, just like I told you she would? If she brought an end to everything and everyone, how are we supposed to stop her? What do you want from us? I want you to succeed. You'll find a way. You're the only one who can. Okay, uh, I forgot I had choices in the game. Let's talk about this princess. Proceed to the cabin. Okay, let's talk about this princess. Just, be about it. Just being around her in the end shut down all of my organs. What the hell am I supposed to do about that? To quote you from last time around. She's just a princess. How can you possibly justify saying that? She, She's clearly something far, far worse. Who locked her in the basement? What is this place? Never mind. Who locked her in this ba in that basement? What is this place? People locked her in that basement, and I told you what this place is. It's a path in the woods. Don't overcomplicate things. Just being around her in the end shut down all my organs. What the hell am I supposed to do about that? Like I said, if she killed you, it was probably because you didn't listen to me. Don't talk to her, don't trust her. Just go in, do your job, and save the world. To quote you from last time around, she's just a princess. How can you possibly justify saying that? She's clearly something far, far worse. She is just a princess. Whatever you think happened to you last time, just get it out of your head before you get to the cabin, and you'll be fine. If people locked her away, why couldn't they slay her? Why is this falling on me? Look, I'm not supposed to say this, but it's because you're special. You're the only person capable of doing this. Call it a prophecy, if that helps. It's just the way things are. You can't just goad us into doing something by calling us special. It's manipulative. Why are you trying to manipulate us? Alright, I'll be right back.
back. All right. Um, where's my headphones? There we go. I had to follow the wire. Um, cool. Let's keep going. I don't know. I can't align being special. Uh, okay, fine. Maybe you can go him into doing something, but he's not even the one who makes the decisions here. <laughs> is dangerous. All I'm trying to say is that you have to be the one to deal with her. I know it doesn't seem fair, but that's just the way it is. And for what it's worth, I know you have it in you to finish the job. You don't. You saw what happened to us last time. We need to leave. You're being cagey. What aren't you telling me? I've told you everything you need to know. Going into more detail would just overcomplicate an otherwise very simple situation and make your job more difficult. I don't trust neither the narrator nor the princess. <laughs> if you want us to stand a chance against her, we need to be armed with information. What is she really capable of? How are we supposed to stop her? Like I don't like I don't think there is I don't think there is like anyone that's on my side. Not to sound like a broken record, but the less you know about her, the better things will go for all of us. I know it sounds like I'm hiding something, but you're just going to have to take me at my word. He isn't telling us everything he knows because he doesn't trust us, which means that we can't trust him. Stop talking yourself in neurotic circles and just get to the cabin already. You see the way he keeps pushing us? We have to get out of here. That's all. To save it from ruin. Turn on and leave. Proceed to the cabin. Now I want to kill this bitch. A warning before you go any further. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. I don't think lying and cheating is her thing. She was very direct with us last time. <laughs> or at least. She was direct with us after we decided to lock her away. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Don't trust anyone. Proceed to the cabin. The interior of the cabin is plain. The smooth wood of the wall was almost featureless. Oh. The only furniture of note is a lone table, knocked on its side in the corner of the room. A pristine blade stands between you and the open inviting basement doorway the blade is your implement you'll need it if you want to do this right damn this is creepy i love it like look at the like out the window there or like a, what you could call a window i guess there's like literally people looking at you that's cool okay what happened to the door there was a door here last time it's just an empty frame she's already got now hasn't she and she's ready for us. She's been waiting. Can't you feel her eyes on us? I'm going to need all of you to pull yourselves together. The princess has not already gotten out. If you keep getting stuck in your head like this, you're going to struggle to get the job done. So deep breath in, deep breath out. Your task awaits, and only you can do it. You didn't say anything about the mirror on the wall. Um... This whole cabin is different than I remember it being. Maybe it'll say something different with the mirror, so... Um... Right, I was so stuck on the eyes watching us, I didn't even notice it there. <laughs> what are you two talking about? There isn't a mirror. There's a table, the blade sitting on the floor, and the open doorway leading to the basement. There's nothing else in here. And what about the eyes? There's definitely a mirror. There isn't. We have to look at it. Unless that's what he wants us to do. And pretending it isn't there is a trick to get us to do exactly what he wants. Why would you lie about there not being a mirror when it's clearly right there? What's the point? 
I want to look at myself. I want to see how handsome I am. Does a matter remain silent in person mirror? Why would you lie about there not being a mirror when there, when it's clearly right there? What's the point? Exactly. Why would I lie about something so meaningless? What good would a mirror even be if you waste time cleaning yourself instead of doing what needs to be done? This whole cabin is different than I remember it being. Very different. He changed it, didn't he? It's like he's trying to make us doubt our reality. Calm down. Maybe the three of you just think everything is different because you haven't been here before. Enough of this past life nonsense. You haven't died, and you certainly haven't been killed by the princess. So focus up. A lot's riding on this. I had to check the audio. Mm, approach the mirror. Walk up to the wall next to the empty basement door frame. It's a wall. There isn't much to see here. This really isn't funny. Wipe the mirror clean. You reach forward and rub your hand against the cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. Did he make it go away? Clearly there was something in there worth investigating if he wants it hidden so bad. Take the blade. You reach down and pick the blade up off the floor. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Good. Steel can't lie to us. Uh, well, I can. It's gonna be enough, though. Couldn't you have given us something else? Something, I don't know, better than a knife? <laughs> Did we have a bomb? The blade is the only thing we need to finish your task. You're more than capable of pulling this off. So long as you don't lose faith in yourself. Those are the words of someone who knows he's sending us to our death. Yep. Alright, enter the basement. You cross over the threshold and onto a series of isolated steps suspended in darkness. More eyes, too. He never mentioned the eyes. Oh yeah, there are more eyes. I thought those were like particles. The air seeping up from below reminds you of fresh lightning and static, as if you're descending into a place that isn't meant for a creature of flesh and blood. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. Her cruel and playful voice prances up the stairs. I didn't think you'd come back. We're going to have a lot of fun, you and I. Okay, we need a game plan. Last time we were here, just being close to her was enough to kill us. Oh shit, no. Hold on. Uh, fuck. Okay. How hard is it to throw a knife? Uh, depends. Are you, uh, did you ever work in a circus? I'm going to talk to her. What kind, what good would that do? You fucking idiot. Alright. Uh, we don't need a plan. I'm just going to kill her. Mr. Narrator seems to think I can do it. I don't know why... You're all such pessimists right now. Um, let me save. Right here. Step off into the void between the stairs. Continue down the stairs in silence. Uh, that seems like a really bad idea to step off the void, but you know what, let's do it. You attempt to step off the stairs and into the pitch black surrounding them, but you're stopped by an invisible force. Why did you do that? What did you think would happen? <laughs> I don't know, fall to my death and die? I was curious. I don't know, falling into an infinite void seemed better than going downstairs and dying. <laughs> I was curious. Congratulations, you really lucked out. Of all the things that could have happened from stepping into a void, nothing is quite possibly the best outcome you could have gotten. <laughs> you make your way to the bottom of the stairs. As you emerge, you find yourself between two loose rows of white wooden planks, suspended in nothingness. A smattering of cobblestones, visible against the inky black of the basement, mark where the floor should be, forming vague pathways. At what seems to be the end of the room, they diverge in opposite directions, left and right. She 
be anywhere, and there's nowhere for us to hide. We're completely exposed. Are you really not going to comment on how weird this place is? No, I'm not. Somebody needs to be the voice of reason here, and it certainly isn't you. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm being incredibly reasonable. You're the one who's just matter-of-factly describing whatever the hell we're looking at like it's an ordinary basement. Go to Titan with me. I want to die again. Please stop saying that. We're only going to make things worse. Just pick a direction and start moving. I wouldn't give it too much thought if I were you. It doesn't really matter. Because either way you go, I'm going to find you. Go left, go right, do nothing. Go back the way you came. I'm curious. What if I go back the way I came? Or do nothing. Mm. So many choices. Mm. Go back the way you came. You turn back to the stairs, only to find that they aren't there. A faintly outlined path lies before you. There you are. I told you I was going to find you. God damn, you're ugly. Um. As the princess approaches, your legs suddenly go numb. Your arms quickly follow. This is it, isn't it? Oh, you brought your little knight with you again. Cute. There has to be a way out of this. Think. Think. What did you do? Pull yourself together. She isn't supposed to be like this. I wonder how many times I'll get to play with you before you break. Your vision cuts out as your blood begins to coagulate. It's as if every part of your being is coming to a lurching halt. He said the same things. Your lungs pull in a desperate gulp of air as your eyes shoot back open. What are you doing? Oh shit. I keep clicking off the game. Uh I'm working. Do you want this body to function? Or do you want the then experience stops once more as your body reapproaches death? Again. Okay, whatever you were doing, please just start doing that again. <laughs> You sure that's what you want? I don't want to interrupt me some more. You have seconds left. Yes, I'm sure. Again, your eyes shoot open as you gasp for breath. Can't decide what you want to do, can you? Oh well, standing there gasping like a fish is more fun than dead. I hope you look ridiculous. She isn't attacking us. Why? The why doesn't matter. She's already proven her ill intent. Don't lose sight of your mission. Don't tell me it's because she can't attack us. Your weapon is still in your hands. Strike at her and end this before it's too late. Why won't you finish me off? What good am I to you alive? What do you want from me? What happened after you killed me last time? I was sent here to stop you from destroying the world. I can't just leave you here. You're a lunatic. You know that, right? If you want to work together, can you at least turn off this whole organ shutting down situation? How about I just kill you instead? Why don't we have to be enemies? Alright, we don't have to be enemies. We can work together. We can be friends, even. I'm not doing... Oh my god. I'm not doing any of this. I'm not helping you leave. I'm not going to try and kill you, so... Do your worst. Toss the blade and remain with your nightmare. Okay, let's get out of here. Leave together. Fine, you win. I'll let you leave. 
leave together, run, slay the princess. Um, why won't you finish me off? What happened after you killed me last time? So I, I like how these answers are basically a spoiler. If you need me alive, then why did you threaten me on the stairs? Why didn't you try to be nice to me? I was sent here to stop you from destroying the world. I can't just let you leave. If you want to work it if you want to work together can you at least turn off this whole organ shutting down situation wait actually before i that that seems like progression people will die if you do them wait people will die if you do to them what you've done to me That's a fair point. All I want is to be there for it. I want to watch it happen. And maybe do a little unwinding myself. Is that really so much to ask? And if I let you out, what then? Do we go our separate ways? Hey, I mean, I see this as an absolute win. If you want to work together, can you at least turn off this organ shutting down situation? Being around you is agony. I'm going. I'm not going to stick around. 
here, so you should just look on the bright side. Well, I'm not sure what the bright side is for you, but I'm positive you can find it if you look hard enough. Um, I'll just die then. You're a lunatic, you know that? Like I said, I am what I am. And right now, I'm in control. So, you might want to be a little nicer to me. She raises one long blood finger, its tip hovering just over your skin, seeming to enjoy the lingering threat. But she withdraws. Sparing you another momentary glimpse of death. I'll just die then. And then we'll wind up right back where we started. Round and round we'll go. I wonder what will be different next time. Maybe I'll actually be able to move a limb. Who knows? But I'm always going to win. Are you sure about that? Give it enough tries and I'm bound to win eventually. And maybe you don't get to come back like I do. Is that a bet you're willing to take? Imagine climbing a mountain of lifetimes. And when you finally reach the summit, when you finally win, the only you you find is me. And then I push you. And you go tumbling all the way down those millions upon millions of battered and broken pieces of you that couldn't make the cut. What then? Would you have it in you to climb again? It sounds like a lot of effort for nothing. When instead we can just leave this place together. Hand in hand. That does sound like a win. How about I just kill you instead? a smile carve its way from ear to ear on the other side of her mask. That's a mask? Thinking about that knife, are we? Well, that's little theory to the test. See how it plays out. But I don't think you're going to like what happens. Because even if you make me dead, you're not getting out of here. This place is mine. And I'm not giving you the spares unless I'm leaving with you. Hmm. And what if I refuse to let you out? What happens then? And we're stuck down here together until you change your mind. Static. And a skipped beat as she touches your shoulder and whispers in your ear. No. Heart. Lungs. Liver. Nerves. Only until your heart finally gives out. And then, when you die, I'll find myself somewhere new. And before too long, you'll be there too. That's how this all works, right? This doesn't end until you let me out. And a lot can happen before then. I'm sure I can get creative. We don't have to be enemies. We can work together. We can be friends even. I'm not doing any of this. I'm not helping you. That's contradictory. I'm not helping you leave. I'm not going to try and kill you. So do your worst. Wait. Okay. So I think this is where. Okay. This is where I'm saving. Okay, let's do run. You turn and run, doing your best to put one useless leg in front of the other. You four, four, three, wrong choice. Yeah. You get nowhere before the princess is in front of you once again. You're always going to be a coward. She raises a hand to her mask and pulls it down. You don't get the chance to see what lies beneath before it envelops you. Like a creeping mold, the complete reality of your existence threads its way through your mind. Birth, death, birth again, decay and bloom, a million. 
million stitches from a million microscopic wounds you've inflicted on everyone you've ever met, with every muscle you've moved and every word you've ever spoken. No, 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 no. Let me out. Your existence hurts me. Let me out. A lonely soul in a room by itself, weeping. It lives for 80 years and then it's gone. steady career, recognition from your peers, here one moment, gone the next. What the fuck was my the play? Have found their orifices. Let me out! Diagnosis. It forgets everything it is. Anger, rage, distance, poverty. The lonely soul is lonely again. Love turns to mockery. It dies, it is reborn, worse, lonelier. Let me out! No, 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 what's, what's happening to us? Let me out! This is all too much. I can't keep going. You can't keep going? Well, what are you talking about? But he doesn't respond. Your body is dead, but you live on. Chapter 3? A month of, of fear see what's behind the mask. Oh my god. The moment of clarity. I'm going to save and check the other options. Hold on. Load. This. Um. Slay the prince. This. No, you didn't. <laughs> you actually went for it. Oh, you're going to regret this. I could do so much more terrible for you than I am now. Can she? We've already seen how she can change. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. You're not getting those stairs back. I'll see you when you finally decide to fly. She falls to the ground. No exit. Suck in the dream of Ada stare to be seen. Oh. I, I can stop now, can't I? I can. Oh, finally. And now that she's gone, you can let us out of here. Right? Um. But she was the one who controlled this place, wasn't she? Now she's dead. I don't like to think what that means for us. It means that you're stuck here. Forever's gonna end eventually, right? Yeah, when you die. No, it won't. That's the whole point of forever. <laughs> it doesn't end. I feel sick. It doesn't have to be forever, though. Does it? What do you mean? We still have a way out, clutched in our hands. Are you suggesting we kill ourselves? Won't we be dead? Yes, that hasn't stopped us before. Also, it's not clutched in our hands. It's literally stabbing through her. That's a terrible idea. You've already saved the entire world from ruin. Why would you want to die? Because right now, you don't want us to do that. You're right. I don't. But if 
We've already saved the world. Then why does it matter if we die? Why do you care? I just do. I value life. Every life. Even yours. Especially yours. Why? What do you mean, why? I think it's perfectly reasonable to value life. Mm, no. Exactly. I don't have to answer that. It's not like it matters if I die. I'll just come back again. But I've got the best company I could ask for. You guys, what more do I need? Uh, um, excuse the shit out of me. Am I not a creature of biology? Won't I starve or die of dehydration before forever happens? Are you stuck here with us or are you capable of going other places? Take the blade from her body. Wait. Um. It's not like it matters if I die, I'll just come back again. The whole looping thing. How unfortunate. You were only supposed to be here once. I don't like the way you said that. You knew this was a possibility, didn't you? Of course I did. Though rather hoped I was the first one. That explains a lot, though. Oh, you bastard. How much are you not telling us? Plenty. But it's all in your best interest. And the world's. And mine. She's dead and we're stuck in a hell void forever. How could telling us your secrets possibly hurt anyone? We just can. Look, this world is saved, but if you start over, for all you know, you're just putting another world in danger. You barely managed to land the killing blow here. What if you don't manage it next time? <sighs> I've already said too much, really. You won't get another word out of me on the subject. Can you tell me your secrets now? No. Okay. How about now? Is it secret time? Still no. I'm going to wear you down eventually. You might as well pill those... You might as well spill those sweet, sweet secrets now. Then we'll have something else to talk about. You're not going to wear me down. Oh, we should ask him one more time. He's on the cusp of sharing the secrets. I can feel it. Uh -huh. I'm not. Either way, at least needling him is something to do. Secrets? The narrator ignores you. You can't just describe yourself ignoring us. <laughs> I mean, he can, he just did. Secrets? The narrator continues to ignore you. Uh, but I got the... Oh, okay, well... But I've got the best company I could ask for. You guys, what more do I need? Oh, you could do a lot better than us. Yeah, you're right, I could. Exactly. You'll be fine here. Just come up with a game or something to pass the time. <laughs> Am I not a creature of biology? When I starve or die of dehydration before it forever happens? That's a grim thought, innit? I like how, I like how the hero said in it instead of isn't it, like, <laughs> that's a grim thought in it. But I suppose you're right. You are a creature of biology. Something will happen to you before forever comes along. We don't have to starve to death. You have our way out. Use it. Are you stuck here with us? Or are you capable of going other places? I'm stuck here with you. I wish I weren't. <laughs> Feelings mutual. <laughs> At least we're all being honest. I get it. You don't want us to die because you'd be lonely. How sweet. Unlike you, I'm not capable of being lonely. Oh, I'm sure you are. Give it some time without us and I'm sure you'll start feeling lonely. <laughs> all right. Let's wait. More time passes. You're still here. Wait again. More time passes. You're still here. That's gonna do something eventually. More time passes. You're still here. More time. More time. More. 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 More, 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 more,
mo 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 fine take the blade from her body Remove the blade from the princess's body what exactly are you planning on doing with it wait more time okay throw the blade into the void no oh, hold on uh i guess i don't really need this anymore Throw the blade into the void. Oh no, what are you doing? Did I hear I said that? You tighten your grip and fling the blade as hard as you can into the void. It's gone. Now you're really stuck here forever. <laughs> There's no way out now. <clears throat> you mean, other than starving? Right, I mean, other than that. Yeah. <laughs> you wait, and then you wait for a little while longer. But eventually the thirst sets in, and the hunger. The darkness of this place prevents you from wholly grasping the context of passing time. But that doesn't stop it from passing. Nor does it stop your biology from unraveling. The only things you know for certain are that it's long, and that it hurts. The vastness of your suffering can't be adequately put into words. shouldn't have tossed the blade. No, you really shouldn't have. But biology and time are immutable forces. And eventually, long before forever gets the chance to come, everything goes dark. And you die. Don't muck it up next time. <laughs> the princess may be slain here, but she isn't slain there. Chapter 3, The Wraith You're on a path in the wood. Shit. One. There are so many branching paths. Like, when I checked this game's Steam page, it had 99 achievements. There is so much to do in this fucking game. <laughs> Say yourself. I don't like this, but I suppose there's not much I can do to stop you, is there? You raise the blade to your neck and slit your carotid artery. Here we go. You'd better get this right next time, do you hear me? Don't blow it. Everything goes dark, and you die. Oh, it's the same. You're on a path in the wood. Um... Let me load this first. Wait, actually. No. What if I load this? Okay, now. Fine, you win. I'll let you live. Or, actually, no. Okay, let's get out of here. stops moving and do you think you could just wrest control away from us this body is barely functioning as it is doesn't the world end if we fail to stop her won't letting us die here just make it end faster shit with a flick of the princess's wrist the stairs slide back into place i can't believe you're making me watch you damn everyone to torment and oblivion <laughs> go ahead you're not wrong but maybe you should let me handle the feedback just 
focus on keeping us alive. <laughs> Besides, I get the feeling she's telling the truth. She needs us alive. How about you go first or step into the stairs? God damn it, these multiple choices. How about you go first? That's fair. I'm so sorry. What if I lost track of you and trapped the stairs on accident? I wouldn't want that to happen. And I don't think you'd want that to happen either. So go on. Go ahead. She urges you forward like one might a reluctant pet. Okay, fine. Step into the stairs. A shaky foot on the first step. You begin your ascent from the basement. You can feel the static crippling of the princess on your neck, your limbs buzzing with pins and needles, an uncomfortable and constant reminder that you exist, and that your existence is so very precarious. You're almost there. The only thing left between you and the cabin is the now shut door to the basement. It would be a real shame if it had locked behind you. Yeah, that's... For heaven's sake, there wasn't even a door when we first got here. The door was from last time. I told you we shouldn't trust him. I know he's messing with us, but you can't lose your cool. We need you right now. Remember? Yes, I remember. Of course I remember. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. This is so frustrating. Heart, thank you. And you? You'd really rather us die down here than let her out? Of course I would. As much as I want you to have a happy ending, the fate of the world is a little more important if you still have a weapon. You can still make this right. I think the door is locked. You haven't even tried it. It'll open. You just have to give it a chance. Um... Don't need this anymore. Uh, slay the princess. Your will concentrates into a single fine point, and you strike out against the princess, ignoring the constant reminders of your breaking body. She doesn't even move as the blade sinks into her heart. We did it. We actually did it. You were in front of the door. See how she can change. <laughs> Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. In her final moments, the princess lunges forward, tackling you as you both plunge into the endless abyss of her basement. As the two of you fall, you rip your blade from her chest, tightly clutching it in your hands. Have fun falling forever. I'll see you when you finally decide to die. She tears herself away from you and tumbles away into the darkness. You are alone. Terminal velocity. Forever. Ball for the rest of the but you saved the rest of your life. You should be proud of yourself for seeing this through. Oh. I, I can stop now, can't I? I can. <sighs> Finally. Are uh are we really gonna fall forever? Can't you narrate us some stairs out of here? But she was the one who controlled this place, wasn't she? How she's dead. I don't quite get what that means for us. It means you're falling. Forever. No. No, 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 no. Oh, I hate this. You continue to fall. Forever's gonna end eventually, right? No, it won't. That's the whole point of forever. It doesn't end. You continue to fall, and you will only continue to fall. I feel sick. It doesn't have to be forever, though, does it? What do you mean? We still have a way out, clutched in our hands. 
just and we kill ourselves? Won't we be dead? I guess they haven't stopped us before. That's a terrible idea. You've already saved the entire world from ruin. Why would you want to die? saved the world then why does it matter if we die why do you care i just do i value life every life even yours especially yours why what do you mean why i think it's perfectly reasonable to value life exactly i don't have to answer that i can die uh these are the same Drop the blade, slay yourself. Hmm. Drop the blade. No, what are you doing? Loosen your grip. As the blade tumbles through your open fingers. Now you're really bored forever. There's no way out now. Um, wait. More time passes. Now you get out of fleshy. These are the same, I'm pretty sure. Massive bunch of hair. Unpleasantly unkind. You wait the only thing that you should concuss the blade. Oh. No. You really shouldn't have. But biology and time are immutable forces. And eventually. Long before forever gets the chance to come, everything goes dark, and you die. Don't muck it up next time. The princess may be slain here. The wraith. Um. You're on a path. In it's the, the same one though. One. All right. Let me load this. Uh, slay yourself. to stop you is there you raise the blade to your neck here we go yeah it's the same all right you're on a path in the let me load this try the door you pull against the door and the lock gently clicks open in response to your efforts and the door creaks on its hinges this isn't right that's not even the way it's supposed to swing. It's supposed to swing out. You're not nearly as powerful as you'd have us think, are you? <clears throat> Anyways, like he said, you're not really in control here, are you? I never said I was. If I was in control here, why would I need you to slay her? I don't know. Secret reasons? <laughs> the door is open. What are you bothering for? It's time for us to go. The world is waiting. Shit. The princess moves past you and into the cabin. This is it. This is your final moment to make things right. Kill her. I thought you wanted us to slay her. <laughs> it's the same thing. Do it. Do it now. Do it now or everything is over. Okay. What do we do? I said, what do we do? Oh, what do you want to hear from now? Yes. Well, I thought you needed me to run the autonomic nervous system. We do, but this is important. Look, I'll even do it myself. Just tell us who to trust. Uh, brain? <laughs> heart. Uh, right, heart. <laughs> <laughs> Lungs, liver, nerves, You're terrible at this. <laughs> I know. I'm doing my best. What are you doing? Oh shit! Wait, wait, wait. Uh, shit. Let me reload that. Oh, what do you 
want? Yeah, yeah, we do. Uh, right. Lungs. Lungs. Liver. Okay, thanks. I got it. You're terrible at this. I know. I'm doing my best. Yes, it's very hard to stay focused on running things when other people are talking to you, isn't it? <laughs> what are you doing? Asking me, running everything you can feels like popping in and out of consciousness. It's easy to lose track of things. They were asking you for your blessing to trust me. Oh, that's right. Yeah, fuck this guy. Don't trust him. <laughs> Wait. So you'd have them trust her? Oh, uh, of course not. Can't trust anybody here but ourselves. But I guess that. Leaves us back where we started, doesn't it? I suppose if I had to make a choice, I'd pick the one that doesn't make our organs shut down. Uh. Thank you for your gracious show of support. But that's a marginal preference. We'll have to deal with him later. I'd just rather deal with him while our organs are intact. Fair. Whatever. You heard what he had to say. So whether you trust me or not, killing her is still the best, nay, the only option you have worth taking. <sighs> All right, I'm done. You can let me take over again. Blimey, that was awful. I really don't know how you do it. <laughs> Standing there staring blankly for a while now. And I have to say my patience is running a little thin. So don't make a lady wait any longer, okay? Open the door. Alright, uh the important choice comes in comes here, so um say the princess. What's gonna happen? Can she? We've already seen how she can change. Yeah, but that's inside the room. In her final moments, the princess lunges forward, tackling you as you both plunge into the endless abyss of her basement. Oh. As the two of you fall, you rip your blade from her chest, tightly clutching it in your hands. Have fun falling forever. I'll see you when you finally decide to die. All right, it's the same one, I'm pretty sure. Leave the cabin. The doorknob twists in your hand, revealing the forested path beyond the cabin. You bastard. You've actually come. You actually do care. Yes. It's so beautiful. I can't wait to ruin it. But it's so cold, too. It's itching against my skin. What? Oh? The princess, exhausted, slumps to the ground. Why is it so cold? Oh. You're supposed to let the, you're supposed to let them out you'd not get the chance to respond nor will you ever it's time to leave memory returns she's gone where does she go should we try and find her what is that mirror again why is it here why now okay um
Of course you're scared. This is the end for you. But it's not the end for me. Wait, am I the I'm the one saying this to him. It's going to be okay, just trust me. We've been here before and you always get scared. Approach the mirror, of course. Okay. What is that supposed to mean? Whatever awful thing I felt before, it feels so much worse now. We can't even trust ourselves. <laughs> approach the mirror. You approach the mirror. Gaze into your reflection. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone again. The mirror always makes them leave. But you need to see what's in it. The bloat. You've grown. You've grown. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. Proceed to the cabin. You are at the cabin. Approach her. Flickering lights in empty cityscapes become pockets of vitality and movement. I am more than I was before. Whenever you are ready, I will wipe your slate clean once again. Are you the same being as you were before? How much have you changed? Is a child the same as an infant? I am yes. in a broken pattern, but every vessel gets fresh perspectives and carves new avenues of expression. I am different, but I am the same. What does it feel like to change like this? Eyes close in reflection. Perspectives meld together, and the breadth of my experience stretches to new corners. There are contradictions, conflicts in my nature, and there are familiarities that bind everything together. It feels correct. This is what I need to be. This is the only path forward. When this is all done, do you know what you want to do? With every gift you bring me, I excavate the alleys of what I am meant to be, and every exploration yields new and complicated truths. What I will be is different than what I am. What I am is different from what I was. I cannot tell you what desires I will hold when I have changed. But in this moment, all I want is to know myself and to know you. You know that at the end of this, once you're finished, I'm going to kill you, right? There is still much to be seen. Neither of us know the depths of our being. Perhaps at the end of this, I will be the one to kill you. Or perhaps we will leave this place together and find new horizons to discover. When I go back, it's as if an invisible wall closes around me. Why can I not do the same things I've done before? Those paths lead to worlds you've already seen, and to perspectives I have already made my own. They are useless to us now. Inaccessible. The only paths of value are those that are yet untried. You have been kinder to me than anyone else I've met. Thank you. Why wouldn't I be kind to you? You are the only thing I know that isn't me. What do you want me to bring you next time? Gifts aren't what someone tells you to bring them. <laughs> My joy is in seeing what you choose. There are no wrong answers. But every perspective illuminates my shadows and shares new secrets. Do you have any thoughts on this vessel? This one is filled with sadness. A doll, abandoned to the company of her breathless impulses. She desires only companionship, but the only thing she knows is how to hurt. She will make for a tender heart. Do not mourn her. 
she has finally found her way home. So you don't have any preference on how you'd like to change or grow? My preference is for you to show me what you would like me to see. I cannot know the ways I wish to grow, for I have yet to feel them. It is you who guides me down the same trail of perspective and memory. I forgot about the moving background, by the way. <laughs> how many are there? I don't want to hurt you, but the more times I go back, the worse I fear things will be. The vessels are shaped by memories of you, but their impulses are drawn to the edge of the long quiet. To them, you are a gate to something more, and any hurt you've caused them is understood as a fair price for freedom. But they are only thoughts and perspectives. They are not me. The wounds they've suffered carve texture around my heart. Without them, I would be as I was before. I would be alone and without sensation. I could not feel the joy of having you by my side, for I would not know your absence. How many more vessels do I need to bring you? If I am to be an ocean, you have nurtured me into a pond. My waters are shallow and murky. And I yearn for more perspective. You will have your rest in due time. And I am sorry for the burdens I place on you. Of course. I'm ready to go back. Attack the entity, destroy your body. Attack the entity. Your will cuts across the entity in front of you, but nothing happens. My roots burrow in the ocean beyond your sight. We cannot harm each other as we are now. Destroy your body. You raise your will to end your life, but as it buries into the space your body should be, you feel nothing at all. One of the many hands in front of you reaches forward and gently touches the side of your face. There's nowhere for you to be but here. I'm ready to go back. I will long for your return, but it will give me time to reflect on what I am. We will meet again. Anything goes dark and you die. A terrifying vessel. Bring the nightmare to her. You're on a path in the woods. Wait. Alright, let's go back. So load this. when I try to remember. Voice of the Broken? You shouldn't know about the princess. At least, not until I... Oh, you've already been here, haven't you? Um, sort of. I guess. It, it feels so long ago, almost like we've never met. We have to let her out. No, that's the opposite of what you're here to do. You have to slay her. Slay her. We decide to not do that. We don't. Yeah, we're supposed to let her out. It's really the only way this works out for us. If you think about it, she's the one with power here. Nobody else can do much of anything. No, we were supposed to keep her trapped there forever. I think. How many voices are there? Opportunist, stubborn, broken, supposed to be cold. Hunted. There's nothing for us to do. We've already tried everything. Wait, the contrarian is back. We love her, so we have to set her free. What am I seeing? And we love something that hates us. And we love something that hurts us. To be given an ounce of kindness from something so cruel would be more pure than any other love. Why are there so many of us? There aren't supposed to be so many of us. Yeah, exactly. Why is there so many of you? This is bad. We need to get a grip. 
What did you let happen? How many times have you been there? Um, I think they're all wrong. That's a good question. How many times have you all been here? All right, I think they're all wrong. She's the only thing that's right. You're not supposed to be here yet. I'm pretty sure you're so, like that's something for like other endings. Yes, obviously they're all wrong. What are you going to do about it? I think I'm playing the game backwards. <laughs> Getting back to his earlier question, how many times have you all been here? Many, 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 many times. It feels like we've been here forever. It also feels like we've barely been here at all. It doesn't matter. Yes, we just have to do what she says and then Everything will be fine. It won't. It will be for us. She said so. You're part of everything. If things aren't fine for everything, they won't be fine for you. There's no difference between fine and not fine. It just goes on and on. That doesn't make sense. I only remember being here twice before this. And some of you don't seem to remember being here at all. Was I here those other times? Did someone else make the decisions? What does here even mean if you really think about it? Oh, I guess. Shut up. And you were here. Every single time. You did your best, really. There's just a pecking order. And our cruel and beautiful goddess sits atop it, right where she's always belonged. You're lucky. What I would give to be able to forget. I've tried to keep them young, but they're all too soft. A shame, really. Oh my god, how many are there? If I don't remember what I did, then it couldn't have, then it couldn't have been me. It couldn't have been me that did it. Don't think about that too hard. All it will do is weaken your resolve and make it that much harder for you to slay her. Maybe you're shattered in your own way. Are you your memories? Or are you the one perceiving the present moment? Ugh. Here you go, philosophizing again. It never goes anywhere. Yes, this is far from the first time you've asked us that consciousness. Who am I? What am I? What is I? Who even cares? They're good questions. Great questions, even. But they don't have any answers. And we'll kill them for being taunted. It doesn't matter what we do, because we always find her. And if we don't find her, she always finds us. And then she smashes it into smaller pieces. If you all just stopped feeling, you could have been done with this ages ago. Your thoughts are far too scattered to rein back in. Your only option is to silence them. What if we don't go to the cabin? Try that. Yes, actually, we did try that. <laughs> it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Our hearts always brought us back to her. The deck is stacked. No hearts and they're all circles. Can you make sense of them? There's nothing worth making sense of. They're clearly all traumatized. And yet you aren't. We break apart and you stay the same. Yeah, what's your secret? Why can you break the rules when we can't? I feel so disjointed. I don't know if I can pull this off. I don't know if I can slay her. You have to slay her. You have to pull yourself together. You have to snap out of it. Uh. Ah, slay the narrator. You're lucky you haven't been stuck here like the rest of them. There's no other way to keep going. You either need to forget, or you need to stop feeling much of anything. They can't do either. He's not wrong. He's the only smart one left, if you ask me. He's worse than her. 
Through the cabin. The only way out is to do nothing. So nothing will do. Stay where you are. Let's do the only way out is to do nothing, so nothing will do. do nothing I will do. You can't just do nothing. You have to do something. That's a new one. Huh. Do you think it'll work? No. Nothing ever works. Boo. You're the worst one. <laughs> See? That's why the sad one's the worst. The jumpy one tries. <laughs> Who cares? All of you just yap about nothing. And that kind of attitude is why you're in the top half. <laughs> Great. And that's why you're not top. <laughs> Stops all the rest of them someplace quiet. You need me, and you need to not have them. You get killed by yourself. Oh, all of us have gotten all the rest of us killed at one point or another. That's hardly even a concern now. As the little voices bicker amongst themselves, you do your best to stay still in the woods. It is difficult. And the more time you spend waiting, the harder it will be to sharpen your focus when you need it. I wonder what we look like right now. Are we standing? Sitting? I like to think we have an air of dignity. My point exactly. Continue to do nothing. Congratulations. You continue to waste everyone's time <laughs> and do nothing. Oh shit. Ha! It's our turn to flip the table. This is the end, isn't it? Everything is wrong. What is that twisting feeling? We're so small. I don't think we're supposed to be here. Just another bout of nonsense. Again. I can't think anymore. Finally, I've just needed to leave for so long. Hmm. I thought I would last without them. I thought I was special. Well, it looks like this was a good idea. Something new is happening. Well done. Brilliant, even. <laughs> The world around you is unwound. It's physical matter replaced by a textured nothing. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. Memory returns. There is a distant rumbling. A sound of many sounds. Undulations pulse louder as something other comes close. You already know what dwells, what dwells in the empty spaces. Oh god. Oh. Feelers probe across the fabric of reality. Extremities find your consciousness and wrap themselves around it. You are no longer alone. Confusion. Why are you here? I'm unfinished. Resistance. Fingers drag claws... Fingers drag claws across across the glass surface of your soul. Frustration. This vessel is full of you. It is useless to us if it doesn't bring more gifts. Force pushing against your will. No, 
You cannot go back. Not there. Regret. This world is broken beyond repair. We must weave something new. A wagging finger. There's only so much thread in this place. Do not waste it. I am our only salvation. Denial. Return to your destined path or face the consequences. No, okay. Load. Um, alright. Proceed to the cabin. You slowly make your way through the umbral forest, bumping against unseen trees as you grasp through the darkness for a way forward. But eventually, you do make it to the cabin. Or rather, you make it to the place a cabin should have been. Instead, all you find is an empty hill. No, no, this isn't right. There's a cabin. There's always supposed to be a cabin. Don't ask him about the mirror. He always says he never sees it. He always lies. And he always makes it gone. Stay focused. You still have a job to do, and it's best not to be distracted by fraying thoughts. There is no mirror. You know that as well as I do. She's still here, buried deep inside the earth. Just walk up the hill. You always give too much space to the others. That's why you always lose. And what's wrong with giving them space? What if it helps them? What if they need to be heard? They've been heard too much. It's why they are the way they are. Exactly. They are delusions, and all that catering to them will do is drag you down to their level. You have to keep moving. Or you could just give up. Yeah, that's a fair option. Approach the mirror. You walk up the hill, hesitating just beyond the bounds of... I mean, there is technically. You've got to clean the mirror, haven't you? You've got to see what's in it. Smash it to pieces. She's on the other side. And we have to let her out. It's the only way we can be free. It's the only way we can have our thoughts back. Just go around it. <laughs> Just do something. It doesn't matter what. Oh, proceed. Proceed? Proceed to where? I'm afraid you're going to have to be a little more specific. That's a new one. Do you think it'll work? Of course it'll work. He always makes the best decisions. It's why he gets to make them. And it already has worked. It's gone, don't you see? We're one step closer to her. The knife. The interior of the cabin is much the same as the exterior of the cabin. A dull, fuzzy, dreamlike nothing. It's empty and isolating, but there's just enough vague shape and unknown texture to suggest the structure therein. Wrong and unsettling as it may be. The only object of note is a pristine blade buried in the dirt floor, a hint of its shining edge teasing through the sediment. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you're going to do this right. Take it. It's the only way forward. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Take it. It's the only way forward. You already tried everything else. Don't you remember? You have to take the blade. Wow. You reach down to take the blade. As you do, the ground beneath it shifts, the weapon sinking deep into the earth. You lean over the hole and gaze into the abyss. It is very deep. I'm not talking much because I'm just so invested. Deep in the bowels of the earth. Oh, hi. You see something staring back at you. It fills you with dread. It's her. It sure is. Come to 
finish this job. With every word she speaks, the princess in the pit blinks closer. You have to suffer so much longer than you had to. Closer. But it was always just a matter of time. Just three arms. Actually, they're not even connected to her body. You are going to have to stop running eventually. Closer. Everything stops running eventually. Except for me. <laughs> I've already taken your will, and you're not getting it back. I would love for you to keep my will and lock me. Exploring the world and spreading fear wherever we go. Well, mostly just me. But you'll get to be there too. <laughs> a witness. Well, I can even make you a little page if you want. You'll do the everything. Do something. Do anything that isn't taking her hand. I mean, wait. You're just an object, a tool. You were something else a long time ago. But was that something you... But was that something you... Or is that just a dull and jaded memory? What? There is no other ending here. Just take her hand and set her free. Wow. Extend your hand to hers. For all her past cruelties, the moment feels gentle. Tender, even. I can't believe you just made me say that. I hate you. <laughs> Oh wait, look, uh, she's moving, like, she's moving, like, separate from the, from the hole. The motion is difficult at first, as if something still resists your efforts. But then that resistance gives way, and it's over. going to be next fuck I don't know I didn't think I'd be so tired she doesn't have the voice changer anymore the princess exhausted slumps why is it so cold you did not get a chance to respond nor will you ever. It's time to leave. Memory returns. She's gone. Yeah. I can finally think again. Almost. That mirror's back. What does that mean for us? I'm sure it'll be whisked away, just like her. I think it will be gone. Things are different now, aren't they? It doesn't seem like there's much else to do here. Finally. We can smash it. <laughs> oh, you stop with the smashing. What do we say, boys? One last vain attempt to look at ourselves. Of course. Yeah. I think I'd like that. Seems we've got a majority. All that's left is to give it a look. Approach the mirror. You step towards the mirror once more. Its secrets remain hidden. Its mysteries remain unresolved. Something tells me that this is the end of the line. But I don't feel bad about it. I'm ready. It feels... Okay. It feels... Wrong. I'm done fighting. My heart feels... Quiet. The game was always going to end. I'll be free of all of you. I'm ready for the truth. I'm ready to sleep. I'm just ready to be anywhere that isn't here. <laughs> Boys, it's been an honor. No, it hasn't. Gaze into your reflection. Silence as you reach forward. 
They're gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave. But you need to see what's in it. You've grown again. I'm trying to see what's in there. I mean, we look more monstrous than the princess. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. Proceed to the cabin. This is probably the same, isn't it? You're at the cabin. Approach her. Flickering lights and empty cityscapes become pockets of vitality and movement. I am more than I was before. Whenever you are ready, I would like your safe home once again. Yeah. Um... Yeah, there's... Yeah. I'm ready to go back. I will long for your return, but it will give me time to reflect on what I am. We will meet again. Everything goes dark and you die, of course. A scattering vessel. Bring the moment of clarity to her. The moment of clarity? Okay. So let's... Go over here. Shit. This won't even mend, does it? It doesn't matter if we kill her, it doesn't matter if she kills us, it just goes on and on and on and on and on. Yes, so it does. No, there has to be a way out of here. There just has to be. What if we do what she asked us to last time? What if we just let her leave? Okay, so you've already been here. More than once, even. Great. So you probably already know all about her and all about the threat she poses to the world. Yep. Then let me remind you how catastrophic it would be if you helped her leave in any way. If she gets out, the world ends and everyone ends with it, yourself included. Oh, threatening us with death now, eh? Why should we be afraid of dying? We've already done it twice. All death has done is shunt us back to these woods where we're forced to listen to your empty words again and again. This place feels a bit different though, doesn't it? I don't even know what I'd call it. It's definitely not the same path in the woods anymore. That's all the more reason to take this seriously. If the path isn't the same, it means that her influence is spreading. And the world has already started to end. Her influence? I really shouldn't have said that. It'll make your task more difficult. But now it's out, you could always take that information as a sign of goodwill between us and do your job, all right? Uh, are you the same narrator we meant on the other loops? You're quick to accept that we've been here before. If I had to make a wager, I'd say yes and no. Is that supposed to be a riddle? If it is, it's not very good. I haven't met you, but you've clearly met me. It sounds to me like you're hopping between parallel realities, in which case the me you just met here is the same collection of experiences as the me you met at all of those other beginnings, but their continuity breaks the moment you say or do anything. In effect, making them all separate. I really need to fix, like, the the microphone. Because, they're, like, the wire is just, like, really in the way. So, yes, I'm the same me. But ever since the moment we started talking, I'm different. Mm. I'm not sure how we're supposed to kill him ourselves. But he's asking for it. Maybe there's some way she can take care of it for us. They've clearly all been through some harrowing experiences. Don't let their baggage influence your decisions. You have the ability to see things clearly. I suggest you use it. We've killed her and been killed by her, and neither of those things have gone well for us. 
we're going to fall through this loop forever, eventually we're going to let her out. We might as well do it now. You're making a dizzying amount of assumptions. Your perceived reality looping twice before does not mean it will continue to do so forever. Um, Those little voices have already drawn attention to the fact that even the path is different. The world itself is at a tipping point. Know that there is always a choice. Even if you were stuck in an infinite loop, there's no reason to assume that the mere nature of the infinite would force you to make any specific choice. You do have free will, as much as things would be easier if you didn't. And you can just keep making the correct choice forever, never deviating. Everyone is manipulating us. We're starting to see the threads now. We just have to avoid getting tangled up in them. On second thought, let's not kill him. Let's throw him to some place that never ends. I'd like to see what that does to him. What happens if we don't go to the cabin? That's another option. And she finds a way out on her own. So, standing around out here is the same as us letting her out. Only we don't have to see her. That's got to be better, right? <laughs> no, it's strictly worse. And why is that? Because it's cowardly, for starters. And because the unknown is always worse than the known. But really, all you're doing right now is weighing two considerably bad options. The only solution worth considering is slaying her. And whatever delusion is holding you back from doing that is just that. A delusion. If you already managed to end her in some other world, the only reason you'd be here is that you somehow managed to do it wrong. Turn around and leave. Um, hold on, I'm gonna save. I don't think I need two of these. Uh return all right turn around and leave I'm begging you don't do this you're going to damn everything to oblivion you have to do something you can't just walk away yet here we are walking away despite your protestations there's got to be a crack in this world somewhere if he's looking in at us there has to be a way out Ugh, fine you walk down the path away from the cabin for all our sakes that you change your mind before it's too late. Wait, something isn't right. Can you still hear me? Everything is getting quite... W what's going on? Where are we? I don't know. But it feels like... home. It's finally happened, hasn't it? We finally... The world around you is unwound. Its physical matter replaced by a textured nothing. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. Memory returns. There's a distant rumbling, sound of many sounds, undulations, pulse louder than anything. Okay. This is all the same, I'm pretty sure, so I'll just load this once again. Proceed to the cabin. Continue down the path towards the cabin. It isn't long before you're steps away from your destination. I don't think you need any words of warning. I think you know what's in there, and despite your protestations, I think you know what you need to do. I don't like any of our options here. It feels like we're being driven down the tracks to some awful inevitability. There must be something we're missing. Something that would make everything make sense. Maybe letting her out really is the answer. I love how they've layered all of these, like the the images. Like it's not a 3D environment, but it has the illusion of one. It's cool. Whatever. You don't want to listen to me? Do it then. Let her out. Do what I care. It sounds like somebody's about to crack. Um are you trying to reverse are you trying to use reverse psychology on me or have you just given up? There's obviously no point in trying to reason with you right now, especially with all these clowns offering up their useless advice. Honestly, it seems like the more I try and talk sense into you, the more single minded they get about letting her out. So yes, I'm done trying to argue. 
Would you look at that? In one. Take it however you will. Enter the cabin. The interior of the cabin is long and dark, a single narrow hallway stretching far into the distance. Curtains billow out from tall windows on either side, obscuring the path forward, fluttering helplessly as opposing gusts of wind rush into the building, clashing and joining and driving everything forward. The only furniture of note is... Hmm. That's strange. What's strange? Is it the mirror? The mirror? No, there isn't a mirror. What's strange is that there isn't much of anything in here at all, aside from the curtains. There's supposed to be a pristine glade. Why isn't there a pristine glade? Of course there isn't a mirror. There wasn't one last time either, so why would it be there this time? I suppose the only way to go is forward. So forward we will go. Glade or not, it doesn't really matter, does it? Yeah. Let's pretend there is a mirror. A mirror. Let's pretend there is a mirror at the end of this hallway. And that right now we can't see behind it. What's there? What's behind it? If you're asking what's at the end of the hallway, it's the way to the basement. Are you saying there isn't a door? Are you saying at the end of the hallway there's just an opening here? He didn't say door, did he? No, I didn't say door, because there isn't a door, it's just an opening. Interesting. It's just like last time, isn't it? Only instead of a visible empty void, there's a mirror's door. For all we know, she could be standing right there behind the mirror. For all we know, she's going to jump out at us, and there's nothing we can do to stop her. Let me assure you that there's nothing there. Nothing is going to jump out at you, and certainly not the princess. The princess is in the basement. The mirror. You slowly make your way towards the gaping maw that awaits you. Your fraying nerves buzz with trepidation, the chill wind raising your hackles as it gently pushes you forward towards the darkness at the end of the hallway. You can't shake the feeling that you're being watched. How do we? Do we feel like we're being watched? I haven't noticed. At least you're admitting to me now. You stop as you reach the end of the hallway. I presume in front of whatever mirror isn't actually there. Wipe the mirror clean. I know what's about to happen. Knowing makes it so much worse. <laughs> you reach your arm forward into the pitch black of the opening. Ah. Well, that was a close one. All that stress and lead up for nothing. It's gonna... Help yourself to yeah. into the void. I'm glad I made a lasting impression. Shit. Where is she? You feel something long and frigid coil around your ankle. Your heart skips a beat, standing in muted shock for one long, frozen moment. And then it, she, the princess, constricts. Your bones snap. Icy pain radiates up from the break, a deep cold flooding your veins as your legs, numb with the shock of it, collapse, and you collapse with them. You're met with the terrifying visage of the princess. Her hand grips your leg in a steel vice, her grin carved jagged from ear to ear, crowded with far too many long and crooked teeth. You killed me last time, and that was after you tried to lock me away forever. I was so, so close to freedom, but then you took my body away from me. Well, damn. So now, I'm going to take yours, and I'm going to walk it out of here. And you? You get to watch me do it. Completely helpless. Just like you left me. Okay, maybe letting her in isn't the best idea. She clearly hates us. Um, what's your point? I thought you wanted to get out of here. This is a way out, and it's different. We might as well take it. Not like this. She's going to make it hurt. And turn off the part of you that feels things. Oh, like it's that easy? It is. Pain is just another sensation. If you can tolerate joy, you can tolerate pain. <laughs> I guess. Except that pain hurts. <laughs> yes. 
That's what it does. That's the definition. <laughs> He's not wrong. You didn't need to make his brain do it. Why are you paying him like that? You need to explain to yourself why it is like that. <laughs> okay, let's save. You need to explain yourself why it isn't. Oh wait, that's the voice of the clause. Look, we're even now. You killed me, and then I killed you. Water under the bridge, right? I think you forgot something. Like a part where all this started when you left me to languish in the pit all by myself. Now I've become something so much worse. And it's all thanks to you. You got me there. If I were you, I would just want to get it over with. You've lost your chance to call this shot. There's no going back to fix it now. You can either look on in horror or celebrate my freedom. But either way, you're about to become a passenger. I never wanted to hurt you. I don't even know how I got here. If you did hurt me, why even? And I'm not letting you do it again. Enough talking. We'll have plenty of time for chit chat once this place is far behind us. You remain pinned to the floor of the long hallway as the rest of the princess's body emerges. Her proportions all wrong, limbs bent and curling, moving in ways that defy your understanding. Her torso stretches until her face is practically touching yours, her neck cracking audibly as she twists to look at you from a fresh angle. Wanna kiss? Are you sure you can't do anything to help us? Can't you, like, manifest a rock right on top of her head? And crush you along with her? Not that I even can manifest a rock. Besides, I thought you all wanted to free the princess. <laughs> Not like this. <laughs> you don't even have a weapon. So I'm afraid you're out of luck, which unfortunately means that I, and the rest of the world, are out of luck too. Okay, deep breath. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Is it? Is there any conceivable way that this is fine? Yeah, I'm right. This is fine. It's better than last time. At least our organs aren't angry. At least I can actually talk. It is fine. Everything is always fine. These consequences have no real impact on us outside of momentary discomfort. I'm sure we'll be moving on again soon enough. Your vision fades as she tears open the membrane of your soul. You're awake. Eyes once again fixed on the long hallway, your vision swimming as the princess's command reverberates inside your skull. Her voice is all-encompassing. You feel wrong. It's so cramped in here. Like there's some sort of growth trying to push us all out. I know. You rise to your feet, though the pain in your ankle is blinding. Your body slumps against the wall, desperately leaning into it for support. It's rather rude to show up in somebody else's body and boss it around like this. <laughs> gonna let you out of here. That's the whole reason we marched all the way back up to the cabin. Were we? I was. <laughs> <laughs> and what reasons are those supposed to be? Nobody should be able to be judge, jury, and executioner. <laughs> like this we I have always been like this <laughs> we don't even have to let her out I've been storing up a little bit of will since she forced her way in here take it and throw us all into the basement it's better than giving her what she wants 
Your body, still slumped against the wall, trapped between the princess's overwhelming will and the blinding pain of your splintered ankle, takes an excruciating step towards the cabin door. The movement is stiff, your body reduced to a marionette, pulled reluctantly along by your strings. Uh, yeah, feels so good. Okay, we save here. I don't think I need this anymore. Uh, throw your body into the abyss. In a single moment of overwhelming willpower, you tear your body from the wall and hurl it towards the gaping abyss. Capillaries burst and muscle fibers tear as you and the princess struggle over the reins of your body. One foot planted firmly on the edge where the floor ends and the nothing begins. It's unquestionable that her reserves are greater than yours, but fortunately for you, the distance you have to cover is far shorter. We're putting in everything we have. You're not. You're thinking too much about how she's hurting us. You're thinking too much about your body. It's just a body. one we all go one two three you throw everything you have against her and manage for one brief moment to overpower the princess's hold on your body but that moment was all you needed your foot slips a few inches and you collapse forward the darkness swallowing you whole her thought slips through you I wonder you fall and fall and fall <laughs> did it we actually did it yes we've really shown the world haven't we don't you disqualify us as saving the world but at least you didn't ruin it <laughs> what happens now <laughs> There. I want to know what he thinks happens now. Why? What do you know that you're not telling us? Terminal velocity ceases, and you feel a a something, a mass, a growth torn out of your body. You and the princess look at each other for a short moment. Oh, she was still taken. But you don't answer her before she's gone. And you feel a resistance underneath your feet once more. Memory returns. She's gone. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? Oh, there's that mirror again. Why is it here? Why now? Of course you're scared. This is the end for you, but it's not the end for me. It's going to be okay, just trust me, you've been here before, you always get scared. Feels so bad, like looking into it right now is going to be the end of everything. It's calling us, and not in a good way. We don't need to comfort them. It's not the end. Whatever's on the other side is going to be nice. It's the end for you, but not for me. I'll see you on the other side, it's going to be okay. Uh... It's not the end, whatever's on the other side is going to be nice. If you say so. We'll 
trust you. I trust you. Yes. Whatever makes you happy. Approach the mirror. You approach the mirror. Gaze into your reflection. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave. But you need to see what's in it. You've grown. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. You see to the cabin. You're at the cabin. Approach her. Flickering lights in empty cityscapes become pockets of vitality and movement. I am more than I was before. Is this the same dialogue? Whenever you are ready, I will wipe your slate clean once again. Are you the same being you were before? How much have you changed? What does it feel to change like this? Eyes close in reflection. Perspectives meld together, and the breadth of my experience stretches to new corners. There are contradictions, conflicts in my nature. And there are familiarities that bind everything together. It feels correct. This is what I need to be. This is the only path forward. Um. When I go back to Sif, an invisible wall closes. Uh, yeah, this is all the same, I'm pretty sure. Your, your will cuts across the entity in front of you, but nothing happens. My roots burrow in an ocean beyond your sight. We cannot harm each other as we are now. Destroy your body. You raise your will to end your life, but as it buries into the space your body should be, you feel nothing at all. One of the many hands in front of you reaches forward and gently touches the side of your face. There's nowhere for you to be but here. Alright. I'm ready to go back. I await your return, but it will give me time to reflect on what I am. We will meet again. Everything goes dark and you die. A seething vessel. Bring the wraith to her. You're on a path. Yeah, I don't care. Um, let's load this. Leave the cabin. You toss the last of your will aside and surrender to the princess. Yes, that's that. Maybe we'll find our freedom. An end is an end. Let's see what it has in store for us. Your body inches along the corridor, every step more difficult and painful than the last. Your joints stiff and unresponsive, the shattered bones of your ankle grinding ceaselessly, as if they're fragmenting, then reforming, then snapping all over again as you make your way towards the outside world. But despite the anguish, it doesn't feel like the exit to the cabin is getting any closer. If anything, it's getting further away. Just let her out. <laughs> Pointless, isn't it? I can't stop her without you, and you'd already given up by the time we met. <laughs> no, 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 screw that. The hallway gets even longer. <laughs> God damn. Isn't saying all of 
that's his job. <laughs> The passenger, when taken against your will, witness your enemy's freedom. But as you step outside the bounds of the cabin, you feel another violent tear. A rending that cuts all the way down to your soul. You are once again separated from everything that had ness nestled in the deep crevices of your body from everything that isn't you. But you don't answer her before she's gone. Memory returns. Gone. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? Oh, there's that mirror again. Why is it here? Why now? It's going to be okay. It feels so bad. Like looking into it right now is going to be the end of everything. It's calling us. And not in a good way. We don't need to comfort them. I'll see you on the other side. It's going to be okay. If you say so, we'll trust you. We'll trust you. Yes, Whatever yes. Makes you happy. Approach the mirror. You approach the mirror. Gaze into your reflection. You've grown. I feel like I'm not actually making any progress. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. Proceed to the cabin. You're at the cabin. Approach her. Flickering lights in empty cityscapes become pockets of vitality and movement. I am more than I was before. Whenever you are ready, I will wipe your slate clean once again. Yeah, right now you can do it. I'm ready to go back. I await your return, but it will give me time to reflect on what I am. We will meet again. Everything goes dark and you die. Cool. Um. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin, and in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Um, I actually want to go back to the first thing. First page. Let's go back to the first. I was supposed to load. And I accidentally saved over the file. It's fine. So what did I do last time to um Uh killing a prince seems kind of bad though. No 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 Okay, um, going with Prince seems kind of bad though. Uh, the end of the world, what are you talking about? Have you considered that the only reason why she's going to end the world is because she's locked up? Can someone else do it? Do I get some sort of reward? Yes. 
In terms of prizes. Are you, have you considered making him okay with the world ending? The interior of the cat blade. Take the blade. Take Actually, wait, I was supposed to save right there. It's fine. The daughter her voice carries up the stairs. Who's there? She sounds dangerous. It's almost as if she's the one in charge down here. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. Um, guess I don't need this anymore. Hi, don't be a stranger. It's been so long since I've had any visitors. Come on down. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall. She's so coldly focus on the task and there you are are you here to kill me or something um okay save uh, I'm just here to talk then why did you bring a knife with you how about you drop it and then we can chat she makes a compelling point. What if we just dropped the blade and talked? Look at her. It's not like she's a threat. Don't you dare. It's fine. We can decide what we want. Okay. Tighten your grip. You ignore the trembling in your hands and tighten your grip on the blade. You poor thing. Your hands are shaking. Are you scared of me? Because you should be. You step forward. Your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your resolve. I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? And if that knife is the only weapon you have, you'll have to get close enough to use it. So, you should just drop it. Best not to risk finding out what I can do. She's unarmed. If you hesitate now, it'll be too late. End this. What if she doesn't bluff me? What if she kills us? What if she isn't bluffing? What if she kills us? Into this expecting to die. You're going to die. Hesitating? Why don't you drop the knife and the two of us can be civilized with each other? I'm not dropping the blade. Then I'm not talking to you. <laughs> Fine then. I guess we're at an impasse. I guess we are. For the love of everything, just slay her already. Or drop the blade. Do something. Are you sure you don't want to talk? Yeah, I'm sure. For goodness sake, the two of you can't just stand around like this forever. Eventually, something is going to give, and I highly recommend you be the one to take the initiative say the princess you charge the princess blade trembling in your hand but you've already lost the battle all right well um actually Uh Okay. Let's 
Let's do a nerves and step forward. Step forward. Your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your resolve. Oh, no talking then. Sorry. What even makes you think you can kill me? I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? And if that knife is the only weapon you have, you'll have to get close enough to use it. So, you should just drop it. Best not to risk finding out what I can do. She's unarmed. Um. It's probably gonna end the same way. Um. What was that I wanted to do again? I'm just here to talk. Then why did you bring a knife? She makes a compa Don't you dare. It's fine. Drop it. Thank you. Maybe now we can against your will be fine. Don't know what you're hoping to. So here we are. What an awkward start to a relationship. Um We've talked enough. Oh, have you decided what to do? You know what to do. I'm getting you out of here. Some of the chains. You have to be kidding. You walk up to the chains, binding the princess to the wall, and give them a tug. They're large and heavy, far too solid for you to even imagine trying to break them apart. I'm guessing you don't have the key. Nope. Maybe it's somewhere upstairs. Whoever locked the princess away down here intended for her to never see the light of day. They wouldn't have just left the key to her chains somewhere in the cavern. And if there isn't a key, do you have any ideas? Well, you do have that big, sharp knife. You could always cut me out of here. She speaks with almost complete nonchalance. If we were stuck down here for long enough, I'm sure we'd be nonchalant about cutting our way out. Anything to finally be free. You attempt to make your way out of the basement, but the door at the top of the stairs slams shut. You hear the click of a lock sliding into place. Is someone else here? Um. Yeah, let me out of here. Some keys are met with silence. You're here to slay the princess, and you won't leave until the task is done. Try the door. But it's locked from the outside. I'll repeat myself once again. You're here to slay the princess, and you won't leave until the task is done. Return to the bottom of the stairs. You make your way back to the bottom of the stairs. This would have been so much easier if you'd simply slain her like you were supposed to. Easier for whom? Easier for everyone. I heard the door slam. They locked you down here too, didn't they? Yep. The knife. Pick it up and cut me out of here. I cut your arm off? You won't like what happens if you do that. Hold on. Um... Yeah. Without hesitation, oh! you bring the blade down. Princess flinches as you strike and your weapon sinks into her shoulder. You bastard. If I have to kill you to leave this place, I'll do it. I thought we had the upper hand, but it's as if she's barely even threatened by us. It's an act. She's unarmed and there's nothing she can do to hurt you. I'm not so sure. Don't waver now. As you raise your blade to strike again, she kicks out, knocking your legs out from under you. The two of you struggle on the ground. You lash out with the blade, slicing wherever you can. Her fists connect with your body again and again, each blow stronger than the last, shattering bone and rupturing tissue with reckless abandon. Forget trying to rescue her. This is about survival now. Give her everything you've got. Don't really have much of a choice. Of you is in pain. The princess probably has it worse. 
blood pours out from countless gashes, staining her once pristine dress. She pauses for a moment, catching her breath, staring at you with wild eyes. We can still turn this around. Okay, help her finish the job. What the fuck? There are too many options. Um, finish the job. Steal your resolve and take another step towards the princess. You probably won't make it out of here alive, but you can at least make sure she won't make it out of here either. Excuse me? What was that about not making it out of here alive? <laughs> Do you think this is what I wanted to happen? I have a duty to state the facts of the situation, and honestly, it's a miracle anyone is still standing right now. Can you not feel all those ruptured organs bouncing around in there? The princess doesn't do our friend in herself. Internal bleeding is certain to finish the job. The two of you clash for the final time. You feel your ribs break as she delivers a heavy blow, but you push through the pain, falling forward and sinking your blade deep into the princess's heart. How can she even fight with, like, that heavy chain? Fun. You put up more of a fight than I thought you would. But I have to wonder. Do you really think this is the end? But you don't have the time to worry over her words. Everything goes dark, and you die. The adversary. All right, um, okay. Let me load. This and give up. Are you serious? As the force of her blows overwhelms your body, the blade falls from your trembling hands, clattering uselessly to the cobblestones below. I suppose you just lacked the will to finish the job. Suppose so. The princess, wounded but still alive, stands to face you. She places a confident heel on your chest and pushes you to the ground. Her knee slides to your throat and your windpipe is crushed under weight you didn't think her frame could possibly possess. Pathetic. This is the end, isn't it? Everything goes dark, and you die. The tower. Actually, isn't the tower, um, the one you get? Okay, hold on. Um, hold on, what is it? Let me load. Save the princess. Against your better judgment, you place the blade against the princess's arm, just above the massive, unyielding chain. You cut into her flesh. Ooh, that must hurt. The blade is sharp, and you make quick work of it. Before long, you're able to crack through bone, and she pulls the bleeding stub of her arm through the iron gauntlet. Jesus Christ. She didn't so much as utter a sound. Free from her bindings, the princess turns to face you, her fierce gaze meeting your eye. How is she so composed after losing an arm? It's like she isn't even bothered by it. It's just an arm. Now let's get out of here. First locked door. No, we won't have any of that. The stakes are too high. You can't just let her escape into the world. No, I just can't let her escape into the world. As the princess approaches the bottom stair, your body steps forward and raises the blade. Wait, this isn't fair. You can't just do that. Watch me. Oh, wow. Well. Oh? Wait. Okay, hold on. Let me save. Save the princess. You bring the blade down and plunge it into the princess's back. Find her. Okay. 
no going back now. Though the blade left a deep gash in her shoulder, she barely so much as flinches, turning around to stare at you incredulously. Are you serious? I don't know what came over you, but if we're doing this, I guess I'll have to kill you. Do you think I need both of my arms to do that? I can beat you to death with one. But I don't have to tell you that. I'll go ahead and show you. Uh, why is there so many fucking options? Alright, say the princess. Thank you. You swing your arm towards her throat, the blade singing through the air. But she's ready for it. She grabs your arm, her grip like a stone vice. How strong is this bitch? You drop the blade. Pathetically. She lets go, and faster than you can react, rears back and hits you with a bone-shattering haymaker. There's a ringing in your ears. You're fairly certain you can feel bone grinding against bone where she fractured your jaw. But your body isn't allowing you to feel much right now. Adrenaline coursing through your system and numbing your nerves. You fall to your knees. You're barely able to bring your trembling arms up to defend yourself before she hits you again. Every blow is as punishing as the first. You feel bones shatter with every impact. Unknown ruptures blossoming with blood somewhere inside of you. Hmm. 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 I'll go ahead and put you out of your misery. She places a confident heel on your chest and pushes you down to the ground. Her knee falls to your throat, your windpipe crushed beneath a weight you didn't think her slight form could possibly possess. It can't just end like this, right? I'm sorry, but it's over. Everything goes dark. And you die. Tower again. Okay. You load this. And warn her. Stop that. I thought this was a little too easy. Your body lunges forward to sink the blade into her back, but the princess swiftly moves out of the way before you can connect. Stop it. Stop resisting me. I am trying to get you out of here alive. Resist. The blade. Move the blade. You're doing your best to help me, aren't you? I can see the conflict in your eyes. I'll make this quick. She steps forward and pries the blade from your rigid hand. Maybe I'll see you in another life. And then she slits your throat with an almost clinical ease. Her face remains unchanged as she watches you collapse to the ground, blood flowing from your butchered neck. This is the end, isn't it? I'm afraid it is. Everything goes dark, and you die. I hope it was worth it. The prisoner. This is new. Um. Let's. All right. Let's load the adversary. Wait. Actually. This one just goes to the tower, right? Charge the princess. You shouldn't have but she does this. You shouldn't. Is this, she this is I'm afraid. Everything goes dark. Yeah. The tower. Alright. You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Um...
But I already slew the princess. Sure, she also killed me, but I definitely got her. Why am I here again? I can assure you that you didn't slay her and that she didn't kill you. People don't just spring back to life after dying, and the two of us are meeting for the very first time. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. You know I can hear you. It's going to be a lot harder than you think to keep secrets from me. That's fine. It doesn't matter if he can hear us. The only thing that matters is marching up to that cabin and winning. That's the spirit. There's no point in squabbling when the real threat is just up that hill. Let's assume I'm telling the truth and all of this really did happen. Why should I listen to you? Why should I bother doing anything? Wait, actually, I'm curious what happens if you turn around and leave. You cannot go further astray. Wow. <sighs> fine. Those are two very different questions, but fine. Let's say for a moment that this really is the second time we've met. We died, we did our best with the information we were given, and we did kill her. And yet you still died, didn't you? So congratulations. You've been given another chance to actually do this right. And I believe your other question was something along the lines of, Oh, what's the point of doing anything? If you're asking that, it sounds to me like you're making the rather dangerous assumption that your actions last time around didn't have any consequences. What do you mean? Of course there weren't any consequences. We killed the princess, the princess killed us, and now everyone's right back where they started. That sounds pretty consequence-free to me. Yes, but in this purely hypothetical scenario, that begs the question of how you got Time simply rewind itself, or were you instead transported to a different world entirely? Hmm. Had you failed to slay the princess, what would have happened to everyone in the place you left? Ugh. Enough with the talking. We've got a fight to win. <laughs> Nothing else matters. I couldn't agree more. The cabin and your destined confrontation with the princess await. Let's talk about this princess. Be quick about it. We killed each other last time around. How can I make sure this doesn't happen like again? Said, if she killed you, it was probably because you didn't listen to me. Don't talk to her. Don't trust her. Just go in, do your job, and save the world. All she did last time around was beat me to death. How can someone like that end the world? She just can. Believe me, I wish I could tell you more, but you'll just have to trust that what I'm saying is true. Despite it all, you're fully up to the task that's been given to you. Oh, this is maddening. Why do you keep asking questions? There's nothing wrong with getting the full picture of what's going on here. Sure there is. It's wasting time and energy that would be better spent fighting. Who locked her in the basement? What is this place? If people locked her away, why couldn't they slay her? Why is this falling on me? I'm not supposed to say this, but it's because you're special. You're the only person capable of doing this. Call it a prophecy if that helps. It's just the way things are. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't know we were special. Yeah, I like the sound of that. Oh my god. Of course you're special. Why else would you be here? Because I'm playing this fucking game. You're being cagey. Why aren't you telling me? I've told you everything you need to know. Going into more detail would just overcomplicate an otherwise very simple situation and make your job more difficult. What else would we even need to know? We've got all the reason we need for a rematch. Exactly. The less you know about her, the better. That's all. Great. Breath for you to save it from ruin. Proceed to the cabin. A warning before you go any further. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Go 
don't believe a word she says. I think she's probably gonna start fighting me. <laughs> I don't I don't think she's going to use words. I think fists will start flying. Lying and cheating doesn't sound like her at all. Not that it matters. It's not like she can lie or cheat in the middle of a fight. Yeah. Are you sure about that? The point of my warning wasn't to start an argument over what circumstances the princess is capable of lying in. It was to give you some broadly applicable advice. The princess will do and say whatever she thinks it will take to get her out of there. So don't trust her. Ever. Are we clear? Crystal. Let's just get on with it already. We'll see you into the cabin. The cabin is tighter than its exterior would suggest. Its cold stone walls press in on you, as if trying to forcefully direct you towards your destination. The only furniture of note is a black iron altar, with a pristine blade perched on its edge. Oh. See? Even the cabin has the right idea. Let's get moving. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. You know, I haven't tried going into the thing without the blade. You didn't say anything about the mirror. Because there isn't a mirror. There's the altar, the blade sitting on the altar, and the door to the basement. There's nothing else in here. There's definitely a mirror. There isn't. You already wasted so much time in the woods. Who even cares if there's a mirror? I care about whether I'm being lied to. As do I. And I'm not lying to you. Use your eyes. There is no mirror. Why would I lie about something so mean? Good would a mirror even do? Makes you waste time cleaning yourself instead of doing what needs to be done. <sighs> this whole cabin is different from, is different than last Very time. Very different. Maybe that's because you haven't actually been here. I hope this means you'll finally drop that ridiculous past life nonsense. You haven't died, and you certainly haven't been killed by the princess. So focus up. The world is depending on you. Approach the mirror. You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall. There isn't much to see here. This really isn't funny. Wipe the mirror clean. You reach forward and rub your hand against the cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. But it was there a second ago. It now still it's looks gone. like a mirror. So all of us can stop arguing about it and get to fighting. I'm, I kind of want to try and not take in the blade, but enter the basement. No knife this time. Right then, fisticuffs it is. Probably more fair to her anyway. Wouldn't want to feel like we cheated our way to a win. That's right. As long as you can still get the job done. And don't forget that the blade is waiting for you upstairs if you happen to change your mind. Revealing a rough stone staircase, its walls pressing at your sides and tightening as you descend. The air seeping from below is heavy and oppressive, with an almost sulfuric odor to it. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. Her fierce voice carries up the stairs. Is that another challenger? Finally. It's been ages since I've had a good fight. This isn't what she sounded like last time. Her voice is a little deeper, almost threatening. Good. Sounds like my kind of princess. <laughs> as much as I appreciate the enthusiasm, just make sure you don't let your bloodlust get to your head. You need to stay focused and keep your wits about you. Remember, you're here to slay the princess, not to have a good fight. I don't know. Having a good fight seems like the top priority right now. As you descend the final step, the form of the princess comes into view. A large shackle leading from her wrist to the basement wall. That is every tomboy's sexual awakening, but alright. Looks like she could rip those chains out of the wall without a second thought. Oh, it's you again. I've been hoping you'd find your way back here. 
Good to see the death doesn't stick for either of us. <laughs> but no little note this time, huh? Look, and I hope you're not just here to chat. I've been itching for a rematch. Actually, I'm curious, right? Load. I cannot go back. All right, never mind. I hope you heard all of that, Mr. Narrator. This is a lot different than last time, but last time definitely happened. Okay, fine. Let's say for a moment I believe you. For all we know, whatever happened to you last time was just a fluke, and beyond that, do you know who doesn't remember anything that happened last time? Me. I don't remember what happened last time. Uh, are you okay? <laughs> of course I'm not okay. As far as we're all concerned, the fate of my world is still very much on the line. Not all of us have the luxury of jumping over to a parallel universe the second we die. You look different. Aside from your empty hands, you look exactly the same. <laughs> so you do remember me. No, I remember you all right. Best three minutes of my life. So, why don't we do it again? Or are you scared I'm going to put you down for good this time? Are you just going to let her talk to us like that? We're not scared. I think my position on violence in this situation is already more than clear. But you really shouldn't let yourself be goaded so easily. There's more at risk in this encounter than your fragile ego. I agree. If we're going to fight her, we need a weapon. Um... I actually am here just... I'm just here to chat. Haven't we talked enough? Do you really have anything else to say? Or are you just stalling because you're scared I'm going to kill you again? I'm actually here to free you. Free her? You are free. I don't know why I'm even bothering, to be honest. You know the stakes of the situation. Who says I want to be free? Um, you? You don't want to be free? Are you serious? Yeah, I'm fine right where I am. Well, all right then. Okay, hold on. Did you hear that? Maybe we don't have to do anything. If she's fine where she is, maybe... As long as you go back upstairs, pick up that knife, and fight me to the death. Never mind. There is no happy ending where everyone makes it out of this place alive. We either deal with her here, right now, or she'll eventually find her way out. Whether she even wants to leave is hardly relevant. This cabin won't last forever. Hear that? Between him and her, that should be all the motivation you need. Now pick up the blade and fight her. Fine, bitch. Pick up the blade and slay her. You're being a bit semantic, aren't you? I am. It's an important distinction. If you're going to see this through, you need to hold the right intent. This isn't a sparring match. It is a lethal confrontation that will decide the future of everything. It's a fight to the death, so it's both a, it's both a sparring match and a, a lethal confrontation. Fine. As long as it leads to a fight, do whatever he just said. Oh my god, why is there so many? Uh... I'm so tempted to click, you know what, yes I will, I will do that. Mom didn't raise no bitch, mom didn't raise me at all. I guess we'll have to see how this goes. With your hands empty, you charge the princess. Quit the pessimism, will you? Right? It's almost like you don't want us to beat her. <laughs> no, look, I'm rooting for you, I really am. I'm just doing my best to keep my expectations grounded. You don't have a weapon. You're supposed to have a weapon. You'll be fine. Just watch. You attack, fists raised, and the two of you fall into combat. Your clawed fingers tear into her flesh, and her fists and elbows return the blows in kind, bruises blossoming in her wake, and blood vessels rupturing in vivid sprays of gore. 
not bad. You're tougher than I thought you'd be. You hear that? She respects us. We can pull this off. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. <laughs> but without that knife, you'll never be enough. Her knee connects with your sternum with a loud, violent crack. The wind leaves your lungs, and as you struggle for breath, you can feel something flooding in to fill the space. Hot blood, suffocating you from the inside. You have to want to kill me. Like this. You don't so much as see her movement before she deals the killing blow. Everything goes dark, and you die. Uh, are you serious? <laughs> That's it. That's it. Like hell it is. We're not giving up that easy. Now get up. Didn't you hear me? You're dead. <laughs> There's no getting up from that. Get up or die? No, no, no. We're, first of all, we're saving. But we're getting up. Wait. open and you push yourself back to your feet you're alive the princess takes a step back and looks down at her pulp covered fists i could have sworn i killed you that's your face splattered on the walls and dripping from my hand wait no my face you're joking right you're exaggerating i still have my face right I still have my face, right? Uh, can I go to get my pristine blade now? <laughs> no, you definitely killed me. I just got better. Not putting me down that easily. Run or attack the princess. Okay, uh, multiple choice. We need yet another. Run. one-sided as I feared, but it's still a far cry from what I'd hoped. Her injuries, though numerous, pale in comparison to yours, and the wounds you've inflicted upon her barely seem to have slowed her down. As much as you're trying to ignore it, adrenaline pushing you far past your limits, every movement burns. This is getting boring. Are you even trying to keep up with me? She lands another devastating... Everything goes dark again, and you die again. You know what I'm going to say, that we're not dead. Come on, get up. We can just keep going. We're bound to wear her down eventually. Are you sure she can't do what we're doing right now? Of course I'm sure. We're special, remember? <laughs> ha ha. Uh, I'm not even going to save this. I'm gonna load this. You don't. I, I don't even know how you're talking to me. <laughs> you raise your hands and touch the front of your head. She's not wrong. W what? W what did she do? W what are we missing? Who cares if we're missing our face? We can fight just fine without one. Yeah. Can I go get my pristine blade now? The princess breaks into a wide grin. No. All right. She steps forward. Her bind. Okay. Uh. No, you definitely killed me. I just got better. Maybe this will be a good fight after all. The two of you clash once more. It's not as one-sided as I feared, but it's still a far cry from what I'd hoped. Her injuries, though numerous, pale in comparison to yours, 
and the wounds you've inflicted upon her barely seem to have slowed her down. As much as you're trying to ignore it, adrenaline pushing you far past your limits, every movement burns. This is getting boring. Are you even trying to keep up with me? She lands another devastating... No. Lethal blow. Everything goes dark. Again. And you die. Again. You know what I'm going to say. Yeah. Well, you're dead. Come on, get up. We just keep going. We're bound to wear her down eventually. Are you sure she can't do what we're doing right now? Of course I'm sure. All right, let's get up. Once more, you can push yourself back to your mangled feet. How, how are you still moving? How are you still doing anything? <laughs> Bodies aren't supposed to look like that. An uncharacteristic terror seems to grip her voice. Have we ever seen her afraid before? No. I can do this all day. I'm going to put you out of your misery. I don't like looking at you like this. You're all twitching and wrong. I like it. We're invincible. Yeah. The fist flies towards where your face used to be. Your twisted body incapable of moving out of the way. And then you see nothing. Everything goes dark when we die. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> something to say yeah I quit <laughs> <laughs> oh that's great I didn't hear no bell fire your foe unarmed and go to the distance the fury wait hold on um I want to load but this Die. It's over. But maybe you'll have better luck next time. It's the same. Okay. Um what if we have a weapon this time? Take the blade. You take the blade from the altar. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Enter the basement. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a rough stone staircase, its walls pressing at your sides and tightening as you descend. The air seeping from below is heavy and oppressive, with an almost sulfuric odor to it. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. Her fierce voice carries up the stairs. Is that another challenger? Finally. It's been ages since I've had a good fight. This isn't what she sounded like last time. Her voice is a little deeper, almost threatening. Good. Sounds like my kind of princess. As much as I appreciate the enthusiasm, just make sure you don't let your bloodlust get to your head. You need to stay focused and keep your wits about you. Remember, you're here to slay the princess as you descend the final step. The form of the princess comes into view. A large shackle leading from her wrist to the basement wall. Looks like she could rip those chains out of the wall without a second thought. Oh, it's you again. I've been hoping you'd find your way back here. Good to see that death doesn't stick for either of us. And you brought your little knife, too. Yes! I'm going to have fun breaking you into little pieces. Um I'm not saying I'm not here to fight, but I think the two of us have a few things to unpack first, like how we how like how we're both still alive. What is there to unpack? 
I was dead and now I'm not, and the same goes for you. There. Unpacking done. Yep. That sounds about right. Don't you get it? We've been given free reign to wail on each other. Forever. Couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> I love this guy. Right. Oh, I believe you. What? What you said earlier in the woods, I believe you. You've already met the princess, and the princess has already met you. That's all the more reason to take this seriously. You don't know. Whatever brought the two of you back to life isn't a fluke. And beyond that, do you know who doesn't remember anything that happened last time? Me. I don't remember. Uh, are you okay? Of course I'm not okay. As far as we're all concerned, the fate of my world is still very much on the line. Not all of us have the luxury of jumping over to a parallel universe the second we die. <laughs> um, just because it bothers you, I'm going to take this even less seriously. You don't know the depths of my apathy or lie. No, I don't know what you're talking about. I've never died. Do you see how alive I am right now? Would someone as alive as me already have died? I don't think so. Don't worry, I'm going to do a good job. I'm going... You got me pretty much... Everything you just said is true. Don't worry, I'm going to do a good job. Right. Focus up and do it then. Um... I haven't decided what I'm doing yet. You haven't decided? We talked more than enough last time. Do you really have anything else to say? Or are you just stalling because you're scared I'm going to kill you? If you want to talk, I guess I can talk. But you should come a little closer first. I don't know what happened to you since the last time we met, but I'm not finding a giant demon lady. Bye, turn around and leave. <laughs> okay, hold on. Uh, I think this is kind of the same answer. Let's try this. Oh, you've got another thing coming if you think you can just turn around and leave. Step towards the stairs, you hear the heavy creak of straining metal, and then a snap. She's loose. You have to make a decision, and you have to make it fast. Um, okay, team, what are we thinking? the princess barrels into you and smashes your body into the rough stone wall. Can I finish my thought now? <laughs> sure. Why not? Here. So glad we could stick around to hear the end of that. <laughs> I'm afraid that's all the time you had left. Why, for the love of everything, did you stop to think? What did you expect you'd come up with? <laughs> it doesn't matter because everything goes dark and you die. Great job. <laughs> Great job, partner. Come on. We can't be dead. We didn't even get a chance to fight her. Dead is dead. But maybe you'll have better luck next time. The Fury. Okay, so this is the same. Load. Okay. Run like hell. You do your best to scramble up the stairs before the princess can reach you. Yeah. You feel her steamy breath on the back of your neck, but you manage just barely to throw yourself over the threshold and slam the heavy stone doors behind you. You're safe, if only for a moment. Do you think this door is enough to hold me? You're not getting out of this. I don't care how many things I have to break. 
I'm getting the fight I want. My cabin shakes as the princess throws herself against the basement door. It's huge and, and made of stone. We're fine. Right? Um of course we are. Any second now she's gonna break through that entryway. And we're finally going to get to do what we came here to do. The impact shakes the cavern, a massive gash splitting its way up the stone doors. There she comes. The doors explode outwards, shards of stone clattering against the walls as the princess emerges from the basement. Stop running. How about I run a little more? Yep. In a fit of violence, the princess explodes across the room and closes the gap between. You do your best to defend yourself from her onslaught. You're sorely For every wound you inflict on her, she inflicts two on you until, finally, you're no longer able to so much as stand. Your body is giving out. Giving out? No, nobody's giving out. We're just getting started. Don't be delusional, it's over. You fall to your knees. Is, is that it? You're supposed to be tougher than this. Come on, get up, she's fighting me. No, this isn't right. Listen to me, listen to her. We can do this. We can't. Why won't you get up? She kicks you in the chest. Splinters from your shattered ribs stabbing into your heart and lungs. Your vision starts to swim. Finally, her face twisted into an expression of disappointment and fury fades. Everything goes dark, and you die. The eye of the okay, this is new. So let's load this again. Um all right. Dash the side and counterattack. Princess barrels towards you. You do your best to maneuver between the tight walls of the basement. You do your best to outplay her, slashing out and leaving red cuts in the tattered remains of her white dress. But you have little room to maneuver. For every glancing blow you manage to land, she slams you against the wall in retaliation, each impact threatening to be the last. This weak little dance isn't working. Just toughen up and overpower her. She's thrown us around like a rag doll. I think overpowering her is a little out of the question. <laughs> Did you think you could stop me with a few cuts? All this dancing around and doing nothing but annoying me. I own this place. And I own you. The princess's arm shoots forward, her palm wrapping around your head, fingers gripping your skull. How disappointing. She squeezes. Pressure unbearable as her fingers dig into your scalp. The last thing you hear is the unsettling crack of your skull and the sickening churn of what was your grey matter. Everything goes dark and you die. Die of the needle. Okay, it's the same one. Um. What about turn and fight her head on? off the wet stone floor of the basement and catapult yourself headlong towards the princess. Here we go. Let's make this count. Oh, we'll make it count all right. As you bridge the gap, your blade slashes across the princess's chest, splitting skin and drawing a jagged line of bright red blood. But she's unfazed by your onslaught. Her expression barely changes as her fist collides with your ribs, cracking them like twigs and driving you right back down to the basement floor. She almost looks disappointed. Why is she disappointed in us? Oh, you don't actually get it, do you? That knife may be sharp, but you clearly don't want to kill me. It's not fun if you hesitate. It's not fun if you try to trick me and make me bleed out. It's only fun if you go straight for the heart. You need to put everything you have into seeing me dead. Or what's the point? So don't be afraid. Don't hesitate. Kill me. 
Don't let her get in your head. Reincarnation or not, this world needs you to win. She's huge, but that probably means she's slower than us. Take it slow. Think it through. Don't panic. Bleeding her out is our best course of action. Don't listen to them. She understands something that they don't. The only way to win, the only way out of this, is through her. Yes. Um, bid an opening and outmaneuver her. Strike her hard head on. Run. Um, strike her hard head on. Plan, then. That's your plan. Push off the ground, ignoring the pain in your ribs as you charge at the princess once more. You can feel flesh give way before a sudden impact blunts your momentum. Your weapon tightly lodged in the bone of her arm. She grins at you from behind her guard. Pull it out. We'll try a different angle. No, we can do this. Just keep pushing. We're not gonna win if our weapon's stuck in her arm. Oh my god. Uh, keep pushing. The princess's grin widens as the two of you push against each other. Her fiery eyes and masochistic glee practically lighting up the dreary cave. Yes, you finally get it, don't you? I do. Lie, I do. What are you talking about? Suddenly continue pushing. I do. Nothing exists outside of us. It's just you and me. Dying and coming back. Clashing against each other. Forever. That's not what's going on. There's an entire world at stake here. No, no. Yes, no, there isn't. The fate of the world doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is this fight. The only thing that matters is getting stronger. And the only way to get stronger is to win. Even if it takes us forever to get there. Yes. Your balance is suddenly thrown off as the princess pulls you into her knee. It collides with your ribs and you feel them splinter. Cracking like wet wood from the impact. We're fine. Yes, we're fine. We barely have enough time to notice before the princess follows up and smashes her forehead against yours. Your grip loosens from the impact, the blade still wedged in her arm as you tumble to the cold stone floor. I said we're fine. Yes, we're fine. I didn't say you weren't fine. I was just describing what happened. <laughs> glances down at the blade embedded in her arm with near total ignorance to pain slides it out of its sinewy prison you forgot this oh thank you she tosses it at your feet aren't you jumping the gun a little here we each died once that doesn't mean we're immortal were you being meta metaphorical when you said that nothing exists outside of us. There's more to the world than just this cabin. I saw trees and everything on my way here. Don't you want to be free though? Isn't there more to life than waking up chained in a basement and fighting to the death in an endless loop? Actually, I think I'm done fighting you. I don't think this is healthy for either of us. Pick up the blade and attack again. Um, I don't like any of these um pick up the blade and attack her again you and the princess attack each other once again each of you dealing a single terrible lethal blow wait does that mean we're dead but at least dead or rather about to be dead as your blade pierces her sternum the princess buries her fist into the soft meat of your organs you feel a few horrifically painful pops, a gush of fluid, and it's over. It's finally over. But at least she's also dead. No, it's not. We're just getting started. Oh, hell yeah. But it is over. Dead is dead. I know this isn't the happiest ending for you, but you saved the entire world from ruin. There are few better endings than that. Well, 
Are you going to listen to him? Or are you going to listen to me? Get up. Yes. Wait, no, that can't be right. <sighs> your eyes bolt open and you push yourself back to your feet. Alive. Ha! I told you. I told you this wasn't over. What about her? The blade went right through her heart. What about her? If we're fine, then she's fine. No, she is dead. She has to be. No! <laughs> we're all shit out of luck, aren't we? I knew it. I told you we should all believe in her. This is perfect. The princess rises from the ground, staggering slightly, one hand wrapped around the hilt of the blade still buried in her heart. I'm living for this. We don't even need to start over anymore, do we? Let's go again. <laughs> she pulls the weapon from her chest, barely wincing, and hurls it at your feet. You know what to do. Again. But she came back. What's the point of fighting her if she can just do that? All of you need to settle down. This whole situation is coming dangerously close to untethering. She clearly never actually died. You just missed her heart, that's all. Hello, person. I can't read your name, but hello. How you doing? Oh, we just missed her heart. Oh, of course, that's all. You were the one who said we hit her heart. You were the one who said it was finally over. Well, I guess I had it wrong. I guess you had it wrong. Aren't you supposed to know everything? I never said I knew everything. Uh, close to untethering. What's that supposed to mean? Attack her again. All right. Nothing. It, it, it means nothing. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> but you did say it, so it means something. Oh, stop bickering over nothing. Our destiny is right in front of us. Pick up the blade and go to her. Okay, fine. That is what I meant by untethering. Do you hear him rambling on about destiny? He's lost the thread. And if you lose the thread, you won't be able to save the world. I was got that. It's Aki. Hello, Aki. How you doing? And what is that supposed to mean? I don't have to answer that, and I'm not going to answer that. Why the bloody hell not? still a razor-thin chance that you're able to get your act together. There are patterns of thought out there that beg to be finished, but once you finish them, that's it. They change everything. There's no going back, and if I say anything else, you're going to finish one of those thoughts. What? Uh, the princess can't die. Why the fuck? You mean, like, the princess can't die, don't you? Well, it's too late for that. I think... I think we all thought that one. What the f Why is this? I'm not going to say the princess can't die. I'm not even going to think it. Oh, it's too late for that. Um... Fuck them. Uh, okay, sure. Uh... I think I have more saves here than I have my entire life. Okay, um, princess can't die. That which cannot right. die, cannot die. Princess can't die. I tried, you know. I tried very hard to make this work. I, uh... I don't like that resignation. <laughs> Are you sure we can't just... Unthink it? <laughs> yes. Like I said, I'm afraid some thoughts can't be unthought. I'll be back in a moment. I'm going to pour myself a <laughs> stiff drink. I'm going to see the end of everything, and I'd rather not be sober. <laughs> so I was right. Why are all of you so glum? This is perfect, isn't it? We get to experience greatness and battle and triumph forever. But I think it was the stubborn one who said, your destiny awaits. No? No, I guess. No, no. no, hold on. There has to be another way. What if we just leave her down here? What if we run away? What if we convince her? 
not to end the world. I can't reason with her. Ending the world is her fundamental nature. It's not a decision she can flip on and off. It is her. And why exactly can't we leave her, Dan? Because all it would do is stall the inevitable. And what's wrong with stalling? Oh, there's plenty wrong with stalling. The end is still the end, and I'd rather face mine head on. You mopey ass. Why did you even ask us for Slayer if it was going to end like this? Because it didn't have to end like this. If you don't mind, I'd rather not spend everyone's last moments arguing with you. It's time. Yes, I suppose it is. If, if we fight her forever, then maybe she can't end the world. Maybe everything can still work out. I guess we'll just have to see how things play out. Don't you get it? You don't have to shuffle your feet. What comes next is going to last forever. Join your adversary. With an unbreakable determination, you snatch the blade from the floor and stumble back to your feet. Both you and the princess quake with adrenaline as your eyes lock across the basement floor and share a knowing. Free from hesitation, you close the distance, both you and the princess aiming to end each other. Your blade digs into her neck, grinding against her vertebrae as her fist connects with your body. The impact forces the air from your lungs, stars dancing in front of your eyes as you fail to keep your bearing. You both collapse to the ground before either of you has a chance to survey the damage. And then we get up. Yes. Get up. Where did the cut on her neck go? Slay the princess. You and the princess exchange dozens of devastating blows. Sometimes you manage to strike first, and sometimes she tears through you before you have a chance to act. But more often than not, each of you fells the other in the same moment. And then you get up and do it again. And again. And again. And again. And again. We're all still here. This is all going to be okay, isn't it? I guess. It? But he doesn't answer. But he doesn't answer the voice. He'll never answer. He's gone. What are you waiting for? I'm right here. You think this is? What is this place? It's weedy. Yes. I didn't think we had it in us, but I guess that stuck-up control freak was right. It's the end of the world, isn't it? It's the end of everything. Far from it. We're still here. And she's still here too. Not for long. The princess stumbles and her body slumps. I feel so... tired. You do not get the chance to respond, nor will you ever. It's time to leave. Memory returns. Where does she go? Should we try and find her? Oh, there's that mirror again. Why is it here? Why now? Um. Approach the mirror. You approach the mirror. Gaze into your reflection. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave. But you need to see what's in it. The decay. You've withered. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. Proceed to the cabin. You are at the cabin. Approach her. I am a glowing chorus of contradiction. A mass of tides ebbing and flowing all at once in the direction of the my attention and Kinder to roll. To look at any one is to shift them all into something new. And to look away is to reshape them yet again. All of 
me is changing, and yet the rest of me is still the same. Uh, real quick, I will be right back in a second.
back. All right. Let's continue. Uh. You can't be a contradiction. Contradictions don't exist. And yet my waters flow and my streets bustle. There are no words that can describe me into non-existence. There is no logic that can bind my multitudes. I am everything that you have known me to be. But I am also none of it. How can you stand to be a contradiction? As easily as you can stand to be you. You are like me. Even if you have chosen not to look at the corners of you that do not fit. Even if you have chosen to ignore the brilliant contours of your soul. It doesn't matter how many times I go back. At least one of us always hurts the other. Doesn't that change you? Doesn't that make you worse? It changes me, but it doesn't make me worse. Nor does it make me care for you any less. Does it make you less? Do you resent me? If anything, it makes me like you more. I don't know what that says about me. It says that your heart is gentle. That even in the darkness, you are guided by compassion. What do you think of this vessel? This one yearns to grow and struggle. Even now you feel a will pushing against mine. Not realizing that we are one. She and me are a fierce fight. Do not mourn her. We will provide her with the growth she fought for. You know that at the end of this, once you're finished, I'm going to kill you, right? If that remains your choice when all is said and done, then you may try. But know that I do not wish you harm, even if you attempt to destroy me. You know what happens to the worlds we leave behind? My perspectives are shattered. You have seen what I have seen, just as I have seen what you have seen. The angles of my vantage do not offer me but in truth, and my attention is turned inward, except when you are here with me. I should probably, uh, check to see if going back a save is is um if going back a save doesn't actually progress perhaps this will change when our work is done because this might be I don't know if, I don't know if it, um, if it's actually, like, if it remembers that I've already done, like, a certain ending. What do you want me to bring you next time? Gifts aren't what someone tells you to bring them. My joy is in seeing what you choose. There are no wrong answers. And every perspective illuminates my shadows, and tells me new secrets. So you don't have any preference on how you'd like to change or grow? The tides do not dictate where they are pulled. A river does not dictate its outlets. My gift to you is to let you choose your path, and my task is to treasure the gifts you bring me. How many more vessels do I need to bring you? We will know when we near our destination. Attack the entity.
Your will cuts across the entity in front of you, but nothing happens. Destroy your body. You raise your will to end your life, but as it buries into the space your body should be, you feel nothing at all. One of the many hands in front of you reaches forward and gently touches the side of your face. Ready to go back. I will be here when it is time for us to meet again. Everything goes dark and you die. A fierce vessel. Bring the adversary to her. Alright, let me... I'm not going to say a princess can't die. I'm not even going to think of it. I tried very hard to make this work. I, uh, I don't like that resignation. Are you sure we can? Okay. This is just going to lead to the same thing. Um. What was it I wanted to do? Um, Alright. Let's go to chapter 3, The Fury. Alright, let's... let's destroyed us <laughs> she sure did but what a great way to go <laughs> does it matter we lost oh why so glum rage boy i thought you were brave i thought you were proud with all that bravado just hot air look it was just the fight was better the first time but the first time we had a weapon <laughs> so this is just great <sighs> let me cut to the chase Clearly, you've already been here. Yes. Yeah, you think? <laughs> what does here even mean, though? You've told us about the path of the princess and all of that already, but this is a very different path from the last one. That's a good point. Everything here is a little off. Yes, precisely. And if you'd given me two seconds to finish my thought, I would have said that. Oh, you're actually letting me talk now. Great. If you've already been here, it means you've seen things you aren't supposed to have seen, and you know things that you aren't supposed to know. This doesn't look like a path in the woods. It, reality seems distorted. It's because reality is distorted. So you knew this could happen. You knew we'd be able to restart life. I know all sorts of things, which is why you should listen to me. That's not really an answer. Look, the world around you is changing, especially all the way out here, and that means you're nearing the point of no return. Whatever happens next, that's it. There won't be any more do-overs. You'd better take things seriously. Um... You said yourself that you know more than you're letting on. If you want me to go to the cabin, then you better tell us everything. I can't. Anything I say at this point is far more likely to accelerate the unraveling of this place than it is to actually help you do your job. In fact, I probably shouldn't have even said that. I trust that if you've been here before, it means you know how dangerous she is. And that you know I'm not lying to you about her. Really? That's it. That's all we're getting out of you. <laughs> if he thinks reality is about to end, how about we just let it happen? Wouldn't that be interesting? I think that would be interesting. Do you actually want to see the end of everything, or do you just not want to fight it? Eh, a bit of both. I get it. You're conflicted. You've been through a lot, but I really have to be firm here. I will tell you one thing, which is that you 
even now, you are capable of stopping her and saving the world from ruin. You always have been, and you always will be. Do with that what you will. It feels like I'm being pulled in a, in a hundred different directions. You'd better all listen to me when the time comes to make a choice. A hundred? Where are you getting that number? We're talking four, maybe five directions tops. At least for now. I'm sure I can come up with more if you give me enough time. I don't think you have much to worry about. You're still the one in charge, Mirren. I don't think that's ever going to change. If I don't slay her... If I just stay here or do anything else, and we hit this point of no return, then what happens? What happens? Have you even been listening? It's the end is what happens. Yeah, but is there something after the end? How am I supposed to know? The end means finality. It's not like I could just peek on over to the other side and tell you what it's like there, if there even is a there. Isn't it your job to know things? Maybe we need a better narrator, who can actually answer our questions. <laughs> it's my job to guide you through your task and to state the facts of what's happening. That hardly requires omniscience. And besides, I'm the best you're going to get, because I'm the only one here who can do my job. No matter what happens next, it seems like our answers are at the cabin. We might as well see this through. yourself at the end of the path, staring up at the cabin on the hill. You'll find the princess within, as I'm sure you already know. This looks like a spine. That's it? No final words of advice? I'd rather not waste any more time. I'm sure that any advice I'd give at this point is something you've already heard. Yeah, it looks like a spine and then there's like veins all over. Ruts now and then. I'm sure if you put your mind to it, you could think of something worth telling us. Proceed to the cabin. The interior of the oh, cabin damn. is a place that feels long forgotten. There was once an elegance to its construction carved marble columns holding a high arched roof, vaulted windows letting in the weak starlight. But that is how it was. Now there is a growth that has overtaken it. A viscous fluid seeps from cracks in the stone walls, and it congeals into chaotic streaks of writhing nerves and wet clumps of living meat. That's horrible. I think it's kind of nice. Makes the room feel alive, doesn't it? The only furniture of note is a pulsating pedestal, a pristine blade perched on its edge. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. We'll need it if we want to do things right. I say we leave it to Rust. <laughs> Let's not make the same mistake twice. We could have won if we had it last time. Take it. It's that mirror again. And this time it's blocked in the door. A mirror? There is no mirror. There's the pedestal, the blade sitting on the pedestal, and the door to the basement. <laughs> yeah, we've done all this already. I don't know what to tell you. There isn't a mirror because I would know if there was a mirror. You're either seeing things, or you're confused on the definitions of door and mirror. Or you're seeing things. That seems far more likely. What are you trying to say? It means you're hallucinating. It went away after we touched it last time. Let's just do it again. Okay, I actually... Approach the mirror. You step forward and approach the door to the basement, hesitating before you open it. As if you don't see it. You really don't, do you? How strange. It really is just like last time. Are we really hallucinating? Why here? Why now? Does it matter if it's actually real or not? Talking about it gets under his skin. That's all that matters. We should talk about it even more. <laughs> Let's just smash it and get it over with. I'm ready to get violent. Yes. You won't be able to see what's in there if we smash it. Do whatever 
whatever you want with it, you know, that kids don't do it with, but how you handle it doesn't matter, aside from wasting dangerous amounts of time. Wipe the mirror clean, smash it. Oh my god, you really shouldn't be giving me options. Smash it! As if on command, it slowly slides open, scraping against the stone floor, its ancient hinges moaning as it reveals the dim path ahead. Why am I not surprised? Yeah. You step forward into the darkness. The stairs leading down to the basement are at once both narrow and grandiose. The high vaulted ceiling stretches up into a gloom beyond your sight, while walls wet with tumorous growths press in uncomfortably at your sides. You feel both unprotected and trapped, at once exposed and claustrophobic. The air is thick, its odor an oppressive violence, the metallic scent of fresh blood twisting with the nauseating embers of charred remains. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Her voice, a bellowing rage, roars up the stairs. So you've returned. Do you intend to weakly claw your fingers across my skin? Or have you finally decided to try and kill me properly? I think you'll find it won't be so simple. I've changed. The way your flesh felt grinding beneath my fist, it woke something in me. That wasn't a fight. It was something worse. I'm something worse now. Why don't you come down and see what you've made of me? Kid? Well, sounds like we got to her last time. Let's keep pushing, see what else we can make happen. Continue down the stairs. You make your way to the bottom of the stairs. The chamber's walls are painted in blood, a deep, sickening red that drips down in clotted streams onto the charred corpses that make up its floor. This place reeks of torment, of ripped skin and burning bone. God damn, she looks like a fucking god. What the fuck? The princess stands in its center, muscles flayed and bare and weeping, draped in a tattered dress of her own skin. Her heart beats from its place in her open chest. Do you know what I'm going to do to you? There's not so much a moment before she steps forward. Her chains pull taut, holding fast as she strains against them. The cuff around her wrist digs deeper into her skin. Blood drips from the place where metal meets flesh. Then, with a nauseating sound, the skin tears. It plops to the ground, and she pulls her red, glistening arm free from her bindings. She is loose, and she is coming. She wants us to be afraid because she wants us to think she can make us suffer. Don't give her the satisfaction. That's right, no fear. She's bigger than the last time, but she's pulling herself apart. She's practically done most of the work for us. We don't even have a weapon. It doesn't matter. I refuse to go out any way that isn't kicking and screaming. <laughs> what happened to you? Jesus fucking Christ. I hope you weren't planning on dying. We're going to make this last forever. Uh, yeah, uh, I think you're a bit late to, to, for that. Ooh, I feel cold. I've never felt cold before. Well, all right then. True to her word, you do not die by her hand, nor will you ever. It's time for you to leave. Memory returns. She's gone. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? Oh, there's that mirror again. Why is it here? Why now? 
approach the mirror, gaze into your reflection. You've withered. Oh shit, look at this. That's cool. Find yourself in long quiet once again. Proceed to the cabin. Oh, this is different. You're at the cabin. Approach her. I am a glowing chorus of contradiction. A mass of tides ebbing and flowing all at once in your direction. All of me is changing. And yet the rest of me is still the same. Ready to go back. I will be here when it is time for us to meet again. Bring the fury to her. Um, no, I wanted to. That's fine. Good. We're all on the same page. That's me. See to the cabin. The interior but that. The only blade. Let's not make. Um. Now you can save. Okay, take the blade. You take the blade from the pedestal. It will be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Good. Nothing feels better than gripping cold steel. That's no fun. <laughs> and you're not even holding it right. Oh? And how do you suggest we hold it? The other way. Shut up, both of you. We're holding it fine. First the mirror. You step forward and approach the door to the basement, hesitating before you open it. Almost as if you don't see it. But you must, because it's right there in front of you. All we see is a damn mirror. It really is just like last time. Are we really hallucinating? Why here? Why now? Does it matter if it's actually real or not? Walking in that, it gets under his skin. That's all that matters. We should talk about it even more. Let's just smash it and get it over with. I'm ready to get violent. We won't be able to see what's in there if we smash it. Do whatever you want with it. The mirror isn't real, so how you handle it doesn't matter, aside from wasting dangerous amounts of time. Um. Let's smash it again. Bring your fist crashing down against the door leading to the basement. As if on command, it slowly slides open. Scraping against the stone floor, its ancient hinges moaning as it reveals the dim path ahead. Why am I not surprised? You step forward into the darkness. The stairs leading down to the basement are the air of her voice. So you've returned. Do you intend to weakly claw your fingers across my skin? Or have you finally decided to try and kill me properly? I think you'll find it won't be so simple. I've changed. The way your flesh felt grinding beneath my fist, it woke something in me. That wasn't a fight. It was something worse. I'm something worse now. Why don't you come down and see what you've made of me? Kid. Oh, sounds like we got to her last time. Let's keep pushing, see what else we can make happen. The stairs. Your way to the bottom of the stairs. The chamber's walls are painted in blood, a deep, sickening red that drips down in clotted streams onto the charred corpses that make up its floor. This place reeks of torment, of ripped skin and burning bone. The princess stands in its center, muscles flayed and bare and weeping, draped in a tattered dress of her own skin. Her heart from its place in her open chest. Do you know what I'm going to do to you? There's not 
so much a moment of hesitation before she steps forward. Her chains pull taut, holding fast as she strains against them. The cuff around her wrist digs deeper into her skin. Blood drips from the place where metal meets flesh. Then, with a nauseating sound, the skin tears. It plops to the ground. She pulls her red, glistening arm free from her bindings. She is loose, and she is coming for you. She wants us to be afraid because she wants us to think she can make us suffer. Now give her the satisfaction. Apart. She's practically done most of the work for us. Okay. Wait, you don't have to do this. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry for what I did to you. Please listen to me. I'm going to end you, say the princess. You'll try. That's what I've been so excited for. Let's hurt each other. Your heart full of fear. You charge towards the princess. Your eyes locked on each other. Both of you prepared to lay down your very essence in one blow. It's now or never. Let's make it a beautiful blaze of glory. With a horrifying squench, you are unwound. I hope you weren't planning on dying. We're going to make this last forever. Whew. I'm kidding. Okay. Okay, um, load. Right, the fury. The eye of the needle, let's try that. If you weren't so damned afraid of what she'd do to you, we wouldn't have died back there. Fear is good. Fear keeps us alive. We died because you didn't have enough of it. So what, you'd have us cower in a corner? suits her better than it suits us. She's big. We can't hope to find holes and openings down there. We need more room if we're going to survive. Are you suggesting luring her into the woods? Do you have any idea how dangerous that would be? If you lose sight of her, if she manages to slip away, that's it. Game over for everyone, yourself included. Are you not challenging us on all the loopholes? Have you known about it the whole time? Are you the same one we've been talking to since the beginning? Sorry to disappoint, but I'm sure must feel like a grand revelation, but that's not what's going on here. We've never met. Then what is going on? What's going on is that you'd only be saying the things you've been saying if you'd already been here. If you'd already seen things you weren't supposed to have seen. circles forever. I don't like staying still for too long. I get it, Academy. See this through. It's good to know that at least one of you is still capable of reason. We may have the same destination, but we're not the same. You are still an other, and I don't trust you. Well, fortunately, you have an entire trip through the woods to reconsider that. There's nothing to reconsider. We're all for violence here. I haven't signed off on anything yet. Violence is the answer here, but the method is equally important to the act. You can't let her leave the cabin. It's like I said, all just circles. Instinct tells me we need space, and I trust instinct. Nothing else to say. We haven't talked enough about how different this place is. I wouldn't even call these woods. It's like her influence has poured out into the world. It's evidence of one of many ticking clocks. You can't let her spread any further. Things are always changing. She changed, the cabin changed, we change. Why would the woods change too? Because they're not supposed to have changed. This is supposed to be a path in the woods. If it's not, it means something has gone horribly wrong. What if I don't agree with the plan? What if I'd rather do something else? You're the chooser. The best we can do is advise. But we can help if you let us. These are just powerless thoughts and opinions. 
you don't need to let them drag you and the world to ruin. Uh, okay, hold on. Uh, I'm done with this. Bye. Coward. Deserter. <laughs> away from the cabin we'll see how that goes for you yeah something isn't right can you still hear me everything is getting quite what what's going on where are we a dark place thoughts like us shouldn't be here i told you we shouldn't have come here i told you did you listen The world around you is unwound. It's physical matter replaced by a textured nothing. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. Memory returns. There's a distant rumbling, a sound of many sounds, undulations pulse louder as something other comes along, comes close. You already know what dwells in empty spaces. Feelers probe across the fabric of reality. Extremities find your consciousness and wrap themselves around it. There is, you are no longer alone. Confusion. Why are you here? I am unfinished. Resistance. Fingers drag claws across the glass surface of your soul. Frustration. This vessel is full of you. It is useless to us if it doesn't bring more gifts. Force pushing against your will. No, you cannot go back. Not there. Regret. This world is broken beyond repair. We must weave something new. A wagging finger. There is only so much thread in this place. Do not waste it. I am... I am our only salvation. Right, proceed to the cabin. It isn't long before you find yourself at the end of the path, staring up the hill at the cabin. Hope you've given serious thought to your predicament. No last advice for us? No words of warning? From what I gather, you've heard it all before. There's no use screaming into the wind. I don't know. Screaming sounds pretty good right about now. I could use a little catharsis. Proceed to the cabin. The interior of the cabin is suffocatingly tight, more of a glorified tunnel than a building. Its stone walls squeeze against your sides, leaving you no choice but to press forward. The only furniture of note is an iron altar jutting out from the wall, a pristine blade perched on its edge. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you're going to do this right. Hello, Fi. How you doing? It's 5 in the morning for me? Me too, actually. It's 5 a.m. right now. Hello, how you doing? See? We have even less space than before. We need space or she'll kill us. Funny how much space is out there. Take it! Alright. You never mentioned the mirror. Assure you, there's no mirror here. The only thing at the end of the room is the door to the basement. No use arguing. Mirror or not, we need to be there. The why we pick doesn't matter. I agree with the three. Let's get a move on already. The worst comes to worst, we can smash it. Uh. 
on, let me save. All right, approach the mirror. We can try to survive without our steel claw, but you've marked us as easy prey. That's fine. You step forward and approach the door to the basement, hesitating before you open it, as if you don't see it. You're rather committed to the bit, aren't you? The door's right there. It's right in front of you. This really is just like last time. <laughs> it smells of nothing, yet it's still there. Smash it. Swing your fist crashing down against the door leading to the basement. It swings open, scraping against the floor as it reveals the dim path ahead. Why am I not surprised? Yeah. It was in our way, and now it's not. That's all that matters. <laughs> Before you is what may as well be a sheer cliff face. There are enough footholds that you'll be able to clamber your way to the bottom, but it will require careful effort. The air hissing up from below was warm and wet, like the breath of an enemy locked in close quarters. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Her voice, bold and fierce and impatient, echoes from the chamber below. By the way, I hope the audio is good. I haven't had the chance to check it, so... Hopefully the audio is fine. Then you had more fight in you than last time. That was such a disappointing show. I know you can do better than that. Goad her. Rile her up. If she's angry, she'll make mistakes. If you want to fight, then how about you come and get one? Now you can get out of there on your own. Are you sure you still want to fight? Continue to the basement. Alright. If you want to fight, then how about you come and get one? That's not how this works. I'm all chained up, remember? How about you come down here and fight me? Yeah, you're Those right. Those chains were nothing to her last time. Yeah. <laughs> They'll be nothing to her this time. But we need to show ourselves first to make her boil over. Fine by me. Continues in the basement landing. With nowhere to go but down. You start the difficult journey, gripping the stone, lowering yourself foot by grueling foot. But soon, there is solid ground. to face what lies at the end of the narrow tunnel. The princess, imposing and tightly muscled, grins back at you from the darkness. Her face droops. There you are. But this time you don't even have that little knife. Do you think this is a joke? Yes. Do you need me to break those fragile bones again to remind you how serious this is? Hey, I mean, I got food for her, if you know what I'm saying. By the way, what has happened before, uh, before this part? Uh, before this part, uh, well, a lot happened. <laughs> I've been playing this for five hours. Um, but basically, we're on a mission to slay the princess, but every time we make a choice, a new, a new scenario happens. razor's edge you're on right now and i guess before this part we had like a fight like literally we we like threw fists we know the only way out is through the eye of the needle and we're going to win rushes forward, ignoring her chains as they bend and snap. Run. I want to fight. Without hesitation, you turn back the way you came and scramble up the ledge towards the tunnel entrance. As you near the top, hands desperately clawing at jagged stone, you glance back. The princess is right on your heels. 
She doesn't bother to scale the wall as you do, instead digging deep into the rock of the cliff face with her fingertips in her rabbit pursuit. Anywhere you go, I will follow. Good. You reach the ledge and hoist yourself up into the tunnel, the cabin door finally in sight, at once within your grasp and infinitely distant. What is all of this for? What's the point? You and I are always going to end in violence, so why bother to run? I know what I am. Why can't you be the same? Steelclaw, now. Take the blades, still they run for the door. Um, fun. Too late, run for the door. Continue towards the door, vulnerable and unarmed. No, I can't let this happen. I can't let her leave with you. Well, what are you gonna do to stop that? <laughs> I, I don't know. Uh, you, you try the door, and oh, what a relief! Uh, it, it's stuck. Bash it open, <laughs> please. <laughs> I think you forgot something. You feel the burning pain of something long and sharp. It slices its way into your organs until finally it exits out the other side, sticking into the wood of the door with an echoing thunk. Killed us with our own weapons. <laughs> <laughs> we needed to take it. We're not dead yet. It's not over till we can't get up again. Coward. All of this is so wrong. This isn't how things are supposed to be. This is so cold and disappointing. Your body pinned to the wall, you crane your neck to see her final approach. She is enveloped in complete lethality, and there is nothing you can do to stop her. I really didn't want it to have to end like this, but your death in here is better than her freedom. See you all next time. Or not. But next time doesn't come, nor will it ever. It's time for you to leave. Memory returns. She's gone. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? There was that mirror up here. Why is it here? Why now? You approach the mirror. Gets into your reflection. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave. We need to see what's in it. You've weathered. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. Proceed to the cabin. You're at the cabin. Approach her. I am a glowing chorus of contradiction. A mass of tides ebbing and flowing all at once in the directions that my attention can bear to hold. To look at any one is to shift them all into something new, and to look away is to reshape them yet again. All of me is changing, and yet the rest of me is still the same. Uh, yeah, I've already read all this. I will be here when it is time for us to meet again. Everything goes dark and you die. Okay. Tunneling vessel, bring the eye of the needle to her. Alright. Um. Was there anything else in. Alright, let me load. Before I forget and save over the important things again. Unleash the blade and attack it from a different angle. You pull back on the blade's hilt. Doing your best to free it from its sinewed prison. But as you tug the blade free, the princess slams you down onto her knee. It collides with your ribs, and you feel them splinter, cracking like wet wood from the impact. You find you hit the floor, your ribs complaining painfully. You can feel the hilt in your grip. You still have your weapon. You push yourself off the ground and attack the princess, trying to bait an opening. What's your favorite game you played on stream? Ooh, that's difficult. You do your best to mm. her, slashing out and leaving red cuts in the tattered remains of her white dress. But you have
that little means maneuver. For every glancing blow you manage to land, she slams you against the wall in retaliation. Each impact threatening to be the last. It might be either... Okay, no, I think this is the same. Um, it might be either um, pocket mirror or like the little goody two shoes. What if I don't pick up the knife in this scenario? On. All right, let's just. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path, you're hit. Okay. Um. is almost entirely bare the air is stale and musty and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust the only the blade is your implement i'll enter the basement without the blade the door to the basement creaks open revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below this is an oppressive place never heard of that game in my life uh, in the case of Pocket Mirror, uh, the VODs are still up, but for the original and the remake, like, it was one of the first games I played on the channel. Uh, and then there was a remake that came out just a little bit ago. And then there was Little Goody Two Shoes, which I played during this marathon stream. <laughs> Her voice and I still haven't uploaded the, um, the individual VODs, so... Um, yeah, I guess you'll, you'd have to dig to find them, but I also played that game for like a really long time. Hello? Is someone there? Oh, wait, this is different. It's because I didn't pick up the knife, that's why. It's hypnotizing. It's the kind of voice you only have to hear once to remember it for the rest of your life. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. You're playing a dangerous game by coming here unarmed. Um. Just checking in on you. You are? It's been so long since anyone's come down here. I, I was starting to think they'd forgotten about me. We walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's beautiful. How could someone like this be a threat to anyone? I am begging you to stay focused. It's not right if I'm scared. Hi. Do you think you can get me out of these chains? Um... Oh, let's talk a bit first. I'll see what I can do. Let's talk a bit first. Okay. What's your name? Oh. She pauses, carefully formulating her words before she responds. You can address me as your royal highness, or you can just call me princess if your royal highness is too formal. Is princess her name or her title what if it's both could you imagine being named princess princess jesus christ so is princess your name like i said you can call me princess if you'd like i'm sorry i've been down here so long i guess i've just forgotten i must have a name though everyone has a name i guess okay that's weird yeah. <laughs> she hasn't even thought to pick a name for herself. Hopefully, you're starting to see that she can't be trusted. Go back upstairs, get the blade, and slay her before it's too late. I don't know anything about you. For all I know, you're locked up here for a reason. Of course I'm locked up down here for a reason. What's the reason? I don't actually know what that reason is, but... You don't just stuff a princess in a basement and throw away the key without there being some sort of an explanation, right? You have all the explanation you need, and you should know better than to trust whatever she comes up with. 
If I'm the first, eh, if I'm the first person you've seen in a while, what have you been eating or drinking? I don't see what that has to do with anything. But it kind of does. This is the only time this is ever going to happen. But I agree with the princess. That's hardly relevant. The fuck do you mean that's hardly relevant? <laughs> If she was human, she would have died of starvation by now. How did the guy you're playing as get caught up in this? I don't know. He just he just started the game and it was already like this. He was already in the woods. And there was just a narrator talking to him. He has like like ten different thoughts. Okay, but actually, what has she been eating? She has to eat, right? Thank you. This dude has more voices in his head than, than me when I'm alone. I was sent here to slay you. You're apparently supposed to end the world. Oh, Jesus. But I, don't actually, uh, but I don't think you're actually dangerous, but I want to see for myself. I'm still not sure what to believe. I'm starting to think it's true. There's something about it that doesn't feel right. I want to see for myself. I mean, I've already played like six different endings that prove you wrong, but all right. I don't remember much about it, to be honest. I've been down here for so long. But how long has she been locked away? Did they tell you how I'm supposed to end the world? Uh, what are you going to do if I let you out of here? The princess hesitates before responding. She's been down here too long to have any idea of what she'd do in another life. She knows what she'd do. She's just searching for whatever answer she thinks you want to hear. What I do doesn't really matter, right? At the end of the day, whatever the two of us have going on down here is about trust. Whoever sent you to slay me claimed I was a threat to the world, but... They didn't tell you why. I don't trust that. And I don't think you do either, or you wouldn't have come down here to talk. She has a point. We're talking like this for a reason. So this shouldn't be about what I'd do if I got out of here, or me saying the right thing to convince you to save me. This is about how messed up this whole situation is. This is my life we're talking about. Do you really think I can even end the world? Why would I even want to? We both know that if there's people we can't trust in this situation, it's whoever locked me down here, and it's whoever sent you here. And those two groups are probably one and the same. Don't let her turn the tables here. This isn't about trust. This is about risk. We stand to lose everything, all for the sake of one person and a subjugating monarch. Did he just appear and went like, I'm gonna save a princess that I don't know? Uh, no, he was actually given a mission to slay the princess. For seemingly no reason. I mean, she's gonna end the world, up, up, allegedly, which she did a good enough job ending us uh, multiple times. Uh... Okay, this is gonna end badly. I won't kill you, but I can't just set you free. It's too risky. What if I stayed for a while and kept you company? Maybe everyone could be happy. That seems like a pretty good compromise. I don't think I could bear being down here that much longer. Leaving her alive is too risky. If you don't deal with her soon, she will find a way out. So I'm the only one who liked that idea. <laughs> One way or another, I'm going to find a way out of here. It would make it easier for both of us if you'd help. But if you don't, I can promise that you'll regret that decision. You have to make a choice. Let's hope for all our sakes, it's the right one.
Uh, okay, save. Retrieve the blade. You turn back to the stairs, intent on retrieving the blade in the cabin. Where are you going? You can't just leave me here. Fine. Turn your back on me. But it won't be long before I slit things to you. And once I'm out of here, there will be hell to pay for leaving me behind. Slit these chains? She can't, right? She needed our help to get out of here. But do you hear the conviction in her voice? I don't think she's bluffing. She has to be bluffing, but hurry. You rush up to the first floor, grabbing the blade, both yours and the world's only possible salvation. Okay. If we're sure about this decision, I'll support it. I suppose we have a world to save after all. You slowly creep down the basement stairs. It's quiet. Where the princess sat only a moment ago, there's only a severed arm, its cooling flesh still chained to the wall. And she is nowhere to be seen. Is it just me? Or did this room get a lot bigger? Let me save. Um... Doesn't the princess, doesn't, doesn't the princess guards, doesn't the princess have guards, like, where are they? Um, I mean, from what I gathered, it seems that, like, people saw, like, people found out she was gonna end the world, and so they put her down here, like, they locked her down here, and I guess... The guards just kind of complied. <laughs> Hello? I think we got off on the wrong foot. Do you think we can start over? <laughs> Let's finish this. Your eyes dart to the corners of the room. You don't see her. Where is she? Investigate the arm. Close the door behind you. Investigate the arm. As you step towards the severed limb, you hear the pattering of feet behind you. Soft against the basement floor, then loud and desperate against the stairs. You turn to chase after the princess, but she's fast and has too much of a lead. She slams the door behind her before you can make it to the top of the stairs. The lock clicks into place. Yeah, thought so. Thanks for letting me out. I'd return the favor, but I think we both know that I can't trust you to let me escape. Except she can't leave. With those parting words, the princess walks away. Her quiet footsteps eventually fading as she leaves you and the cabin to rot. You're stuck here. Alone. Why is he trying to save her? Technically, he's trying to kill her. It can't just end like this, right? Except there are options to save her, but usually they just... They, they backfire miserably. As much as I'd prefer for things to have gone differently, I can't deny the reality of what's happened. I'm sorry, but it's over. You don't know how much time passes before the end, but eventually, it comes. I mean, I got a knife, just slice my own throat. The world ends, and you end with it. Oh. Chapter 2, The Witch. Oh. Let me save this. I, oh god, what did I... How did I do that? Uh... Stop. Uh... Uh... Dude, why is... Why is the... Uh, please? How do I... How do I get rid of this? Um... Okay, um... Oh, it's gone, okay. Let me load. We let her go. Uh, that's because of the option I picked. Thank you. Retrieve the blade. Turn back. She had you rush. Okay. You slowly creep down the basement stairs. Where the prince is it just? Okay. 
think we got off on the wrong foot. Do you think we can start over? <laughs> no, I don't think we can. Why don't you come closer? I have something to show you. Let's finish Your this. Eyes dart to the corners of the room. You don't see her. Where is she? Close the door behind you. You close the door behind you. Almost magically, its locks immediately click into place. Maybe they'll open if you finish the job. Come on out. Let's get this over with. I can wait. I'm very patient. Are you now? Venture into the shadows or wait? I'll wait. You do your best to patiently wait her out. But eventually, exhaustion starts to set in. Come on, wake up. We can't fall asleep down here. Um. Venture into the shadows. You step into the shadows. Or should have saved. Too late, you hear the quiet patter of feet against the basement floor, followed by the taut pull and sharp pain of tearing flesh as the princess lunges into you from behind and drags you to the floor. Ferocity overwhelms you, and as the princess rends flesh from bone, your limp fingers lose their grip on the blade. It slips from your hand, your one last means of defense, lying useless beside you in a pool of your cooling blood. I suppose you just lacked the will to fight back. I am playing as the fucking wimpiest protagonist to ever exist. This is the end, isn't it? I'm afraid it is. You shouldn't have let that fear creep into your heart. You had the upper hand. And now look at you. Everything goes dark. And you die. The beast. Okay. Save. Uh. I almost just overwrote the save by accident. If I say, let's get you out of here. You can't be serious. Thank you. Thank you. You won't regret this, I promise. Mm-hmm. Sure. You're making a huge mistake. No. I think you're doing the right thing. You walk up to the chains binding the princess to the wall and give them a tug. They're large and heavy. Far too solid for you to even imagine trying to break them apart. I'm guessing you don't have the key? Maybe it's somewhere upstairs. Damn it. Whoever locked the princess away down here intended for her to never see the light of day. They wouldn't have just left the key to her chains somewhere in the camp. And if there isn't a key, do you have any other ideas? Maybe there's some way to break the chains? Or if that doesn't work, I guess you can always cut me out of them. She offers the suggestion with almost complete nonchalance. If we were stuck down here long enough, I'm sure we'd be nonchalant about cutting our way out if it meant we could finally be free. I'm good, I'm tired as fuck. Alright, have a good night. Or good morning. <laughs> you attempt to make your way out of the basement, but the door at the top of the stairs slams shut. You hear the click of a lock sliding into place. Is someone else here? Hey, let me out of here. Try the door. Turn to the bottom. Of you try the door, but it's locked from the outside. Turn to the bottom of the stairs. You make your way to the bottom of the stairs. This would have been so much easier if you'd just taken the blade like you were supposed to. <laughs> easier for whom? Easier for everyone. Look at the mess you're in. I heard the door slam. They locked me down here too, didn't they? There's a slight panic rising in the princess's voice. If I could just get out of these chains, I know we could force our way out of here together. She barely hesitates before raising her arm to her mouth, her teeth tearing through her limb with the determination of a trapped wolf. Oh shit, I was not expecting to see that. She rips her flesh from her bone. A sound comes from behind you. The clang of bouncing metal. It's the blade from upstairs. You're not sure how it made its way down here, but if there's a time to strike, it's now. Or we could use it to free her. 
he won't like what happens if you do that. Save. Um. I guess slay the princess. Without hesitation, you bring the blade down and plunge it into the princess's back. Fight. The wound drives her to the ground. Okay. There's no going back now. I'm with you to the end. You, you bastard. Were you lying to me this whole time? The princess pushes away from you, the motion ripping the blade from her back. Wounded, but still alive, she crouches on all fours in the corner of the room and meets your eyes with the ferocity of a cornered predator. You've made a terrible enemy, and there's nothing in the world that can possibly save you from me. I thought we had the upper hand, but it's as if she's barely even threatened by us. It's an act. She's wounded and unarmed. There's nothing she can do to hurt you. I don't waver now. What? No. Oh, fuck. As you ready your blades to deliver a lethal blow, she lunges at your legs with the same animal ferocity she used to tear at her arm. Your knife cuts into her again and again as you're tackled to the ground, your body racked with pain as she rips into you with tooth and claw. Forget about trying to rescue her. This is about survival now. Give her everything you've got. Though your nerves are seizing with pain, you know you've done your fair share of damage as well. Your blade having left deep gashes in the princess's back. You seize a moment of hesitation to throw her off of you and shakily push yourself back to your knees. We can still turn this around. Finish the job. You steal your resolve and take another step closer to the princess. You probably won't make it out of here alive, but you can still make sure that she won't make it out of here either. Excuse me? What is about not making it out of here alive? Do you think this is what I wanted to happen? I have a duty to state the facts of the situation, and honestly, it's a miracle anyone in this room is still standing right now. Don't act so surprised. Can you not feel all those gashes and holes pulling you apart? If the princess doesn't doom you in here, blood loss is certain to finish the job. You take another step forward, and the princess lunges towards you. The two of you enter one last exchange, a flurry of blade and claw and fleshy ribbons, and then you stop. Neither you nor Princess able to go any further. You collapse on the ground, and the Princess collapses beside you. Blood pools around you both, and you watch each other fade away. After all this time alone. I thought I'd finally found a friend, but you were just another monster, weren't you? Yeah. Silence, as the room starts to get fuzzy around you. Now I feel bad. You've paid a terrible price, but you've saved us all. It's over. If you think this is it, you're sorely mistaken. One way or another, I'll make sure you pay for this. This was probably supposed to be the first ending you were supposed to get. Um, yeah. But you don't have time to worry over such things. <laughs> Everything goes dark, and you die. Is this the witch? I already. Oh, I have this already. Okay, fuck. All right. Um. All right. Save the princess. <sighs> Against your better judgment, you place the blade against the ragged, self-inflicted wound on the princess's arm, just above the unyielding chain binding her to this place. You cut into her flesh. The blade is sharp, and it takes little effort to crack through the bone of her arm. Her limb falls to the ground, and the heavy chains follow suit. She didn't so much as utter a sound through the whole ordeal. No, she didn't. She smiles softly as her gaze meets yours, blood from her wounded arm dripping rhythmically to the ground. 
How is she still smiling after everything? It's like she isn't even bothered by what just happened. Thank you. Now let's get out of here. Where's the locked door? No, we won't have any of that. The stakes are too high. You can't just let her escape to the world. No, I can't just let her escape to the world. As the princess approaches the bottom stair, your body steps forward and raises the blade. Wait, this isn't fair. You can't just do that. Watch me. What are you doing? Uh... Warn her. Stop that. So you might come over, you have in it. You, you know you don't have to do this, right? Your body lunges forward, the blade held low, ready to sink into her heart. But the princess dodges, stumbling back against the wall before the blade has a chance to connect. Stop it. Stop trying to resist me. I'm trying to get you out of here alive. Resist. The blade. Move the blade. As your body remains frozen in stubborn resistance, the princess takes a cautious step forward. We both know this isn't you. She nervously reaches towards you and takes the blade from your infuriatingly rigid <laughs> hands. What are you doing? I'm sorry. I'll try to be quick. She plunges it into your chest, tearing through flesh and sinew. It is agony. But you aren't dead yet. Oh no. I'm so sorry. Stay strong. We can tough it out until it's done. For her sake. For her sake? Don't you start pretending that dying a painful death is some sort of heroic gesture. The two of you have literally doomed everyone. <laughs> Whatever. She sinks the blade into your chest again and again and again. And you feel every inch of burning pain that slices its way into your body. She doesn't hardly use a knife, does she? Apparently not. Though it doesn't matter how sloppy her knife work is, does it? A stab wound is still a stab wound, and it won't be long before you bleed out. <laughs> I'm so sorry! <laughs> With one last thrust of the knife, your legs give out beneath you. You collapse to the floor, your blood pooling around you, your limbs unresponsive. The princess stares down at your ruined chest as tears carve rivulets of pink down her blood-spattered cheeks. It can't just end like this, right? Oh, that's rich coming from you. As much as I'd prefer for things to have gone differently, I can't deny the reality of what's happened. The two of you made your choice. It's over. Everything goes dark. And you die. The damsel. Okay. Okay, there's no going back now. I'm with you to the end. You bring the blade down to strike at the princess's heart. But she's fast. She ducks to the floor, your blade narrowly grazing her backside. Slaying her won't be easy now that she's free. We could have gotten out of here together. You were just lying to me this whole time. I don't know what's gonna win. But if I have to kill you, then I'll kill you. Do you think I need both of my arms to do that? She pounces on you with the same animal ferocity she used to tear through her arm. But you have a weapon. As you raise the blade, digging it under her ribs, aiming directly for the heart. It's not enough to stop her. You feel her claws in your throat, then her teeth, somehow sharp enough to pull apart your flesh and sinew with ease. You collapse to the floor, your body unresponsive as your blood pools on the ground beneath you. She stares down at your ravaged form, eyes shining in the darkness, dress stained in red, 
as her blood and yours both seep into the fabric. If we're lucky, the wound you managed to inflict will be enough to at least delay her escape from this place. If we're very lucky, it will kill her before she can reach the outside world. It can't just end like this, right? As much as I'd prefer for things to have gone differently, I can't deny the reality of what's happened. I'm sorry, but it's over. Everything goes dark, and you die. Okay, the witch I already have. Um... I kind of want to do the dams, though. Uh, but before I do that, I do want to... Why am I smiling? Get that smug smile off your face. Before I do that, I want to go make tea. Because, uh... Because reasons. of that cabin is a princess you're here to slay her if you don't it will be the end of the world wait hasn't this happened already it hasn't. or if it has i certainly haven't been a part of it we've just met for the first time you and i oh Oh my throat. Okay. Um He doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. Yes, he didn't approve of us last time, did he? If we're going to save our beloved, we'll have to be sneaky about it. Okay. Our beloved. Yes, you'll have to be very sneaky about your intentions if you're going to try and save the princess. Ah, so all of the cards are on the table. Then you should know that we and the princess are in love, and the four of us will be foiling any and all assassination attempts you've got in the works. This one I'm curious about, because this is the most different. We'll see about that. Whatever you do, just be sure to ignore him specifically. It sounds like he's the sort who'd sacrifice the whole world for a peck on the cheek. <laughs> what can I say? A world without love is a world that isn't worth saving. That's true. Which is why Earth isn't worth saving. <laughs> Let's assume I'm telling the truth and it's already happened. Why should I listen to you? Why bother? Yeah. Those are two very different questions, but fine. I'll indulge you if that's what it takes to get you moving. Let's say for a moment that this really is the second time you've met me. Or at least a version of me. If you're back here... I'm assuming you died, which probably only happened because you didn't listen to me. You were the one who did us in, villain. <laughs> well, not you in the literal sense, but you did everything you could to stop us from rescuing her. Oh, I wonder why. Maybe it's because the entire world was at stake. No lone princess is worth that price. I beg to differ. I'm not going to argue with you. I'm just going to take a deep breath and assume that Whoever is making the decisions here has the common sense to ignore your protestations. Anyway, I believe your second question was, What's the point of doing anything? If you're asking that, it sounds to me like you're making the rather dangerous assumption that your actions last time around didn't have any consequences. What do you mean? Of course there weren't any consequences. You forced the princess to kill us, and now everyone's right back where they started. That sounds pretty consequence-free to me. Yes, but in this purely hypothetical scenario, that begs the question of how you got back here. Did time simply rewind itself, or were you instead transported to a different world entirely? If it's the latter, what do you think happened after you died? 
you think the people there live happily ever after? Or do you think that the princess, left unhindered, brought about the end to everyone and everything, just like I told you she would? She would never. She's a perfect angel that you cruelly imprisoned as part of some convoluted, dastardly scheme. Convoluted? I don't know how this premise could be any more simple. Princess bad, stop her, save hell. I'm with them, I'm going to find a way to save her from that cabin. Let's talk about this princess. You know what? Yeah, I think this is the only one that is, isn't usually here. That's right. Can't stop all of us. We're going to sweep her off her feet if it's the last thing anyone does. Are these really the sorts of people you'd like to align yourself with? <sighs> You're out of the cabin yet? You still have plenty of time to reflect on the situation. I just hope for all our sakes that you make the right call. Let's talk about this princess. Just be quick about it. The only reason she was even able to kill me last time was because I let her. She could barely hold a knife. How is she supposed to end the world? She just can. Believe That's me, not... I I could tell you more. Uh... You'll just have to trust that what I'm saying is true and that, despite it all, you're fully up to the task that's been given to you. Maybe it's her beauty that threatens the world. Sure, it's her beauty. Why not? And before you ask, no, we can't just keep her down there. If you don't slay her, she's going to find a way out. It's unfortunate, I know, but it's just the way it is. Who locked her in that basement? What is that place? People locked her in that basement. Look, I'm not supposed to say because you're special. You're the only person capable of doing this. Call it a prophecy, if that helps. It's just the way things are. Oh, I didn't know we were special. Of course you're special. Why else would you be here? Calling us special isn't going to make us friends, even if it did feel nice. Oh, believe me, the last thing I want is for you and I to be friends. But I'm a professional, and I'm not going to let my dislike for you get in the way of helping you save the world. I mean, Cage, why are you telling me? I told you everything you need to know. Going into more detail would just overcomplicate an otherwise very simple situation and make your job more difficult. Not to sound like a broken record, but the less you know about her, the better things will go for all of us. I know it sounds like I'm hiding something, but you're just going to have to take me at my word. That's all. Great. Now, if you don't mind, the whole world is waiting with bated breath for you to save it from ruin. <sighs> See to the cabin, turn around and leave. You have already committed to my completion. Yeah. You cannot go further astray. Fine. A warning before you go any further. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying. Now I'm curious though, because don't believe a word she says. Because by the time we died, she trusted us. So, what happens now? It's like, technically, because every time the world resets, she remembers us. So, the moment she sees us, she should be, like, she shouldn't be any sort of, like, monster, right? We already told you we're not playing along with your little game. It's your lies that can't be trusted. Her beauty is the only thing in the world we can believe. Do, but I also speak from the heart. What? My um.
I think we've already been over this. I'm pretty sure he just likes the hero sound of his own voice. I do, but I also speak from the heart. My passion... My passions are too great to be stifled. They must be expressed. Sure, yeah, your passions are strong and all, but not everyone needs to hear them. Some things are better kept quiet. I'm starting to think my throat is just never gonna be okay. Don't pay their bickering any mind. Focus on the task ahead. Proceed to the cabin. Stone walls draped in fine threaded tapestries, a prison befitting a royal prison. The only furniture of note is an ornate wooden table with a pristine blade perched on its edge. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. You didn't say anything about the mirror on the wall. That's because there isn't a mirror. There's a, a table, the, the blade sitting on the table, and the door to the basement. There's nothing else in here. There's definitely a mirror. There isn't. I'm sure the princess would tell us there was a mirror if she were up here. <laughs> In which case she'd be lying to you because, again, there isn't a mirror. Approach the mirror. You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall. There isn't much to see. This really isn't funny. Wipe the mirror clean. You reach forward and rub your hand against the cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. But it was there a second ago, and now it's gone. Pity. We could have a feather out of place, and now we'll never know. We can't gallantly sweep her off her feet if we have a feather out of place. <laughs> okay. Um. I guess I can remove this. Um, this whole cabin is different than last time. Very different. Is it? I can't say I was paying much attention to the scenery last time. Maybe that's because you haven't actually been here. I hope this means you'll finally drop that ridiculous past life nonsense. You haven't died, and you certainly haven't been killed by the princess. So focus up. Stop letting yourself get distracted. Uh, let's enter the basement. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing an intricate stairwell. Gold-trimmed carpet glimmers in the light of the torches positioned along the walls. The basement almost seems welcoming in the dim firelight. But it's still a stone basement. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. A soft voice carries up the stairs. Hello? Is someone there? Her voice. It's somehow even more beautiful than last time. I can hear wedding bells already. I've held my tongue till now, but you're taking this a little too far. We barely even know the princess. You can still do right by her without all this over-the-top fawning. Yes, for everyone's sake, you're not in love. Just remember that her charms are all part of the manipulation. Probably, but it leads to an ending, so... You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall. My love, we're here to rescue you from your unjust and foul imprisonment. You know she can't hear you, right? <laughs> she may not be able to hear my words, but surely she can hear my spirit. Oh, your spirit's plenty loud, all right. <laughs> it's you, my dashing hero. I was so worried you wouldn't come back. Did you hear that? She said we're dashing. And she called us a hero. Flattery really goes a long way with the two of you, doesn't it? <laughs> Waiting for you to come back. I didn't want to believe your ravings back in the woods, but this is next to incontrovertible evidence. You've been here before. 
That right, villain. And you killed us. Well, she killed us. But it isn't made us try and kill her. It was self-defense. Our beloved hands remain unstained by cruelty. And you've died before. So an entire world has been damned to oblivion. <laughs> I'd really hoped I'd be the first, but what's done is done. What matters is you have a chance to do it right this time. Now, hold on. If she actually ended a world, are you sure we want to do this? Are you sure we want to rescue her? We never saw a world end. And now I'm even more certain that we must chase our heroic and romantic destiny than I've ever been. I shan't let anyone convince us otherwise. I mean, I saw I saw a couple of worlds end, but uh, sure. Are you listening to him? He's lost it. Don't let him distract you. Just do your job. You killed me last time, and it hurt a lot. Why did you do that? That's a stupid question. I didn't bring a knife. Do I have to cut you out again? What happened after I died? I have to ask. Did you end the world after he, after you killed me back there? Sorry about the, what happened last time. The narrator who sent me here to kill you took over my body. It was extremely unfair. Yes. The version of me was put to such drastic action. It was for good reason. That's okay. You were just doing your best. And that's all that matters. She took that in stride, to a surprising extent, <laughs> an almost unsettling extent actually. <laughs> That's because she's perfect. You think she has someone like him telling her what to do? She doesn't. There's no one else like me. I think he's right, because I like it better if she doesn't have some horrid little voice like him, <laughs> always trying to drive her to violence. You killed me last time, I heard a lot, why did you do that? I'm sorry, didn't we want you to? Did we? We warned her of the cruel forces seizing our body. That's practically telling her to kill us. She is our beloved, and she made the choice to free us of our misery. To show us mercy and make the best decision for everyone. She made the best decision for her. Don't be so quick to assign kindness. You're just opening yourself up to manipulation. I didn't bring a knife. Do I have to cut you out again? I'm okay with whatever you come up with. You can cut my arm off again. <laughs> we won't be laying a finger on her perfect wrists. And indeed, we won't even have to. Do you see how dainty her hands are? We'll be able to slip her right out with no harm done. What? No, she's a prisoner here. We can't just slip her hand from the chains. Why are you two arguing over the logistics of slipping her hand out of her shackles? She just said she'd be okay with any idea we came up with. Am I the only one here who thinks that's weird? She didn't care last time. Why should she care this time? That's our stoic, smiling angel. No, you're right. It's extremely bizarre behavior and further evidence that she's a monster who's not to be trusted. So go ahead and slay her. What happened after I died? You died, and now we're talking. <laughs> yes. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> the more you know. But before we started talking, did the world end? Did you end the world? I don't know. Was I supposed to have ended the world? Would that have made you happy? Uh, yes, actually. Isn't that just like our darling princess? She wants to make us happy. My heart melts further with every word that passes through her beautiful lips. Listening to her, that's a confession. The... No, I don't want the world to end. Yes, I do. I have no feelings one way or another about the world ending. Honestly, the world sucks. People are a plague and I hope you brought a slow, painful ruin to them all. Um, honestly, yeah, I don't think I need this anymore. I can't believe that the fate of the entire world has been left in the hands of a misanthrope. <laughs> Lucky for you, I did destroy the world. 
I destroyed all of it and made it awful for everyone. Nice. Good job. That's my woman. She just admitted to obliterating the entire <laughs> world. I guess that wouldn't actually move you. I mean, hey, we can't say for certain. Oh, it moves me. Whatever we do next, we should do our best to not let her out. But look, you've seen her angelic face. She should get a pass. <laughs> Wanted to make us happy <laughs> by destroying the world. Well, yeah. Apparently, yes. <laughs> I mean, it succeeded. Rescue the princess. I can't let you do that. If you take another step towards the princess, I'll you'll what? Take over our body and force us to try and kill her. I would if you had a weapon. <laughs> Not on my watch, villain. My passions contain spite and death, and if you try anything that might harm our dearest, I will end our life without a second thought. You wouldn't. What? I would. I'd listen to him if I were you. He has a lot of strong feelings, and doesn't the world end if we don't stop her? Approach the princess and gingerly slide her hand from her bindings. Uh, that shouldn't have worked. Yeah. I'll be damned. We're doomed. <laughs> I was just questioning that. Like, wait, what? If she, if if that's all it took, couldn't couldn't she have just done it herself? <laughs> jumps up and smothers you in a joyful embrace. <laughs> if only we had a weapon, one slip of the wrist and your pristine blade would be buried in her back and everyone out there would be saved. Luckily for Mr. Romance, we don't have a weapon. <laughs> Who needs a weapon when we have the power of love on our side? What do we do now? I don't know. Fuck. What do you want to do? We leave and then we have our whole lives to figure out what we want to do next. Um, is there a save I can... Uh, I mean, I have a lot of saves that I probably don't really need. Yeah, this. Alright. Okay. Um, what do you want to do? Let me guess. End the world? Spoken with the rank cynicism of someone who has never felt love in his heart. I don't actually know. Nobody's ever asked me what I wanted before. I mean, you sort of did last time, but this is different. She doesn't even know what she wants. You may have had it all wrong. What if this whole thing is just a misunderstanding? What if she doesn't want to end the world? You're so gullible. It's the only thing you've ever doubted, the actual truth. I mean, she's free now, so, like, she could have technically... I mean, like, now she could have just said, end the world, and literally not, we couldn't have done anything about it, so... I think I want to leave. And I think... The princess closes her eyes in deep reflection. And then she shrugs. Anami, what do you want to do? <laughs> Anami, tell me what you want. <laughs> I don't know. What do you want to do? There must be something you want. Do you want to end the world? I just want to leave so you can figure out the rest later. If you want to leave, then let's leave. Um. Um, I can probably get rid of these now. Um. Do you want to end the world? Are you seriously asking her that? <laughs> oh, we get over this one. I do want to end the world. <laughs> <laughs> I 
That's amazing. I need to tell me what you want. I just want to make you happy. Um. The music is getting distorted. There must be something you want. I just want to make you happy. Again. Wait. Her face is getting more... More, uh, shoujo-like. So what would make you happy? I just wanna make you happy. Uh... You want... You have to want something more than just making me happy. Okay, I'll find something else to want if that makes you happy. Uh, sure. And they live happily oh, yeah, after it's all show. Uh, yeah, technically. Uh, you don't get the chance to ask another question, nor will you ever. It's time for you to leave. And memory returns. Oh, she was our perfect match. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> she's gone. Where does she go? Should we try and find her? And is that a mirror? Why is it here? Why now? You approach the mirror. Get into your reflection. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave, but you need to see what's in it. The remains. You've unraveled. You've let you gonna say me dun dun boca. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. Proceed to the cabin. You are at the cabin. Approach her. There's a world beyond the endless realms of the long quiet. I am curious to see what it may have placed to know me. Do you think there are people out there? It doesn't matter if there are. People are too small for us. You and I are the only things that interest me. Do you think that anything is real out there? Do you think that we're real? We are real. Nothing is an idea that dwells in the absence of something. But nothing cannot exist on its own. And because of that, nothing can't exist. Do you have thoughts on this vessel? This one is soft and delicate. You molded her to love you, and she'll make for a gentle heart. Do not mourn her. She has served her purpose. I mean, it's hard to mourn her when she's a... <laughs> when she's a rough sketch. <laughs> uh, do you know what's going to happen when you awaken? If I did, I would already be awake. When you send me back... Uh... I'm not alone. There are voices that speak to me. Some of them are me, but one of them is something else. I call him the narrator, and he wants me to kill you. Do you have a narrator? Have the vessels had one? No. Their minds are empty. Existent, but constantly shifting into something new. Do you think your narrator lives in the spaces beyond? I have no fucking clue. He does. I don't know why, but I know this for a fact. I am on the cusp of my awakening. Perhaps you are on the cusp of yours. How many more vessels do I need to bring you? One. Whatever you bring me next will be enough. And then gravity will pull the others back to me. I will be singular. 
a final multitude. Oh god, wait, only one? If this is the last time, is there anything you would like me to bring you? If this is the last stage before your completion, then I'm not then I'm not going back, I'm just going to stay here. Um Is there anything you would like me to bring you? These gifts are a conversation, and each one shows me the contours of your heart. The only thing I want to see is what you choose for me when the thread is fully drawn. If this is the last stage before your completion, I'm not going back, I'm just going to stay here. You've already tried, Raven, but I understand if you need more time. I'll wait with you. There is no waiting for it. No, wait. I will see you when you return. Oh, right. Wait, this this closes the game. What textures will you leave for yourself to occupy forever? Will you place the images of you and I into a box for safekeeping? If you close that box, will you become another you in another world? An imaginary pattern repeating itself until it can no longer bear the weight its lantern cage. Your memories come back to the box because you'll always want to know what it means to be you. I will be here waiting by your side until you're ready to return to me. Yep. Alright, well, <laughs> so, uh, I forgot this crashes the game. Well, not crashes the game, it closes the game. Um, it's fine. And it and then Steam just decides to be a cunt. Okay, that's great. Alright. You have returned to me. Yes. Now you were gone in your moments. I never left your side. I wonder what that means. I'm ready to go back. The next time I see you. Each of us will finally know what we are. I will be here, waiting for you. Everything goes dark and you die. Uh, an idealized vessel. Bring the deconstructed damsel to her. Okay, um, I want to try something else so adversary i did that let's try the tower or the prisoner let's try the tower first and then the prisoner you're on a path in the woods and at the end of that path is a cabin and in the basement of that cabin is a prison you're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end. Wait, wait, wait. Actually, yeah, no, I'm an idiot. Uh, I wanted to try and get the knife from here. Okay. Take the blade. You take the blade from the table. It will be difficult to slay the... I suppose if we're to play the role of dashing knife, we need an equally dashing sword. That way she'll know we can defend her from her enemies. Hopefully it doesn't put her on edge. And hopefully it doesn't get turned on us. Again, there's no use arguing over motivations right now. It's good that you took the blade. You'll need it to do your job. Enter the basement. The door to the basement, but it's a soft... Hello? Is someone there? Her voice. Yes, for everyone's sake, you're not in love. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall. My love, we're here to rescue you from your unjust and foul imprisonment. You know she can't hear you, right? She may not be able to hear my words, but surely she can hear my spirit. Oh, your spirit's plenty loud, all right. 
It's you, my dashing hero. I was so worried you wouldn't come back. Did you hear that? She said we're dashing. And she called us a hero. Flattery really goes a long way with the two of you, doesn't it? Waiting for you to come back. I didn't want to believe your ravings back in the woods, but this is next to incontrovertible evidence. You've been here before. That's right, villain. You killed us. Well, she killed us. Only because you... And you dubbed... Now, we never saw... Are you listening? Okay, uh, they talk too much. Um... Okay. Let's see. Say the princess. Blade in hand, you run the princess down. Wait, no. You barbarian, what do you think you're doing? But you ignore the pleas of the foolish little voice <laughs> and press on. The princess's eyes grow wide with terror as you approach, but she does absolutely nothing to stop you. Oh damn. Your blade pierces her heart, and she collapses pathetically to the ground. I wasn't expecting that. I'm sorry. Did I do something wrong? No, my love, you did nothing wrong. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Not you. I'm going to die now. I think I killed you once. Oh no. <laughs> and just like that, she's dead. And the world is safe. Lady killer, slay an innocent. Damn. Oh, I feel sick. I... Damn. Sick? You took part in the murder of the fairest creature that's ever been... And you merely feel sick? I, for one, am absolutely distraught. Grief-stricken. Inconsolable. Honestly? Same, man. You'll get over it. You just saved everyone. Uh, uh. It's over with. You smarmy ass. There's nothing in the world worth getting over it for. We might as well just end it all. You raise the blade, aiming the point directly towards your heart. Excuse me? No, you absolutely do not do that. <laughs> yeah, let's not make any rash decisions. We should give ourselves a minute, take a deep breath, and wrap. The only rash decision we've made was running out of... Princess blade through her heart. This is far from rash. This is measured. This is the only thing left for us to do now that she's gone. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I gotta see this. I gotta, uh, I'm the one who makes the decision here, and I say no. If that's what you want, then let's see what happens. Alright, I'm the one who makes the decisions here, and I say no. Exactly. You're not doing this. All of you may have previously thought that my passions were too great to stifle, but those were merely passions of joy. My passions of sorrow run deeper than the ocean itself, and you'll find that they are far more unstifleable. Haven't you? Haven't you all? I don't believe this. What? What don't you believe? Plunge the blade into your own heart and collapse to the floor. You can't be serious. Why are you helping him? I'm not. You just made it happen. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's right. You're all sorry. I kind of am. Everything goes dark and you die. Chapter 3 The Grey. Now, why? Let's do this part. You're on a path. You think just because we've returned to the woods, you've earned my forgiveness? Our beloved had best be alive and well when we return to the cabin, or you'll never know the end of my wrath. She won't be alive and well when we return to that cabin, because she's dead. We killed her. Well, yeah, but... You killed her, and so I killed her. You clearly didn't do a good enough job. I'm still here. Oh, and I'm still here too. 
<laughs> if you lot get to be blessed with seemingly eternal life, then that must mean she is still there, waiting for us to throw ourselves at her feet in remorse. I doubt it. I think I'm better at killing than you are. So you've been here before. Of course you've been here before. What count is it this time? Two? <laughs> yes. It's our third. Third. What gave it away? <laughs> Your open discussions. I couldn't care less what he knows. Every second we stand around arguing in the woods is a second that I'm anxiously worrying about her. Take us to the cabin and take us there now. <laughs> With each passing moment, our relationship may be damaged even further. Though I fear the risk between us may already be permanent. And if it is permanent, then what? You'll kill us again. Yes. Oh, you just wait and see. My vengeance will echo the depths of my bereavement. Don't provoke him. I prefer if we didn't die again. I'm not fond of dying. Why not? You've already done it twice. I swear to God, fucking steam. It was unpleasant. It was only unpleasant because you think it's supposed to be unpleasant. I'll make you feel what I feel if it's the last thing I do. And mark my words, you won't like it when it happens. <sighs> oh, how exciting. I'd love to see you try. Can I? Well, I'm not just <coughs> going to try. I'm going to actually do it. I'm looking forward to it. Good. I am too. Can I talk now? Yes, I can. Great. Now that you're listening, let me remind you that if you're here in the woods, it means that the princess is not dead, and that her very existence currently poses a direct threat to the entire world. <sighs> we haven't talked enough about how different this place is. It wasn't different last time. What happens if we don't go to the cabin? I'm the one in charge if we slay her again. You're not going to make us kill ourselves, is that clear? Okay. If this isn't the same part in the woods you're used to, that means that her influence is already spreading and you're running out of time. Wait. But if her influence is spreading, that means there's hope. That means our beloved is waiting up there for us. Ready to make amends. Yes, I already told you that she's alive. Don't mind him. I don't think he's doing too well. <laughs> I'm doing better than any of you. I'm doing great. She's alive. Influence doesn't require life. But if things restarted, why wouldn't she be alive? Who said they restarted? All they've done is changed. I shan't listen to the vile mutterings of you serpents. Onward! Our living, breathing princess awaits us. What happens if we don't get a cabin? We'll find a way out eventually and the world will still end. The only way this resolves is if you find her and slay her before that happens. Again he makes her out to be a monster. I'm tired of all this slander. She's never hurt anyone in her life except for us, and that was our fault. <laughs> we don't know that. She could have done all sorts of things we weren't around to see. Turn around and leave. Go to the cabin. I'm fine with either. So long as we don't just do the same thing again. That would be boring. Sure would. And on in charge if we and if we slay her again, you're not going to make us kill ourselves. Is that clear? Oh, it's clear, you murderer. Though I should remind you that you're not as in charge as you seem to think you are. Oh yeah. Watch me delete you out of existence. Last time was just a freak. I wouldn't worry about it. Besides, if he kills us again, he kills us again. It doesn't matter. He'll tire out. Flame of passion always burns out in the end. Spoken like a true cynic. Enough bickering. Just stay focused and get to the cabin. 
Alright. Whatever happens next, it seems like all our answers are in the cabin. We might as well see this through. Proceed to the cabin. I'm sure you've already heard my words of warning in one of your past lives. You've already managed to slay her once, just... Don't muck it up this time, all right? Oh, we'll muck it up, all right. <laughs> we'll get our happy ending, even if it damns each and every person who's ever lived. Uh, whatever you do, don't let him influence a single decision. He's clearly lost it. I hate that I'm agreeing with him on anything, but I really don't like being at the whims of someone so unstable. It's stressful. Yes, having all those feelings isn't very productive, is it? But we're just passengers here. Why stress over something you can't control? You're saying that like stress is just something you can turn off. It is. It's easy. <laughs> Whatever happens, happens. <laughs> this is horribly unproductive. The cabin and your extremely important destiny await. Let's see into the cabin. The interior of the cabin oh. feels dry and brittle. Ancient dust covered wooden beams hold up a crumbling ceiling like mummified ribs, each elegantly carved detail of the stately building preserved in an extended stasis. Everything here has been kept safe and dry and lifeless. He's right there. At least a ghost is. You can feel something watching you. There is a figure faintly outlined against the dusty wood of the far wall. Is that... her? Our beloved. So she does live. She doesn't look very alive to me. Yeah, she looks like a ghost. Before you can make a move, the figure is gone, vanishing behind the door on the far side of the room. The door at the end of the room, but there isn't a door, it's just that damn mirror again. Of course. Ah, yes, the mirror. So we can see the monster we've become. <laughs> if it even lets us look before it vanishes too. The mirror? Is this some kind of joke? Did you all plan this out before dying? There is no mirror. There's the door to the basement, the table, and the pristine blade. Huh. That's strange. There's supposed to be a pristine blade. Why isn't there a pristine blade? Maybe it's gone because we've already killed her with it. Perhaps it's gone because an oh-so-deserved guilt has started to worm its way into each and every one of you. Perhaps all of you do feel just as bad as I about what we've done. Oh, if you felt the oppressive guilt I feel, we would have manifested that weapon directly into our heart. I suppose it doesn't matter why the blade is gone, but you're going to have to find it if you're going to do this right. So why don't you march over to that door and make your way down to the basement? Um, but there is no door. As if something as flimsy as a missing door would stop us on our sacred quest. Cross the room. Find our way back to her. You're clearly hallucinating, but I'd rather not get into it with you right now. The door to the basement is on the far side of the room, whether you can see it or not. Push the mirror. You make your way to the door at the end of the room, stopping just in front of it. You must think you're looking at that mirror you mentioned earlier, the one that doesn't exist. Just reach forward and open the door. It's still so Hazy. We should try and clean it off. Yes. Trying to touch it does seem to be the magic spell to get it out of our way. Wipe the mirror clean. It's time for all of you to see what we've become. <laughs> you reach forward and place your hand on the door to the basement. The handle is just a little to your right and a little down. <laughs> so much for our reflection. We didn't need to see ourselves anyway. More interested in seeing other things. Yeah. I see. We are too hideous for even a mirror to behold. We can only hope she might still see some good in us. No way left to go but down. 
Enter the basement. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing an antique staircase lit by weak torchlight. The air here is so stale it practically stands still, as if the very molecules of this place had been fossilized, trapped for eons until your arrival. Even the blaze of the torches can't penetrate the odorless air. As if they'd run out of fuel to burn ages ago, their light still flickering more out of habit than from adhering to a physical reality. A wispy figure watches you from the bottom of the stairs, face veiled in shadow. There she is again. My God. She's just an old memory. Your eyes lock for a brief moment. Then she vanishes around the corner. Uh. Sorry about last time. Are we good? Is anyone there? I think we have a lot to talk about. I don't have a weapon. There isn't anything upstairs for me when I got here. Sorry about last time. Are we good? so exposed of course she's livid and with good reason you aren't helping are you scared of a little ghost what's she going to do look at us until we feel bad she can look all she wants it won't do anything proceed down the stairs as you descend the final step the form of the princess comes into view a skeletal body lying in a heap on the floor, her wrist still bound to the wall by a heavy chain. This cell is a dark and isolated place, with not so much as a window to allow starlight to penetrate the gloom. See? She's dead. No. What foul trickery is this? How can this be? We just saw her alive and well a moment ago, floating away transparently. That was a ghost. Whatever we saw was a ghost. Thought we were all on the same page. <laughs> Do try to keep up. Your thoughts are interrupted by the sound of a slamming door and a clicking lock. You turn to see the shade of the princess staring down at you from the top of the stairs, clutching a brightly burning torch. So that's where the blade is. It's already in her heart. And yet she isn't dead. She is dead. Have you never heard of a ghost before? <laughs> oh, for the love of... Can we not waste time arguing over the semantics of what is and isn't dead? She is clearly conscious. She clearly just slammed the door on you, and she clearly has a weapon. Your pristine blade sticking out of her chest. This is extremely bad. Catastrophic, even. Yeah, I mean, if she's tangible, that means we can hit that. Dead or not, what are we supposed to do about it? Slay him or destroy him if we want to be a little more death neutral. Seems off the table. We make amends. She obviously still holds us in her heart. She's bearing a fortress and everything. Yeah, to burn you alive. But she hasn't said anything. Are you sure she can talk like this? Do you like you now? I missed you. That angelic voice. I missed you too, my beloved. You sure snapped back to your old self quick. Yes. Seeing her dazzling countenance again has reignited the warmth in my heart. I have found it in me to forgive the sins this body has committed. We can have our perfect romance after all. This is a bad place. We're supposed to be together. But it keeps making us hurt each other. The torch falls from the princess's hand and bounces down the stairs. It'll be so much better when it's gone. This place is made of stone, not wood. So you can't burn it. The skeletal Ow. basement, perfectly dry after uncountable years of desiccation, immediately catches fire. She's trying to kill us a misplaced escalation of her passions but clearly she still cares for us 
I say we burn the curse. <laughs> Why did you close the door? Let me out. You're trying to kill me. I'm going to burn. Are you mad at me for killing you? I'm sorry. Rush for the blade. Rush to the door. Uh, yeah. Are you mad at me for killing you? I'm sorry. Dancing up the walls and painting every surface with strokes of flame. You are choked by smoke, and the air around you grows uncomfortably warm. We've never burned to death before. I wonder how it's going to feel. Bad! I bet it'll feel really, really bad! Yes, it will be terrible, so you'd better come up with something to do, and fast. Your personal safety is far from the only thing she's threatening right now. I think a bit of fiery passion is good for the world. You're just trying to spoil her fun. <laughs> I'm not spoiling anything. I'm trying to prevent oblivion. Why did you close the door? Everything's fine. She wants to be with us. Yeah, in a bad way. She just has a unique way of expressing things. Yeah. The heat grows in intensity as the flames draw ever nearer. You can practically feel your skin sizzling already. If you're going to try and stop her from killing you and destroying the whole world, you'd better do something and you'd better do it now. I wonder if we look good right now. Fire makes a lot of things look good. I can only imagine how dazzling our eyes are in the dancing flames. Do you think she's noticed? I don't want to burn to death. We don't have to, right? Uh, what's wrong with you? I don't want this. I just think you do. Sometimes someone else makes decisions for you. And those decisions are for the best. You should know that. Not really. Flames lick at your form, stripping layers of you away, causing your skin to blister and pop and crisp. As you burn, the princess glides to your side, her ghostly form blackening as she too succumbs. Terrible. We're going to die. That's fine. I'd save it as Fido if I were you. Soon enough, we won't have you. And we'll get to die with her. After what you made us do last time, this is as sweet an end as we could hope for. She clutches you close to her chest, her eyes bright and her smile wide with manic affection. Watching as the Pain is unbearable at first. Every inch of you screams as your flesh is stripped away, your muscles stiffening as they're cooked, your blood boiling in your veins. But it isn't long before the flames take your nerves, and with them, your ability to feel much of anything. See? That wasn't so bad. It was so bad. But somehow, Worse. You'll get used to it. <laughs> there are still the feelings of the heart. Those never go away. Oh, they always do in the end. You just haven't experienced enough. Eventually, you'll want them to stop too. You'll make them stop. Trust me. The princess's smile never fails. Her skin peels away, and then her muscle, until all you can see is her charring skull, locked 
in an eternal grin. It's very romantic here. We got our happy ending after all. We can die happy. But despite your best best efforts, you do not die. It's time for you to leave. Memory returns. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? Why is it here? Why now? You approach the mirror. Gives into your reflection. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave. But you need to see what's in it. You've unraveled. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. You are at the cabin. There is a world beyond the endless bars of the long quiet. I am curious to see what it means for us to know. Oh, wait, she's uh she's half like like she's half like a rough sketch. Um, do you have thoughts on this vessel? This one is passion betrayed. But even in the end, her love never faded. She will make for a bright path. Do not mourn her. She has served her purpose. Ready to go back. The next time I see you, each of us will finally know what we are. I will be here, rooting for you. Everything goes dark, and you die. Burning vessel. Bring the burned grate to her. Alright. Let me load. Um, this. Rush for the blade. Oh, I feel so bad. The metal is already blistering hot. Your hand sizzles as it melts on contact. You can't so much as pull away, your nerves seizing up as they're fried. The bones of your hand fusing in place around the weapon. The princess, smiling warmly as her skin bubbles away, places her hand on yours. Every inch of you screams as your flesh is stripped away, your muscles stiffening as they're cooked, your blood boiling in your veins. But it isn't long before the flames take your nerves, and with them, your ability to feel much of anything. See? That wasn't so bad. It was so bad. You'll get used to it. There are still the things. Uh, I think this is the same. I'm just happy the princess's smile never fades. Her skin peels away. Yeah, it's the same. Alright. Um, let's go back over here. No! Okay. I almost just overrode the save. Okay. I have to ask did you end the world after you killed me back there? Let's say no. Isn't that just like our darling princess? She wants to make us happy. My heart melts further with every word that passes through her beautiful lips. Listening to her, that's a confession. Mm. 
No, I don't want the world to end. Then I didn't end the world. <laughs> See, she didn't confess anything. She is innocent itself. <laughs> I'm not so sure. <laughs> um. She's a world-ending monstrosity. And even if you wanted to unleash her onto the world, despite the complete moral disaster that would be, you'd have to get her out of those chains. Good luck with that. <laughs> Don't you see how dainty her hands are? You'll be able to slip her out with ease. No, she's a prisoner here. You can't just slip her hand through the chains. If her hands were to slip out of the chains, why hasn't she done it already? Because we've yet to present her with her freedom. I'm not sure I follow. Would you rather believe me, a passionate heart guided by love and my own good nature? Or would you rather believe the devil on your shoulder who tells you what you can and cannot do? I think I'd rather believe in facts. <laughs> ah, so you're one of those empiricists. One of us has to be. Then let me show you a brand new proof. Narrator, please courageously step forward and free our beloved from her bindings. No, I can't let you do that. If you take another step towards the princess, I'll... You'll what? Take over our body and force us to try and kill her? Yes. Not on my watch, villain. My passions contain titanic depths, and if you try... Anything that might harm our dearest, I will end our life without a second thought. You wouldn't. I would. I'd listen to him if I were you. He has a lot of strong feelings. And doesn't the world end if we don't stop her? <sighs> you approach the princess and gingerly slide her hand from her bindings. That shouldn't have worked. I'll be damned. We're doomed. Believe it. But I guess I had to. I told you, there's no life more worth living than that of a true believer. I'm free, and you're not trying to kill me this time. Thank you. Thank you so much. The princess jumps up and smothers you in a joyful embrace. Ugh. Are you sure you want to do this? Just one slip of the wrist, and your pristine blade is buried in her back. Everyone out there is saved. Is that a threat? Hey, Milo. Good morning. You know what we'll do if you try it. You're going to regret this. What do we do now? Uh, okay. Actually, I, I'm yet to try that one. Uh, we leave and then we have our whole lives to figure out what what we want to do next. Princess takes your hand in hers, you let your blade tumble uselessly to the floor, and with it tumbles the last hope <laughs> for the entire world. <laughs> we have each other. We don't need the world for our happy ending. I like to think that you do, actually. Look, I have my doubts, but the choice has been made, and this is happening. You don't have to mope about it. I will mope about it. Because moping is the only recourse you love-blind fools have left me with. You and the princess walk up the stairs hand in hand. Ugh, look at the way she's smiling at you. She doesn't have to be so happy about this. And what happens after we walk up the stairs? And tells me the narrator is hiding something. Oh, isn't that interesting? The door slams in your face and the lock clicks. Randomly. That's a familiar move. Yeah. <laughs> Did I do that last time? And you should know that you won't be able to leave. Oh well. Oh no! Did someone lock us in here? That's not fair. We're supposed to leave now. She's right. It isn't fair. But the unfairnesses of the world are no match for the strength of true love. It's fine. There's plenty of room for us to fuck. In 
enough with this true love nonsense. You just met her. <laughs> of course you wouldn't understand. Our passions run deeper than anything you will ever know. Are you listening to this? You don't have to go along with the every whim of that delusional voice. I'm just along for the ride at this point. Uh, let's save. Do you think you can open it? I think we can open it if we try it together. I think I've got this. Open the door by yourself. Uh, do you think you can open it? Well, I don't know. Do you think I can? Ouch. Of course you can. You believe in her, right? Nobody is leaving this basement. I think you've got this. I think we can open it if we try it. I think we can open it if we try together. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Like a pair of teenagers in love, you and the princess place your hands on the door together. Blech. And the lock clicks and the door creaks open. Are you <laughs> you our love was insurmountable <laughs> uh, the narrator is just an edgy teen don't worry about him <laughs> you and the princess make your way upstairs her freedom and the world's ruin are just a few moments away if you don't mind i'm going to fix myself a drink before you ruin everything if i'm about to see the end of the world i'd rather not see it sober <laughs> <laughs> that's the way out we're going to leave together just like you wanted Yes, I suppose you are going to do that, aren't you? You cross the room, opening the door to the cabin. And then you step out. The love will set you free. Romantic haze. A happy ending at last. We did it. What should we do now? Where did everything go? Where did he go? Oh, is he gone? I hadn't noticed. I was too busy staring deep into beloved's eyes i'm cold is being happy supposed to be so cold uh, i'm sure it is she's cold quick our feathers pluck them all and weave her a coat worthy of a princess we don't Get the chance to make that jacket. No will you ever. It's time for you to leave. Memory returns. She's gone. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? And is that a memory? Why is it here? Why now? You approach the mirror. Get into the reflection. Uh, we've already seen all of this. Honestly, I think I sh I'm probably just going to load. Um, let's do. What do we do now? Um, what do you want to do? End the world. Spoken with the rank cynicism. Um, actually, no. Nobody's ever asked me what I wanted before. I mean, you sort of did last time, but this is different. She doesn't even know what she wants. You may have had it all wrong. What if this whole thing is just a myth so gullible? Wait, I'm an idiot. Wait, I'm so stupid. I just realized. That's the print we have. Look, I will. I do. I'm just. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you've got this. I didn't mean to click on that, but. And the lock clicks, and the door creaks open. Are you kidding me? Ha! I knew it. Your words are no match for the pure strength of our hearts, bound together as one. You and the princess. That's the way. Yes, I suppose you are. Then you are. We. Where? Oh, is it? I'm Is that a...
Lead to the cabin. Go to the cabin, approach her. There's a world beyond the endless walls of the long quiet. You're supposed to be there. Do you know what you'll find out there? Wait, this is different. Is that a rhetorical question? Do you know? Do you want to tell me? Rhetorical. I am not rhetorical. I have only known these faces. And I have known flickers of the lives you've brought me. Short and violent and full of passion. But all of those flickers end where the long quiet begins. I'm asking you because I cannot know your mind. Do you know what we'll find out there? There's trees and stars and there are people, I think. At least there are supposed to be people. There is a warmth and sadness in you at the thought of people. Fresh tears on a winter's day. They are not like us. They do not know. Do you think that anything is real out there? Do you think that we're real? We are real. Nothing is an idea that dwells in the absence of something. But nothing cannot exist on its own. And because of that, nothing can't exist. You have any thoughts on this vessel? This one is soft and delicate. He molded her to love you and shall make for a gentle heart. Do not mourn her. She has served her purpose. Do you know what's going to happen when you awaken? Wait, um... One. Okay. The next time I see you, each of us will finally know what we are. I will be here, waiting for you. Uh, bring the damsel to her. Loving vessel. Ah. So I thought that, um... That there would be, like, uh... Like, two... Two, like, alternate stories. Or two alternate scenarios. Uh, but no. Like, the first alternate scenario for the damsel is, like, when she turns into, like, a, a rough sketch... That's interesting. Okay. Um, so let me. Yeah. So. Load. I guess the witch. of that cabin is a princess you're here to slay her if you don't it will be the end of the world um okay no don't you start grandstanding about morals the fate of the world is at risk right now and the life of a mere princess shouldn't stop you from saving us all he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. Brilliant. We need to keep our cards close to our chest, and I'm not sure we can trust him. You know I can hear you, right? It's going to be a lot harder than you think to keep secrets from him. Did I say I'm not sure we can trust him? Slip of the tongue. You know, the old brain fog. I meant to say that we should probably head over to the cabin and slay that princess. We already know we can't trust her, so let's get on with the show. Let's assume telling the truth. Those are two very different questions. Let's say for a moment that this really is. If you're back here, I'm assuming you died, which probably only happened because you didn't listen to me. 
we were just weighing our options in a morally ambiguous situation. You can't blame us for weighing our options. I can if you fail to slay the princess, which you apparently did. So great, congratulations. You've been given another chance to actually do this right. And I believe your other question was something along the lines of, oh, what's the point of doing anything? If you're asking that, it sounds to me like you're making the rather dangerous assumption that your actions last time around didn't have any consequences. What do you mean? Of course there weren't any consequences. The princess locked us in a basement, we eventually died, and now everyone's right back where they started. Sounds pretty consequence-free to me. Yes, but in this purely hypothetical scenario, that begs the question of how you got back here. Did time simply rewind itself, or were you instead transported to a different world entirely? If it's the latter, what do you think happened after you died? Do you think the people there lived happily ever after? Or do you think that the princess left unhindered brought about the end to everyone and everything just like I told you she would? That's a very good point. This princess character seems like a lot of trouble, and if you think about it, actually slaying her probably breaks us out of this cycle, right? We don't want to be stuck here forever, do we? You're laying it on a little thick, aren't you? Laying it on a little thick? What are you talking about? I'm sharing my honest opinions. What matters is that almost everyone seems to be on the same page. So whenever you're ready, you can stop dawdling get to the cabin, and save the world. Uh, let's talk about this princess. Just be quick about it. She killed me last time. All she did last time was lock me in the basement until I died. Don't get me wrong, I hated it, but how can someone like that end the world? Oh, I didn't mean to skip it, but it's fine. How can I make sure she did like something? Like I said, she killed you. It was probably because you didn't listen to me. Don't talk to her. Don't trust her. Just go in, do your job, and save the world. Alright, fine. Right. Now, if you don't mind. Yes, yes. Proceed to the cabin. A warning: before you go, she will lie. She will cheat. She will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. Mm hmm Don't worry, I think we've taken that lesson to heart at this point. You can trust us to get the job done. Proceed into the cabin. The interior of the cabin is a mess of twisted roots. The walls a chaotic weave of knotted wood that almost as if by accident, just happened to resemble a room. The floor is damp and earthy, and the only furniture of note is a slab of mud in the shape of a shelf, with a pristine blade perched on its edge. Um... Hold on, how many vessels are there? Because here I'm seeing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. How many do I... But there's also like two more per one. So it's more like 30. Um, is there... Uh, hold on. I'm gonna look it up and hopefully remain spoiler free. If I don't, then oh well. Because I want to get like all the vessels before... Sorry. 
of the source. There are 18, it seems. Wait, 18, but... Oh, no, it's a lot worse than that. Okay. Um, I'll worry about that later. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Push the mirror. Wait, well, actually, didn't say anything about the mirror. That's because there isn't a mirror. There's the muddy shelf, the blade sitting on the muddy shelf, and the door to the basement. There's nothing else in here. There's definitely a mirror. He says there isn't one. That's got to count for something, right? I trust my eyes. Why would he lie about there not being a mirror? What's the point? Come on now. He's pretty much in charge here. When have authority figures ever lied about anything? If there were a mirror in this cabin and we were supposed to look at it, he would have told us about it. Uh, approach the mirror. You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall isn't much to see here. This really isn't funny. Wipe the mirror clean. You reach forward and rub your hand against the cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. Oh my god, there's 11 endings. Oh my god. Well, at least we can all agree now that there's nothing to see here. Case closed. Good work, everyone. Um, alright. Is there a... Okay, yes, there's more than just nine pages. But also, it's going to be a pain in the ass to have to switch. Enter the basement. No blade. Leaving it behind didn't work out so well for us last time. That's fine. It'll always be here if we need it. Sure, that was also true last time and we still died, but we definitely know what we're doing this time. door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase dug into the muddy earth below. The ceiling is thick with roots that hang like locks of tangled hair. The weak starlight from the cabin windows behind you can barely penetrate the gloom here, only illuminating the edges of an opening below. It shines in the darkness like some kind of massive maw waiting to swallow you up into the earth. The air smells of dirt and copper. It's thick and wet, as if your lungs are being coated in mud with each intake of breath. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. Her voice skitters up from below. Something nasty finds itself on those stairs. Coming down, don't be scared. I probably won't bite. You probably will. I'm not nasty. But you are. You're a wretched little thing. Well, okay, I may not have showered in two days, but like, still. I recognize that voice as easily as I recognized your nervous little footsteps coming up the path. I know who you are, and I remember what you've done. See? She knows us. Is this enough for you to believe what we've been saying? Maybe, but you shouldn't let that cloud your judgment. She's just a princess. As long as you remember that and remain focused, slaying her will be easy. She seems friendly enough. Maybe we can talk our way out of this whole situation. You can't. <laughs> Unless you slay her right away, she's going to break free and end the world. 
There's no reasoning with what she is. Look, I'm just throwing ideas out there. I like to think outside. I'm the kind of guy who likes a discussion. Don't we want to hear what everyone has to say before making any big decisions? Do you want to hear what everyone has to say? Or do you just want to hear yourself talk? You need to stop lingering. Your task is to slay the princess, not endlessly debate about what to do with the princess. Fine, fine. You're the boss. Thank you. You descend the basement steps, entering the dark room below. You can just make out the shape of the princess in the gloom. She's huddled against the far wall, her eyes bright and glaring from amid the thick roots. And there you are, once again seeming to offer a helping hand while likely hiding the other behind your back. Fine, I'll play along for now. What do you want? Oh god, yeah. This is like the betrayal uh, ending. She's acting like she already knows you. I guess what you said back in the woods really was true. That's pretty sharp. How do you figure that one out? <laughs> Call it deductive reasoning. Well, you seem to be great at it. So, you really don't remember us, do you? No, I don't. But you and the princess clearly have a shared reality, even if I'm not a part of it. I won't waste time fighting you on something that's clearly true. You fought us on it back in the woods. That was when the only perspectives we had were yours and mine. I'm just glad we could put all this behind us. Is it all behind us? Just focus on the task at hand. I don't care if you've been here before, and I don't care if you think you'll go somewhere else after this. My world is on the line right now, so I'd appreciate it if you would take this seriously and slay her. Let's chatter up a bit, but oh, I'll slay her, all right? Find a middle ground where everyone just give us a bed. Don't talk to her. You're just going to make things more difficult than they have to be. Well. Remember you having a tongue. You remember wrong. Uh, okay. I'm sorry about last time. Smart. Let's apologize. Get us back on the right foot. Oh, you're sorry. Isn't that nice? You're such a gracious little monster. Well, if you're sorry, then let me out of here. Prove it. I get the sense you're not happy with me. Is that a joke? <laughs> you think a joke will charm my trust back? You'll have to try harder than that. You may be right. I didn't do shit to you last time. You're the one who locked me away until I died. That is an exceptionally good point. And you were the conniving beasts that left in search of steel to slay me. Just because I won and you lost doesn't mean I'm to blame for bad blood. Okay, fine. You, you... Also a good point. Yeah. She can't even hear you. Why are you trying to brown nose her? <laughs> I'm not brown nosing anyone. I'm just taking a fair and balanced approach and hearing out everything that everyone has to say. If she's in the wrong, then you don't have anything to worry about. Hey, you're not but wrong. I must confess, this place never let me out into the world. While you were gasping your lasts down below, I was trying to claw and bash and break my way out. But I never did manage to be free. Until finally, I found myself here again, and you were gone. It seems that you get to come and go as you please. So you may be a bigger part of the answer to this riddle than I'd like you to be. Maybe bygones can be bygones. But you'll have to let me out first. I didn't bring my blade down, remember? How am I supposed to get you out of those chains? Oh, I don't need you to cut me off. The princess grins as the chains fall from her wrist. Oh, well, that's... She could have gotten out of those the whole time. That sneaky little... A woman after my own heart, really. <laughs> she knows how to hold her cards close to her chest. <laughs> this is why she can't just be abandoned here. If left to her own devices, she'll find a way out. Now stop her. I can't. I have no knife. Why do I get the nagging feeling you're going to stab me in the back if I help you out of here? And why would I do such a thing? If 
his guilty conscience getting to them. But I wouldn't worry. As much as I may hate you, letting you live is in my best interest. If you get me out of here, the only thing that will be dead and buried is the bad blood between us. You have a point. Oh, that nagging feeling you mentioned is me, by the way. I'm actually a little anxious about a potential backstabbing event. She needs us to get out of here. We'll be fine if that's what we decide to do. We won't be fine. Its destruction is in her nature. If she gets out of here, that's it for the world, remember? Even if that's true, that doesn't automatically mean she's going to stab us in the back. I think that depends on your definition of words like stab and in the back. <laughs> She might not literally do that, but she could very well symbolically do the same thing. See? He gets it. There's nothing wrong with looking out for number one. Uh, okay, let's leave. I don't trust you, not enough to free you, and definitely not enough to get close to you. I'm leaving, bye. Um, I mean, she's out of her shackles, so that's a completely pointless thing, so let's do it anyway. Between your legs and scamper away. You might be able to escape me, but you can't escape from what you are and what you've done. If I don't take you, it's the wilds will. You turn to leave, but as you do, there's a deep, guttural groan seemingly uttered by the walls themselves, followed by the creak of wood being stretched beyond its limits. The cabin starts to get smaller. What the hell is going on? We're getting out of here and saving our skins. That's what's going on. As the roots that make up the walls of the cramped basement attempt to close in around you, instinct kicks in and you bolt upstairs. The steps are uneven and lively, creaking as they expand out of the dirt floor, the stairway growing smaller and smaller as you dart up towards the light. You manage to squeeze through the door just as the entrance seals itself shut behind you. The cabin is smaller than it was before, and it's getting even smaller and smaller. But fine, we'll just leave. I'm sure you'd like to do that. But unfortunately, there is no longer a front door. The roots have already closed over the only possible exit. What little light peeks through the holes that were once windows is growing weaker as the cabin continues to close in on itself. Shit. What do we do? As your mind races for an answer, you hear the princess's voice crackle up the stairs. You hear that, you loathsome thing? Those are the roots of the wild, and they're coming to kiss the breath from your lungs and squeeze the life out of you. What about you? They'll crush you just as easily as they'll crush you just as easily as they'll crush me. Make them stop. You can make them stop, right? We're not animals or people. We can. Work things down, make things better. I take it all back and can help you get out of here. And we can work together, we can be friends, okay. Um fine. Mm. Um while you die i'll gladly suffer with you especially if i get to hear it happen this doesn't help anyone i can't believe she'd kill us both just to spite me <laughs> see this is exactly why you were tasked to slay her and why you shouldn't have left her in the basement she's an antisocial monster who'll gladly burn the whole world for her satisfaction the roots grow ever closer we know we can see them <laughs> Make them stop, you can make them stop, right? I could, but as I already made it so, so clear, I don't want to. You feel something against your back, a thick root pushing its way into the cabin, an unstoppable, unyielding wall of bark. You're running out of time. Shit. What do we do? What do we do? Uh, 
Uh, come on, they're pressing in on me. They're probably pressing in on you too. I'm only assuming that because I can't see you, but sure sounds like they are. Sure. Oh, what's the matter? You're scared of thorny roots digging into your neck? Are you scared of suffocating in this dark, dark place alone? Good. That one made me feel bad inside. I don't want people to think we're scared. <laughs> Nobody likes someone who's scared of things. You're right. I, for one, think this is a perfectly reasonable situation to feel scared in. This place is getting awful tight. You slump to the floor as the roots continue to expand into the cabin. Ugh, we're never going to make something of ourselves with that attitude. <laughs> At least she isn't going to make something of herself either. At first, it's almost gentle. Your body being lifted delicately off the ground as the floor shifts beneath you. But the cradle of the growing roots starts to feel suffocating, then unbearably tight. Then that tightness gives way to bulging pressure as they begin to constrict. The sound of creaking wood is drowned out by the snaps and pops of your bones, pain flooding your senses as you feel your skin deform, being shaped unnaturally by the living cabin. The suffering is what you deserve, you hideous creature. Know as you die that you are hated. I hate you, and I'm glad to die horribly if it means you die with me. I wouldn't have it any other way. The pressure is unfathomable. You can't breathe, your vision swimming with red, your head pounding with trapped blood. And then, you pop. Everything goes dark. And you die. Chapter 3, The Wild. Wild. Oh. Um. Yeah. Wait, actually, no, no, no. Uh, load. I want to... Um... This. Okay, let's leave. Yes. Alas. She creeps forward, taking one cautious step at a time until you and she are face to face. She never breaks eye contact, even as the two of you find yourselves face to face. She's silent for a long moment as if testing to see what you'll do now that she's within arm's reach. After you, darling. You're the one it lets come and go. It's best if I follow. Oh, no. We can't have that. If anyone is going to turn their back on anyone else, she's going to turn her back on us. It shouldn't matter who leads and who follows. We're working together here. Well, if it doesn't matter, then she can go first. May be in this together. That doesn't mean we have to trust her. Somebody has to go first, and it might as well be us. We're the ones who broke her trust last time. We're talking a lot about trusting someone who, by her very definition, cannot be trusted. I don't know how many more warnings I have to dole out, but if you help her out of here, you're going to regret it. No, I'm not. Um, you first. And turn my back on you. Make me a fool. Your tricks are one of the only things I've known, and I've learned better by now. Hmm. Yeah, fair point. Just go first. Yeah. You're the one who said you can't leave me. Uh, you can't leave here without me, which means I hold all the cards. Either you go first, or we stay here. Up to you. Well, no, that's not. Uh, that's it anyway. The princess leans close, her nose twitching as she sniffs your neck. Inquisitorially. What is she doing? I think she's trying to figure out if we're lying. So it's a good thing we didn't lie. Your stink is the stink of a wretch, but not of a liar. If I have to go first, I'll go first. But I'll have you know my ears are sharp, and I've got eyes on the back of my head. They'll be watching. Why is she blushing when saying that? Eyes on the back of her head? Is she really? No, we're fine. The princess pointedly turns her back on you and starts up the stairs. 
step onto the stairs. We don't have the knife. Close behind her, the two of you walking on tiptoes through the knotted roots of the basement stairs. We're almost there. You better not try anything. I know you're thinking it. I don't have a knife. No, never. Just keep your eyes peeled when you get out of the basement. You can catch me again. I call you know it when you see it. Shit, what did they say? Never Voice of the Hero, I don't follow. Oh you'll know when you see it. Alright. The princess reaches the top of the stairs and crosses over the threshold, turning back to smile at you. But something catches her eye. Oh no. Oh no? It's the blade, isn't it? I was going to tell you to grab it once we got upstairs. That was the whole keep your eyes peeled thing, and then you would have stabbed her in the back and we would have been winners. I wonder if perhaps you were planning to bury this in my back. What an awful little scheme that would be. Too bad I got here first, and I don't even need it. Bye bye, you loathsome little nuisance. And she slams the door on you. Its lock swiftly clicks into place. The frog. It was in her nature. <laughs> no, not again. Locked in the basement. I thought for sure she was just going to stab us. The princess cackles from the other side of the door. <laughs> I can't believe you let me do that to you again. Um, I thought you needed me to get out. I do, but I just couldn't help myself. And we both know that you're already scheming about how to get back at me if I ever open this door. So we're going to stay exactly as we are right here. Now, for as long as either of us live. Force the door. Throw yourself against the door. It won't budge. Okay, Fang, I'm gonna be very funny to me out. Um. Okay, Fang, I'm gonna be very funny to let me out. You're going to sit down there forever, languishing. Please just let me out. I promise I won't be mad. As if I could ever trust you after everything you've done to me. And after what I've done to you, you can't trust me either. Neither of us is ever getting out of here. It's in our nature to be trapped. I guess so. Okay, what happens now? I'm stuck here. Voice of the hero. Why isn't he saying anything? I think he's gone. I didn't think I'd ever have to see you face to face again. Otherwise, I might have given you a little more courtesy at the top of the stairs. No hard feelings, I'm sure. Why is everything going away? I feel cold. But you don't get a chance to respond, nor will you ever. It's time to leave. Memory returns. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? Or was that mirror again? Why is it here? Why now? Approach the mirror. You approach the mirror. Gaze into your reflection. Find yourself in the long quiet once again. Proceed to the cabin. You are at the cabin. There's a world beyond the endless bars of the long quiet. I am curious to see what it means for us to know. You have thoughts on this vessel? This one is hope marred by bitterness. 
she could see the end of the tunnel, and the door was closed on her. She will make for a righteous and rebel fight. Do not mourn her. She is finally on the other side. I'm ready to go back. The next time I see you, each of us will finally know what we are. Yes. I will be here, waiting for you. Everything goes dark and you die. Alright. Un untrusting vessel. Bring the witch, is what it said? I can't remember. Um. Also, wait, 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 load. Okay, um... Let's go back here. Take the blade. If you take the blade from the shelf, it would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Well, if we're grabbing a weapon, we should probably keep it hidden behind our backs. She doesn't have to know we have it. That's fair, actually. That's not actually a bad idea. Enter the basement. door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase dug into the muddy earth below. The, s the weak starlight from the keep of vo Something nasty finds itself. Hello. I recognize that voice as easily as I recognized your nervous little footsteps coming up the path. I know who you are, and I remember what you've done. See? She knows us. Is this enough for you to believe what we've been saying? Maybe, but you shouldn't let that cloud your judgment. She's just a princess. As long as you remember that and remain focused, slaying her will be easy. She seems friendly enough. Maybe we can talk our way out of this whole situation. You can't. Unless you slay her right away, she's going to break free and end the world. There's no reasoning with what she is. Look, I'm just throwing ideas out there. I like to think out. I'm the kind of guy who likes a discussion. Don't we want to hear what everyone has to say before making any big decisions? Do you want to hear what everyone has to say? Or do you just want to hear yourself talk? to stop lingering. Your task is to slay the princess, not endlessly debate about what to do with the princess. Fine, fine. You're the boss. Thank you. You descend the basement steps, entering the dark room below. You can just make out the shape of the princess in the gloom. She's huddled against the far wall, her eyes bright and glaring from amid the thick roots. And there you are, one hand tucked away behind your back, gripping that sharp, sharp blade, no doubt. That's not fair. How would she know that? <laughs> so, we've dropped the pretenses. Good. She's acting like she already knows you. I guess what you said back in the woods really was true. That's pretty sharp. How'd you figure that one out? Call it deductive reasoning. Well, you seem to be great at it. So, you really don't remember us, do you? No, I don't. But you and the princess clearly have a shared reality, even if I'm not a part of it. I won't waste time fighting you on something that's clearly true. You fought us on it back in the woods. That was when the only perspectives we had were yours and mine. I'm just glad we could put all this behind us. Is it all behind us? Just focus on the task at hand. I don't care if you've been here before, and I don't care if you think you'll go somewhere else after this. My world is on the line right now, so I'd appreciate it if you would take this seriously and slay her. Let's chat her up a bit first. Maybe we can find a middle ground where everyone's happy. Don't 
talk to her, you're just going to make things more difficult than they have to be. Well, I seem to remember you having a tongue. Um, looks like I made a mistake. We don't make mistakes, right? I'm sure you've made mistakes. Uh, don't worry, the blade isn't for you, or not for killing you. We've got to get you out somehow, right? Uh. Ooh, smart. Let's apologize. Get us back on the right foot. The only mistake I ever made was thinking you would help me. And I'm not going to make the same mistake twice. Well, that leaves us at a stalemate. Yeah. But unfortunately... <sighs> I need you if I'm ever going to leave this place. Um. Can't you get out of those on your own? Those chains didn't stop you last time. Oh, of course. They're nothing to me. The princess grins as the chains fall from her wrist. She could have gotten out of those the whole time. That sneaky little... A woman after my own heart, really. She knows how to hold her cards close to her chest. This is why she can't just be abandoned here. If left to her own devices, she'll find a way out. Now stop her. Hmm. Okay, let me... Do something real quick. I'd like to be straightforward with my intentions. I didn't care for how you treated me last time, and I think you might be a danger to the world, so I'm going to attack you now. Do you think that being direct with your ill will frees you from its wickedness? Murder and betrayal are still murder and betrayal, whether you state your intentions or keep them hidden behind your back. See? This is why we never tell people what we're actually thinking. She's just as mad, only now she's ready for us. Still, better a violent fool than a plotting coward. Better for me, I mean. As you close the distance, readying your strike, she throws a fistful of dirt into your eyes. You must have known I would be ready for you. Deep in your heart, you know the same things about me I know about you. We're both so very awful. As you brush the silt from your eyes, the princess tackles you, flattening you against the dirt floor. We were always going to kill each other here, weren't we? I can't trust you, and you can't trust me, and those doubts spin and spin and spin into hate. She buries her teeth deep into your chest, tearing at... Oi, she's distracted. Stab her in the back. In for a penny, right? Why not? <laughs> As the princess rips meat from bone, you plunge your weapon into her unprotected back. Ha, you bastard! If even face to face you find a way to stab me in the back, I know you and you're hideous. Absolutely wretched. Just like me. Maybe we are the same. So what? Throw her off us. Kick her in the shins. <laughs> we don't have to fight so dirty. Of course we do. Fighting clean won't help us win. Takes a wretch to know a wretch, and we're all at the bottom of the barrel here. There's no point in pretending otherwise. <laughs> I love this. Okay, I thought I was muted for a second. I was about to throw something. Are we at the bottom of the barrel? We've got dirt in our eyes, and a chunk of us chewed out. If that's not the bottom of the barrel, what is? No arguments here. You're doing great. Keep playing dirty if that's what you take. <laughs> but if we win, we won't be bottom anymore we'll have climbed a little higher and once we start climbing well who knows where we'll stop you'll stop right here if you keep daydreaming don't let yourself get distracted thinking about what comes after none of us ever said we stopped fighting what a low and vicious fight it is eyes gouged skin scratched bloody hair ripped and nails broken every rule there ever was in the book of honorable combat both you and the princess have broken a dozen times over. That's nice and all, but are we winning? Are we winning, son? Nobody's winning. I 
thought playing dirty was supposed to give you the upper hand, but I suppose that doesn't work if you both sink to the same lows. Still, at least you're not losing. The princess cackles maniacally as the clatter <laughs> continues. But behind her cackle, you hear the low groan of walking wood. Wait, what's going on? We're establishing a newer, better pecking order. No, the groaning thing. Why is the wood making noise? Who cares about the groan? It's just a sound. Things make sounds all the time. I care about the groan. Doesn't that mean something bad is happening? Oh, yes, well, I'm afraid that's the sound of the basement getting smaller. <laughs> you hear that, you pathetic wretch? Those are the roots of the wild, and they're coming to choke the breath from your lungs and squeeze the life out of you. Excuse me, what? You and the princess disengage for a brief moment, just long enough to get your bearings. Behind you, the basement door has been sealed over, thick roots barring your only exit from the dirt pit. And slowly, but very perceptibly, the roots are closing in on you both. That's right. They're coming for you. And they won't stop until there's nothing left down here but them. Um, we're not animals, we're people, we can work things out and make things better. But we are animals, we are. You're nothing but fear and instinct, and that's all I am, too. We don't have to make things better. We can't make things better. Yeah, yeah, you're right. We're just meant to chase each other in the dark until one of us touches the other, and then we'll do it again and again and again. You know, I don't think she's actually a go-getter at all. I think we may have misread the situation. A little bit. I think you misread the situation. <laughs> Everyone makes mistakes. <laughs> what you think is that we can move on from them together with no hard feelings. Just focus up. You aren't dead yet. You can figure this out. The roots grow ever closer. We know. We can see them. <laughs> um. Uh, go out fighting. You attack the princess once more, and once more the two of you fall into a vicious brawl. The basement continues to shrink as you fight, but neither of you pay it any more mind. Not until it's too late. The roots twist around you both binding your limbs and rendering you helpless. As your fates close in, all you can do is watch her, and all she can do is watch you. I've seen enough hentai to know this going. Gentle. The two of you lifted delicately off the ground, but the cradle of the growing roots soon gives way to tightness, and that tightness gives way to bulging pressure as they begin to constrict. Creaking wood is drowned out by the snaps and pops of your bones. Pain flooding your senses as you feel your skin deform, being shaped unnaturally by the living basement. Tears well up in the princess's eyes, her own bones splintering and flesh swelling with trapped blood. But still, she smiles through it all. I can't wait to do this again, you wretched little thing. I hate you. But I wouldn't have it any other way. The pressure is unbearable. God damn. You can't breathe. Your vision swimming with red. Your head pounding as everything tightens. And then... You pop. Everything goes dark. And you die. Um... Hold on. One, two. Not that. Um, I Don't have 
anything. Okay. Uh, think here. Leave the princess. Yes. All right. She creeps forward, taking one cautious step at a time until you and she are face to face. She never breaks eye contact, even as the two of you find yourselves face to face. She's silent for a long moment, as if testing to see what you'll do now that she's within arm's reach. After you, darling. You're the one it lets come and go. It's best if I follow. Oh, no. We can't have that. If anyone is going to turn their back on anyone else, she's going to turn her back on us. It shouldn't matter who leads and who follows. We're working together here. Well, if it doesn't matter, then she can go first. We may be in this together, but that doesn't mean we have to trust her. Somebody has to go first, and it might as well be us. We're the ones who broke her trust last time. We're talking a lot about trusting someone who, by her very definition, cannot be trusted. I don't know how many more warnings I have to dole out. If you help her out of here, you're going to regret it. Step onto the stairs. That's right, you're the one who's going first. Don't worry, I'll be right behind you watching every single thing you do. That's exactly what I'm worried about. You step onto the stairs and begin your ascent from the basement. The princess follows close on your heels, but perhaps even a little closer than you'd like. You're only saying that because you want us to feel nervous. I do want those things, but I want them for a good reason. I don't need you to trust me for my sake, because I already know that I'm right. This is for you. Can we walk backwards up the stairs? I think that's the smarter idea. She can't sneak in an attack if we're facing her. No. The stairs are a bunch of overgrown roots. You'll trip and hurt yourself. But... The princess is silent as you both continue the climb, and, in no time at all, the upstairs of the cabin is within reach. Isn't that a relief? We're fine. Nothing happened. No. Nope. You're not even going to wait until you're through that door to proudly claim your victory, are you? Why did you just say that? I think we know why. You feel something dig into your shoulder, sharp and piercing. The princess clawing at you and pulling you down with her full weight. Yeah, that was expected. You tumble back down the uneven stairs, your body and hers crashing against the unyielding wooden roots. Until finally, you both separate with a bone-shaking thud against the basement floor. You feel something pop. The princess lands against the far wall, gasping as she struggles to recover from the impact. You're still in shock, trying to get a hold of yourself. She grins as you continue to remain exactly where you are, cackling derisively <laughs> as she watches you realize that you won't be getting up. Wait, why won't we be getting up? I'm afraid your back is broken. One unlucky fall is all it takes, really, and you had several. You know what? I'll say it. That sucks. I don't like having a broken back. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. I'm going to help her. Why? Why did she do that? It's what I would have done. <laughs> have you considered not being in back? Of course not what keeps us alive and yet here we are paralyzed and stuck with someone who hates us in the basement of a remote cabin you must have known this was coming the arrogance of turning your back to me after everything you've done Can't get back up, you broke my back. What the hell was that for? I was trying to help you out of here. We're never going to get up those stairs, were we? Could have gotten out of here if we just trust each other. I was trying to help you out of here. Maybe you were, and maybe you weren't. But even more than I wanted my freedom, I really, really wanted to hurt you. Fair. I would do the same. And do you know a 
as well as I that by our very nature, only one of us could make it up those stairs unscathed. Someone had to make the first move. Better me than you. See, this is why I wanted her to go first. I had this whole little scheme planned, where once she passed by the table upstairs, I'd have said, now pick up the blade and stab her in the back. And then you'd say something like, wow, that's an amazing idea that I never saw coming. Thanks for looking out for us. And then you would have done it and we wouldn't be stuck down here with a broken back. Just one problem. And what's that? She was clearly planning to betray us. And if she was in front of us, she would have gotten to the blade first. Yep. Ugh, you're right, aren't you? Well, I thought this whole thing was ironclad, but really it was doomed from the start, wasn't it? The princess's body twitches as she tries to get up. Ho ho ho! She's just as bad as us. Something inside me is broken. Isn't that a cruel twist of the knife? Isn't that so... so funny? Die. She eyes you with intensity, silence falling between you for a long moment as her gaze travels up and down your battered form. Seems I'm not the only one, though. Wait, are we both just... stuck here? Certainly seems that way. What a way to go. Look on the bright side. In all this chaos, you may have actually managed to deliver a lethal wound. The world could be saved after all. We're going to die together. Isn't that a lovely treat? I wonder how long it'll take. Maybe I'll get to watch the worm flip your bones soon. Is that really what's going to happen? Hello? Are you still there? What happens then? He doesn't respond. I think he's gone. Something strange is twisting this place out of shape. I wasn't feeling much of anything, but now I feel cold. You don't get the chance to respond, nor will you ever. It's time to leave. Memory returns. You approach the mirror, gaze into your reflection. The next time I see you, each of us will finally know what we are. I will be here, waiting for you. Okay, that one was the same one. Um, also, while I was looking stuff up, I found something to do with the adversary. Uh, so keep pushing, I think. Princess's grin widens as the two of you push against each other. Yes, you finally get it, don't you? And then, what are you talking about? Are you really going to make me explain it? Look at how evenly matched we are. Are we? Nothing exists outside of us. It's just you and me, dying and coming back, clashing against each other, forever. That's not what's going on. There's an entire world at stake here. Don't you all get it? The fate of the world doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is this fight. And look at us. We're both so much stronger than we were last time. Think about how much more we can become. Nothing is better than this. She's right. Imagine how much further we can push each other. Imagine how strong we can be. I warned you on the stairs, and I'll warn you again. Don't get caught up in emotion. Remember why you're here. Yeah, I hate using words. They're so clumsy. 
Your balance is suddenly thrown off as the princess pulls you into her knee. It collides with your ribs, and you feel them splinter, cracking like wet wood from the impact. We're fine! You barely have enough time to notice before the princess follows up and smashes her forehead against yours. Your grip loosens from the impact, the blade still wedged in her arm as you tumble to the cold stone floor. I said we're fine. I didn't say you weren't fine. I was just describing what happened. I might not have said as much, but you certainly implied it. It really doesn't matter. The princess glances down at the blade embedded in her arm, and with near total ignorance to pain, slides it out of its sinewy prison. You forgot this. Thank you, appreciate it. She tosses it at your feet. Um, I should jump in the gun a little here. We each died once. That doesn't mean we're immortal. How much more proof do you need? Would it help to watch me rise from the dead with your own two eyes? Fine, go ahead. Stab me in the heart. See what happens. The princess throws open her arms, exposing her chest. Is she really just going to let you slay her? Do it. Do it right now, before she changes her mind. Hold on. What if this is a trick? If she's leaving herself open like this, there's only one way we can strike at her. Well, we know she's three steps ahead of us. Three steps ahead of us? Have you met her? This isn't a trick. And how would you know that? Because I wouldn't think to trick us. So why would she? <laughs> That's a great point, so please stop hesitating and end this now. How do I know you're not tricking me? Say the princess. The princess remains unflinching as you run her down, her stoic expression once again curving into a knowing smile as the pristine blade buries deep into her heart. Did she really just let us do that i suppose so apparently yes see you soon that shouldn't have worked back into the wall take the, the bit blade still lodged firmly in her chest she collapses to the ground she's dead it's over it's finally over but but it can't be over she said she'd be back i know that the two of you have some sort of weird Bond, but look on the bright side. Now we don't have to die. Isn't that nice? No, it's not nice. I wanted to fight her forever. This, this is shit. It's not fair. <laughs> Life isn't fair, but what's done is done, and whether you like it or not, the entire world is in your debt for saving it from ruin. I'm sure in due time you'll learn to live with yourself. Let's just get out of here. Yes. That sounds like a splendid idea. Uh... Watch your body for a little while longer. Fine. You remain where you are and watch over the princess's corpse. She remains dead. I'm telling you, she's coming. She said she's coming back. She's not. She is. She's not coming back. She's dead. Your blade is embedded in her heart. You slew her. It's over. I don't know how many more times or how many different ways I need to express this objective reality before it finally makes its way through your dense skull. How many different ways have you got left to express it? Because it'll take a hell of a lot more to convince me that she's not coming back. Oh, I've got plenty. Can the two of you stop arguing? No! Oh, oh, of course. I'm not the only one who just saw her eyes open. Right? What are you talking about? The millionth time she's... <laughs> yes! I told you I'd be back. Liar. We're shit out of luck, aren't we? <laughs> I knew it! I told you all that we should believe in her. This is perfect. <laughs> and you waited for me. I knew I could count on you. I knew we were connected. The 
princess staggers to her feet, one hand wrapped around the hilt of the blade you buried in her heart. We don't even need to start over anymore, do we? Let's go again. Of course. She pulls the weapon from her chest, barely wincing. Okay, this is pretty much the same. Let me try and turn and leave. Thank you for listening to reason. For a second there, I was concerned you'd bought into that stubborn one's madness. Madness? I'm the only sane one here. I understand what we're supposed to be. The rest of you are in denial. You turn your back to the princess and make your way to the base of the stairs. It's time for you to move on to a new, safer chapter of your life. I'm telling you. She's coming back. She said she's coming back. She's not. She is. She's not coming. How many different ways have you got left to... Oh, I've got plenty. Can the two of you stop arguing? No! no. <laughs> yes, I told you I'd be back. What was that? You know what that was. <laughs> yes. That's the sound of the entire world being... Uh. Out of <laughs> are you walking away from me? You you didn't think this would work, did you? I can't believe you were just going to leave me here. You turn around and see the princess stumbling to her feet, one hand wrapped around the hilt of the blade you buried in her heart. You're not getting out of this that easy. The princess staggers to her feet, one hand wrapped around. We don't even need to start over anymore, do we? Okay. okay. Alright, let me load. This. No. No, this. Um. Let's leave. Very pragmatic. That is why you're in charge. Abandoning me, are you? Fine then. No. No, 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 no. I wanted to. Okay, let's leave. There we go. Yes. All right. She creeps forward, taking one cautious step at a time until you and she are face to face. She never breaks eye contact, even as the two of you find yourselves face to face. She's silent for a long moment, as if testing to see what you'll do now that she's within arm's reach. After you, darling. You're the one it lets come and go. It's best if I follow. No. Oh, no. We can't have that. If anyone is going to turn their back on anyone else, she's going to turn her back on us. It shouldn't matter who leads and who follows. We're working together here. No, we're not. Oh, shit. Well, if it doesn't matter, then she can go first. We may be in this together, but that doesn't mean we have to trust her. We're armed and she's not. What's she gonna do? Bite us when we're not looking? Yes. We're talking a lot about trusting someone who, by her very definition, cannot be trusted. I don't know how many more warnings I have to dole out. If you help her out of here, you're going to regret it. Um. Don't think I need this anymore. Uh, I keep pressing something um clearly there's some broken trust here what if i gave you this you you can't be serious no, now hold on we should put this to a vote the blade is one of our most valuable assets we can't just give it to her what if she uses it to kill us i vote no but as do i i uh abstain you Abstain. She's going to kill us if we give it to her. Uh, this isn't a democracy. We're giving her the blade. Haha, uh -huh. yeah, never mind. That was such a silly idea. I'm not going to give her the blade. She clearly hates us. Uh, I'm curious to see. You're going to get everyone killed. You know that, right? Yeah, that's fine. But of course. Uh. You hand the blade to the princess quickly snatches it from you, her eyes darting between you and the weapon with a nervous curiosity. I wouldn't have done that. Why did you? 
don't know. Got curious. That's up to you. That's why I gave you the blade. Uh, I chose last time and regret it. So now it's your time to choose. We're both scared and if we're both hurting. We're both scared and we're both hurting. If one of us doesn't make a change, we'll probably kill each other forever. Uh, do you want that? I don't. We can be better than this. You're beautiful. I want to actually save you. And this feels like the only way to do it. I feel like someone I know, you're probably going to kill me. <laughs> Let's say that's up to you. Her shoulders tense and her eyes dart away. This is another trick. You're trying to sow doubt, but it's not going to work on me. And then she buries the blade in your heart. What? No. No, come on, that's not right. <laughs> This is what she was going to do. Glee dances across her face as you fall to the ground. <laughs> I did it. I got you. You don't feel... The princess seems to tremble, her smile fading quickly, replaced with concern, her nervous eyes brimming with tears. Why? Why did you let me do this? But you don't have the strength to respond. Nor do you have the time. Everything goes dark and you die. The thorn. Okay, this is different. This is new. God, there's so many fucking alternative. Okay. You first. I'd turn my back on you. You'd make me a fool. Your tricks are one of the only things I've known, and I've learned better by now. Just go first. Uh. The princess leans close, her nose twitching as she sniffs your neck inquisitorially. What is she doing? I think she's trying to figure out if we're lying, so it's a good thing we didn't lie. Your stink is the stink of a wretch, but not of a liar. If I have to go first, I'll go first. But I'll have you know my ears are sharp, and I've got eyes on the back of my head. They'll be watching. Mm -hmm. Eyes on the back of her head? Is she really? No, we're fine. The princess pointedly turns her back on you and starts up the stairs. Follow close behind her, the two of you walking on tiptoes through the knotted roots of the basement stairs. It's time, boys. Stab her in the back. Do it. Do it now. <laughs> Wait, I thought we were helping her escape. Of course we're not. You didn't buy all that noise I was putting down, did you? <laughs> Waiting for a moment for us to strike. She has it in for us, you know. Okay. Uh, oh, there's a lot more options. I'm not stabbing her in the back. So I'm not stabbing her in the back and I make the choices here. Wow, that's an amazing idea. I totally never saw coming. Thanks. Thanks for looking out for us. I'm not going to praise you, but I... I'm going to stab her in the back. Oh, fine. Stab her in the back. Wow. You said exactly the thing I imagined you would say as soon as you heard my brilliant plan. This whole day is a dream come true, really. <laughs> you plunge the blade deep into the princess's back, driving her to her knees amid the roots. Would you look at that? No need to thank me. But, you know, please, do thank me. Of course you'd betray me the moment I turned my back on you. Don't think you're leaving here alive, wretch. She shoves you in return, sharply clamping around your ankle as the two of you tumble down the uneven stairs in a hastening flurry of violence and loathing. You separate with a bone-shaking thud as you hit the basement floor. You feel something pop. The princess lands against the far wall, gasping as she struggles to recover from the impact. You're still in shock, trying to get a hold of yourself. 
She grins as you continue to remain exactly where you are, cackling derisively as she watches you realize that you won't be getting up. Wait, why won't we be getting up? I'm afraid your back is broken. Okay. Now, uh, want to load, and I'm not stopping her in the back. Don't make the first move now. She's going to find a way to make the first move herself. That's fine. Why would she do that? She wants to leave, which means we need to work together. And she knows that. She wouldn't just act against her best interests. I don't know. If I were her, I'd betray us. <laughs> Look at me right now, suggesting betrayal. You really need to learn to put yourself in someone else's <laughs> shoes. <laughs> I'm with that little weasel. You have an opportunity to save the world. Fuck the world. So I'm not sending her in the back. Now make the choice here. That's a great idea. See, this is why you're in charge and I'm not. You think things through. You stick to your guns. It shows real leadership, and more people should be like you. We're almost there. You better not try anything. I know you're thinking it. Us? No, never. <laughs> I can't believe she'd even suggest that. Of course. Princess reaches the top of the stairs and crosses over the threshold, turning back to smile at you. Bye bye, you loathsome little nuisance. And she slams the door on you. Its lock swiftly clicks into place. No, not again. Maybe not stabbing her in the back wasn't such a great idea. Yeah. The princess cackles from the other side of the door. I can't believe you let me do that to you again. Again? Hmm. All okay. right. Um. Okay, I think I can try a different one now. So let's try the thorn. She stabbed us. She actually stabbed us. Of course she stabbed us. We gave her the blade, which I might add, I voted against. <laughs> The whole point was that she wasn't supposed to do that. The whole point of giving her the blade was to break the cycle of violence, and she just, she just killed us anyway. I guess it really doesn't matter if she killed us, though, right? We're back here, which means that everything's fine, or fine adjacent. Maybe she won't be as keen to betray us this time. We've already proven to her that we can change. Maybe that's all it'll take to show her that there's another way to do things. You know... Maybe you're right. In which case, I suppose the only thing to do is to get back to the cabin and give it another try. Give what another try, exactly? You are aware I've been listening to you, right? Like that changes anything. We all know the game is rigged. It doesn't even matter if she's nice this time. I'm sure he'll find a way to turn us against each other. Great. So you've obviously been here before, since you apparently died at least once. Twice, actually. <laughs> Sure. Twice. Then I'll spare you the little introduction I had planned. You already know about the princess, and clearly you already know that she's dangerous. So don't muck this up. It's bad enough that this isn't your first time through. This place is different. It keeps changing. Wonderful. The woods themselves are changing, and that's all the more reason for you to take this seriously. It would mean your grip on things is slipping, which, in turn, likely means her influence is spreading. Someone's in the mood. I've had enough of these annoying little secrets. If you want us to do this, you have to let us in on your game already. All of your game. I've already said too much. The more information you have, the more difficult your task will be. Don't listen to her, definitely don't free her, and if you can, don't even think about her. We're going to free her. Please don't. I'm with him. If our previous encounters have taught us anything, it's that freeing her is a bad idea. Let's just see how the wind blows. I'm not opposed to saving her, but let's not rule anything out just yet. Let's see what she has to say. It's fine, we got save files. Stop sitting on the fence and pick a side already. We don't need you waffling when things get hairy. I've already picked a side. 
our side. I'm here to make sure that whatever happens, we wind up on top. Because that's worked out great so far. Well, we're not out of the game yet, are we? And again, I'll have you know, I wouldn't have gotten us killed last time. I wanted to stab her in the back, not hand over our precious backstabbing equipment. Screw the cabin, what happens if we just leave? She gets out is what happens. Maybe not right away, but eventually. And a world that's doomed tomorrow is just as bad as a world that's doomed today. I'm not sure I buy that. Everything has to end eventually. If it takes years to get out of there and supposedly end the world, then we've bought everyone that time, and all without having to murder anybody in the process. Not that she's innocent, but murder is unpleasant and risky. It could be a better solution for everyone. You're here to permanently end the threat she poses. You're not here to temporarily postpone it. Um, you sure seem to be taking the whole looping thing in stride. What do you want me to say? It's bad that you've been here before. It's bad for you, it's bad for me, and it's especially bad for the world. The more times you run through this, the more likely it is that you'll fail. You've already failed twice. So you knew this could happen? Theoretically, sure, I knew this could happen, but I was supposed to be the first. I'd really rather not get into it. Ray! Not even he really seems to get what's going on. If the guy who goes around acting like he knows all the rules doesn't even know how this works, what's the point in listening? Then we can all move on. And forget what I said about failure. It's important that you believe in yourself, and the fact you're here probably means that you still have a chance to pull this off and save the world. My world, at least. Sounds like you've probably doomed a couple of others already. I need to stop talking. Think happy thoughts. Um, alright, proceed. It isn't long before you find yourself at the base of the cabin. I think it's clear where everyone stands at this point. I don't know if I'd say everyone. Are you talking about me? I have a position. It's a good one, too. Ignore him. He's just talking for talking's sake. My position is the only one that matters. You know what you have to do. Into the cabin. The interior of the cabin is hardly an interior at all anymore. The burned-out ruins merely suggest the shape of the structure that once stood here. Charred wood still reeking of ash. There's no knife. But beneath it lies the fresh smell of spring growth after rain. The promise of new life in the wreckage of the old. The only furniture of note is the crisp shell of what was once a table. A pristine... Wait, this isn't right. This is supposed to be a pristine blade. Why isn't there a pristine blade? We... We gave it to her last time. She can't still have it. Can she? Well, it's not here. And if she has it, let me guess. You want to get all chummy with her. Look, as far as I see it, if it's between him and her, I say we side with the one who has the weapon. It's just the smart <laughs> thing to do. I wouldn't be so hasty. I'm sure the blade will turn up somewhere. She can't have it. That's not how this is supposed to work. Of course we don't get to make a choice about the blade. Every single time we come back here, something has to be different. How do we even get down there? The only thing I see is a mirror. You're right, the mirror is back. There isn't anywhere for us to go. There isn't a mirror. I still don't get his angle here. Seems like whatever we do, he's always going to say it isn't there. He's either a liar, or he doesn't hold all the cards. I think we already knew it had to be one of those. So, is the door to the basement behind the mirror? I promise you there isn't a mirror, and there isn't a door to the basement. The entrance is more of a burned-out frame than anything else, and it's right there on the far side of the room. Can you really not see it? Approach the mirror. You step forward and approach the scorched entryway leading to the basement, hesitating before you begin the descent. 
went away when we touched it last time. Not that this place always follows the same rules. Wipe the mirror clean. Reach forward and wave your hand for your hollow entrance leading to the basement. You really thought there was a mirror there, didn't you? That can't be good. As if things weren't unpredictable enough. Figures. Well, seems like the only way to go is forward, isn't it? Yes, that's where everything tends to be. Let's just put on a good face and have our wits about us. Enter the basement. You step through the frame of scorched wood and make your way into the darkness below. The stairs to the basement are covered in a fine layer of gritty ash. The air still feels warm, as if the fires that ruined this place had only recently been extinguished. Yet fresh shoots of thorny branches are already weaving themselves through the soot-covered earth of the walls around you. Their spines point courteously down towards the basement, so you're able to brush past their jagged points with ease. At least on the way down. But you don't need to think about the way back up just yet. That's a matter for after the world's been saved. I'd say this feels like a trap, but you practically said as much. Yet you still want us to keep going. They're only thorns. I'd say getting a few scratches in exchange for the lives of everyone in existence is a fair trade. I'm sure you'll manage. Her voice, worn down by pain and suspicion, hobbles up the stairs. I can't get away from you, can I? I walk you away and you come back. You let me kill you and you come back. I don't know why you let me do that. I don't know what you want from me. Um, I want to figure out a way out of here for good. I don't know what I want. I never really choose to come here. I want to free you, I mean it. I just want to talk, really talk. Um, just want to talk, really talk. You know how this goes. I'm down here and I can't leave. So, come down and talk. It's not like I can stop you. Proceed down the stairs. You continue down the basement stairs, brushing past the smooth edges of thorns that grow more and more plentiful as you make your way forward. You step out into what was once a vast open cavern, now overrun by briars and prickles and thistles, the space thick with hostile vegetation. At the heart of it all, encased in a tight weave of vines, is the princess. Her bloody, trembling hands clutching a pristine blade. Did you know this was going to happen to me? Are you here to watch me suffer? Are you here to laugh? Um... Yeah, I'm here to laugh. What did you think would happen after you killed me? Did you think I wouldn't hold it against you? I'm not here to laugh. I'm here to free you. If you'll let me. and cut you free, but you'll have to give me the... Blade. Reach for the blade. You're in a prison of your own making. I broke our cycle of violence. You still want to wallow in it? Be my guest. I guess I don't have anything left to say to you. Fine, if you're going to be like that, I'm going to leave. Have a nice life. Uh, alright, save. Let's just turn and leave for now. Do you really think you can just wash your hands of all of this? Do you really think you can just leave me here? This is even better than stabbing her. The same reward without any of that nasty effort. It's not even better. Putting off a choice is always worse than making a committed decision, especially when you already know the right answer. Almost feels like we're as bad as the powers that be. Is that all it really took to twist us into yet another tyrant? A single ounce of control? It sure feels like it. She looks so... sad. Bleeding and alone. And we're just turning our back on her. Oh, stop trying to bring morality into this. There are winners in life, and there are losers. And what matters is that right now, we've decided to be a winner. <laughs> but as you approach the basement stairs, you make a grim realization. The thorns won't let you leave. We don't have any way to cut through them. 
Okay, new plan. We re befriend the princess <laughs> of the blade, and all of us leave here together as friends. You can't leave without me. Come now. Isn't that funny? Isn't that so funny? This is perfect, actually. Just you and me rotting down here forever. Together. You know, just to make sure things are a little more permanent, I think I'm going to take this particular needle out of the picture. She wouldn't. It's only fair. We were going to leave her with no way out. She's returning the kindness. <laughs> Thorns slice into the princess's hands, lacerating what little skin remains as she raises the blade to her mouth. Take it. Take it now before she swallows it out of spite. Uh, I guess rush for the blade. You rush towards the princess, arms outstretched and grasping for the blade. But as you tear through her thistled prison, the thorny vines dig deep into your arms. Seemingly growing thicker and sturdier the closer you get to your goal. Feels like it should be within reach, but you cannot reach it quickly enough. It's no use. Even if we grab it, we won't be able to pull it back out of there. It's better than letting her eat it and losing it forever. You've just managed to reach her hand, grasping it firmly in yours before the thorns finally trap you in place. Blood trickles down your arm, mingling with hers. The two of you lock eyes. We're stuck like this, aren't we? I knew this was always going to be how it ended. You did not get the chance to respond, nor will you ever. It's time to leave. Memory returns. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? Oh, there's that mirror again. Why is it here? Why now? Approach the mirror, gaze into your reflection. Plans as you reach forward, yeah. You've unraveled. You're in the cabin, approach her. There's a world beyond the endless walls of the Long Queen. I'm curious to see what it means for us to know. Do you have thoughts on this vessel? This one yearns for connection she feels she doesn't deserve. Even when shown compassion, she hid herself away. She will make for a cautious fight. Do not mourn her. She isn't alone anymore. Ready to go back. The next time I see you, each of us will finally know what we are. I will be here, waiting for you. Everything goes dark and you die. Okay, thorny vessel. Bring the thorn to her. Alright, uh... Do nothing. You stand in place among the thorns, inert, merely watching as the princess swallows your only way out of this place. Uh, she actually did it. She's better at this game than we are. <laughs> but we're all losers now. Nobody wins. Nobody. She wins if she gets what she wants. And it looks like what she wanted was this. Blood trickles down the corner of her mouth, then flows from between her lips. She smiles. There. Isn't this just perfect? I suppose so. Okay, um, I guess this, all right. Uh, 
Um, yeah, I'm here to laugh. What did you think would happen? Careful now. I'm the one with the knife. Of course I thought there might be bad blood. I didn't think I could trust you then, and it looks like I was right. Because I definitely can't trust you now. I guess this is what I deserve. What we both deserve. I'm out. Whatever you do, don't let her out of there. It's not gonna end well for anyone. Hey, hey! Welcome to the Ring of Doom. Oh, can it, will you? I'm not happy to be here. This is just the only move that was still worth making. Um... I can cut you free, but you have to give me the blade. I'm not falling for it. Is there anything I can say to change your mind? No, we're past that. You and I both know words are hollow. I suppose so. Figures. I wouldn't trust her, so why would she trust us? You're the one who got us here. If you weren't doing so much scheming, maybe we could have formed a genuine connection. Maybe we could have fixed things. I think there are a lot of other people worth pointing fingers at before you go blaming me. I'm just looking out for our best interests. Did you forget she stabbed us last time? The game's over. We shouldn't have pushed her so hard. Give it up and leave her here. It's not like she can go anywhere on her own. I guess that's not something I can just... Alright. So, uh, don't laugh at her. I'm not here to laugh. I'm here to free you if you let me. I... I want to trust you. Her grip tightens on the blade. But you're hiding something, aren't you? Why would you help me if you weren't helping yourself? Um... You're not the only one who has yearned for freedom. I'm as trapped as you are. I think we need to leave together. The princess clutches the blade closer to her chest. That sounds nice. I'm so tired of the bad blood between us. But it's hard to let it go. You've hurt me. Her eyes dart away from yours for a brief moment. And I've also hurt you. Um, is there nothing I can say to change your mind? I, I don't know. What can either of us really say at this point? How can we trust something as hollow as words? She's right. There's nothing left to say. Let's get a move on and do something before she comes up with a scheme to get out of here on her own. Careful with that one. He's not the smooth negotiator he thinks he is. It does feel like we're stuck until we do something. If there's even anything to do besides make things worse. We're not making things worse. I think she wants to trust us. Now maybe it's past time for either of us to say anything. All that counts is action. You reach towards her bloodied hand. going white with the effort but then the tension fades her grip finally loosens and she allows you to take the weapon you carefully pull it free from the thorns but they scrape at your skin leaving red trickles of fresh blood all along your arms I'll be damned she really gave it to us it feels like it's been so long since we've held real power in our hands I wonder what we should do with it. We free her, obviously. It's the right thing to do. I think you're right. She's as much a victim in all of this as we've been. Besides, it would really stick it to him to free her. Or, hear me out. Slay her, right here, right now. She's never been so helpless, and if we don't take advantage of that, we may never get another chance. That sounds like a splendid idea. You should listen to him. We've all said our piece. Now it's time to make our move. 
It's two against one. It's two against two. You don't count. <laughs> uh, and why shouldn't you? Because he's clearly not one of us. That doesn't matter. He's been with us the whole time. He should get a say. So, did you mean it? Or was I a fool to hand my life to you? Um... I just want my blade back. You're on your own. <laughs> no, hold on, hold on. Um... I just want my blade back. You're on your own. Do you really think you could just wash your hands of all of this? Do you really think you could just leave me here? This is even better than stabbing her. The same reward without any of that nasty effort. It's not even better. Putting off a choice is always worse than making a committed decision, especially when you already know the right answer. Uh, honestly, I want this to be a happy ending, so I'm what just gonna go to with the two worst options first. It really took to twist us into yet another tyrant, a single ounce of control. It sure feels like it. She looks so sad, bleeding and alone. And we're just turning our back on her. Oh, stop trying to bring morality into this. There are winners in life and there are losers. And what matters is that right now, we've decided to be a winner. Alright, alright, alright. Let's load this. Cut her free, slay the princess. Why? We finally gained her trust. That took a lot of work. Sorry, boys. Looks like we've got our tiebreaker. <laughs> Blade safely in hand, you turn it on the princess and drive it towards her heart. But her thistle's prison proves to be an impossible obstacle, its thorns digging deeper and deeper into your flesh the closer you come to striking the fatal blow. Yeah. Those damn vines are going to stop us just like they stopped her. Of course, like we should have expected it to turn out any other way. It's funny, really. I'm laughing. The tip of your blade only manages to touch her sternum before it stops moving entirely. A single drop of blood trickles down her chest as the two of you stare into each other's eyes. Come on, just push a little further. But you can't. You can't. I knew this was coming. I can't believe I ever let myself hope for better. This was always going to be us, wasn't it? Ah, uh, no, I'm gonna reset now. Okay, okay. Load. Alright, cut her free. Yes, what a good idea. Let's cut her free. Oh, so you're suddenly team free her. You can't just switch sides as soon as we make a decision. I can do whatever I want, and I believe with my whole heart that this is the right course of action. Let's free this princess. Even if he'll stick a knife in our back as soon as he has the opportunity, it's still better to have him nominally on our side. At least that gets him to shut up for a while. <laughs> See? We're all friends here, united in our actions and intentions. Yeah, united. But the other one has a point. If it keeps you quiet, sure. We're all friends. You take the blade to the thorny vines imprisoning the princess and she flinches, relaxing only slightly as the blade slices into the thick vegetation rather than her arm. And she flinches again as the last of the vines is cut away as if, after all of that, she's still expecting you to turn on her and stab her in the heart. Is that really oh, what shit. you've got? Threatening us with an accidental misstep. I expected more from you. Our blade didn't even waver when he said that. Yeah, you're right. He's a bit of a nobody, isn't he? Good thing I've been on your side of all this since the beginning. The princess falls into your arms. Tears streaking down her cheeks. I can't believe you're making me describe this. I hate you. <laughs> you actually meant it. You rescued me. 
course I did. I just really hate the people who put us here. Yeah. Me too. She smiles, her hand slipping into yours, and the two of you rush to the basement stairs. Shameful, really, that the same thorns that so graciously allowed you downstairs are now blocking your only way out. You're getting desperate, aren't you? Even more proof that you can't actually do anything to stop us. We cut through those other vines just fine. They're only thorns. I'm not afraid of getting a few scrapes. <laughs> I'm not even sure we need to do any cutting. We can just move them out of the way. What a pathetic showing, really. A few pointy sticks can't keep us down here. We're both meant for so much more than this. Cut into the thorns, step into the thorns. Hold on. What if I step into the thorns? As you step into the thorns covering the basement stairs, they yield. Both you and the princess ascend the stairs without obstacle. This is unacceptable. The second you step out of this cabin with her, the world ends. Do you hear me? What did the world ever do to you to deserve this? <laughs> I don't know. It feels so good to hear you say that, that you're admitting you've lost and we've bested you at your own game at last. I don't care what happens now. That's all I've wanted. <laughs> you and the princess hesitate at the cabin door. This is your last chance. We've already made our decision. We're finally leaving here together, aren't we? And all we had to do was trust each other. It wasn't easy, but I'm glad we finally could. Step into your freedom. Okay, so it doesn't actually let us betray. Hands clasp, the two of you open the door and step out into a new day. You irredeemable murderers. <laughs> what do we do now? Wh where is everything going? Why is it so cold? Don't get a chance to respond to where you ever. But it feels so bad. It's hard. Into your reflection. There's a world where you know what you'll find out there. You have thoughts on this vessel? This one yearns for connection she feels she doesn't deserve. Even when shown compassion, she hid herself away. She will make for a cautious friend. Do not mourn her. She isn't alone anymore. Um... There's trees and stars and there's people with okay no. I'm ready to go back. The next time I see you, I will be here waiting for you. Okay. Um let me load uh where is it? This again? Just to cut into the thorns. Yeah. You swing your blade into the thorns covering the basement stairs, they both you and the princess ascend the stairs without obstacle. It feels so good to hear you say that. You and the princess hesitate at the cabin door. This is your last. We've already made our... We're finally leaving here together, aren't we? Okay, yeah. Um... Okay. So that's the thorns done. The thorn. She's so thorny. Uh, I did the damsel. I did the beast. Or, no, I didn't do the beast. I did... Did I do the witch or the beast? I did the witch, right? The witch. You're on a path. You're... Oh, 
well, she will die. The interior. Uh, enter the basement. The door to the Dawoot, her voice. Yeah, 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 that was the witch. Okay, so I just did the witch. So I have the beast left. I did the eye of the needle. I did the fury. I need to do the tower and the prisoner, which I might. You know what? Yeah, yeah. I think I'm going to do the tower, actually. It's long overdue. a princess you're here to slay her if you don't it will be the end of the world um proceed to the cabin a warning before you go any further she will lie she will cheat and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her don't believe a word she says. We might as well just pledge ourselves to her and stop pretending we're capable of doing anything in this situation. She probably doesn't even need to try to overpower us. Can we tone down the pessimism just a smidge? <laughs> I'm not being a pessimist. I'm just being realistic. You're being annoying. <laughs> just ignore their bickering and whatever you do, don't pledge yourself to her. I cannot stress enough how absolutely catastrophic that would be for everyone, yourself included. I agree. If she's wrongfully imprisoned, then we should rescue her, but if he's telling the truth, we shouldn't just hand her the world on a silver platter. Rescue her? Given the stakes of the situation, there isn't really a difference between rescuing her and pledging yourself to her. Either would be terrible. So please, try to ignore both of those knuckleheads and focus on saving the world. Let's not make this harder than it has to be. Is he into the cabin? That's what you want. I guess I don't have a say here. The interior of the cabin is larger and more grandiose than its humble exterior would suggest. The only furniture of note is a massive marble altar with a pristine blade perched on its edge. Oh, oh. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Why do we feel so small? We don't feel small. We are small. Uh, okay. You didn't say anything about the mirror on the wall. That's because there isn't a mirror. There's the altar, the blade sitting on the altar, and the door to the basement. There's nothing else in here. There's definitely a mirror. Oh shit, I hit the mic. And I almost just destroyed my entire setup. Holy shit. I need to be like super careful. Because this computer isn't actually isn't actually screwed in so <laughs> i never actually screwed in my monitor so if this falls uh it it falls it's fucked there isn't who cares if there's a mirror we're all going to die anyway and i'm sure that if we looked in there We'd just see something sad and miserable looking back at it. We don't need any reminders of what we are. It would only make things worse. <sighs> for the last time, we're not going to die unless you let it happen. And luckily for you, there isn't a mirror. So no one needs to worry about confronting a grisly visage any time in the near future. what it's worth, if there were a mirror, I'm sure that you wouldn't find anything sad or miserable in it looking back at you. You probably look perfectly normal. Probably. Do you not know what we look like? Who knows? He just doesn't have a heart to tell us. 
Uh, I, I care about whether I'm being lied to. There's a mirror. As do I. Yeah, there is. I'm not lying to you. Use your eyes. There is no mirror. Why would I lie about something so meaningless? What good would a mirror even do? Let you waste time preening yourself instead of doing what needs to be done. Approach the mirror. You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall. There isn't much to see here. This really isn't funny. Wipe the mirror clean. You reach forward and rub your hand against the cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. We should count ourselves lucky. Some things are better left unseen. Alright, let me save. Which I guess I'll uh, save over this. And enter the basement without the knife. Late this time. Yeah. Maybe she'll be more receptive if we're unarmed. Blade, no blade. It doesn't matter. door to the basement creaks open, revealing a spiral staircase, its steps almost as deep as you are tall. The smell of incense drifts up from below. For a moment, you almost feel at ease. Oh, this is actually kind of nice. It's still a stark basement. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Her booming voice rolls up the stairs. Is that a guest I hear? Don't linger on the stairs. Come down and witness me. You were Very loveless. You said it was booming. She wasn't like this last time. Or Bay. You shouldn't have come down here unarmed. Look at Alec. She wants us to see her. We need to see her. Should we be worried about your sudden change in attitude? Just a few minutes ago, you were going on about how pointless everything was. Now you want to go down there. It doesn't matter what that little voice says. He's not the one making the decisions. So if his ramblings get you to the princess, they get you to the princess. Making your way down the spiral staircase is a time-consuming and exhausting effort. Every step requiring you to clamber over one edge before dropping to the next. But soon the end comes into view, and you tumble to the bottom, entering the vast, temple-like room beyond. The princess towers over you, almost glowing in the weak starlight, her figure framed by a stained glass window. Her long hair billows around her, and a chain binds her wrist to the far wall. The chain is nothing to her. It might as well be a toy for all the good it would do. I told you it was pointless to resist her. The little bird has returned to me. I wonder what he wants. I see your hands are empty. You've already given up, haven't you? You aren't even going to try and kill me. How sweet. And more than a little disappointing. She's disappointed in us? Neil. Uh, hold on. No. But the words don't leave your mouth. Instead, your legs buckle and your knees hit the floor. Oh, fuck. That's no good, little bird. No. Why don't we talk? The last time we met, you tried to kill me. And yet, here you are again. This time groveling at my feet. What a wretched sight. What draws you back here beyond the empty halls of death? Fun. Let me just... What if I click on Neil? On her command, you fall to the floor, knees painfully connecting with hard stone. Oh. 
That's no good, little bird. No. Why don't we talk? The last time we met, you tried to kill me. And yet, here you are again. What draws you back here beyond the empty halls of death? Speak. The last time we met, nobody should have met her before this. You should be the first. You're the only one I trust to deal with her. And you shouldn't have trusted her. <laughs> there was nothing we could do to stop her then. And there's nothing we can do to stop her now. She's being melodramatic, but yeah, we've been here before and she absolutely destroyed us. What are we even supposed to do to stop her? That's worrying. Whatever you do, don't tell her why you're here. It's best not to give her any ideas. I don't think I can refuse her, sorry. I'm supposed to end the world. Are you serious? Just just don't say anything. How hard can it be to not say anything? I'm afraid I am getting to be rather on the edge of the grim eye. You haven't felt her nails dig into your thoughts. I'm supposed to end the world. closes her eyes in contemplation. Something about that bat wraps itself around my heart. It feels like a fundamental truth to my being that I'd somehow forgotten. The collapse of the old is a necessary prelude to the birth of the new. And the world as it is now is overdue for... alterations. It's time for me to seize my destiny. And you, little bird, will help me seize it. She's inevitable. There's nothing else for us to do but hope that maybe she'll be nice to us. Uh, what would you have me do? What do you have planned on... is break these chains and set me free. You're so powerful, can't you just break the chains yourself? To be rude. Of course she can. It's not rude to question someone who's apparently trying to end the world. That's exactly why it's rude. You should know why. <laughs> I can, easily. But that isn't what I want to do. The story of a terrible and bountiful god unbounded of her own will is no story at all. It's not worthy of everything I am or everything I'm bound to become. It isn't even oh. worthy of what I was. First of all, why do I keep... I don't know why, but like my facial expression keeps changing and I have no idea why. Also, this <laughs> this whole game is like perfect for my layout. I just realized the destruction and genesis that's to follow in my wake is deserving of a song that can echo for eternity. The song of you being so struck by my glory, so overwhelmed by what I am. Because in the end, no matter how vainly you struggle against me, my will triumphs over yours. Just because you're supposed to end the world doesn't mean you actually have to do it. You can be whatever you want to be. This isn't about desire. This is about what I am. And I have little interest in discussing destiny with one that cannot see the divine truth that shines in my heart. I have 
questions for you before I decide to do anything. Do you know the limit of your privilege, little brother? There's an empty place at my side for you to fill, if you'll have it. But it is not a place for an equal. It is a place for something worthy to be kept. A place, perhaps, for a pet. Uh... I'm yours to command. Also, there was another thing, and I. It's fine. Your will was so easily broken. Am I that magnificent? I guess. All you need to do now is break my chains. I don't have the knife. If this is what you want, then I guess there's not much else for me to say. I can't just give in to her. Not when the stakes are so high. Not when you're so close. I won't let you do this. There's still something in the way. A greasy film inside of you where it doesn't belong. Trying to conceal you from me. Is that a person? No. It used to be a person. It's something different now. An echo. Is it the narrator? Is, is she talking about you? That's impossible. She's not supposed to interact with me. She... You're a small one, aren't you? Wait, 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 fuck. Oh. A shriveling little worm stretched beyond its limits, trying to control things that it can't understand. What are you talking about? I'm just... I don't care what you are. You're mine. Ah! Rise, my little bird. <laughs> Without hesitation, you You're have brought to your feet. feet. Break my chains. And how are we supposed to do that? We don't even have a weapon. All, All you, you need to do is believe it's been done. done. And what happens if I don't believe? What happens then? You poor, wretched little thing. You already do believe. You've always believed. All you have to do is open the last door to your heart. I don't have a heart. I have to. It's over. I'm sorry. There's nothing to be sorry about. This is how it was always going to be. This is good. All right. I'm done with this. I'm just going to go sit in the corner. Let me know if we get our agency back. <laughs> Break her chains. Her chains shatter, and the cup falls from her wrist. She is loose, and the end is upon us. disciple you are. Come, it's time for us to leave. What happens now? Nothing. I mean, everything. Take our hand. Your obedient servant. But you do not take her hand, nor will you ever. It's time to leave. Memory returns. She's gone. Where does she go? Should we try and find her? Why would you try and find her? <laughs> That's the last thing you would want to try and find. Why is that mirror up here? Why is it here? Why now? Oh wow. This is still in the weathered stage. See to the cabin. Uh, you okay there? You're cut in half. You are at the cabin. Approach her. I am a glowing chorus of contradictions. 
ocean, a mass of tides ebbing and flowing all at once in the direction of the meditation from there to home. To look at any one is to shift them all into something new, and to look away is to reshape them yet again. All of me is changing, and yet the rest of me is still the same. Um, what do you think of this vessel? This one is Venomous, a figure capable of bending everything to her will. She will make for a terrifying and divine effect. Do not mourn her, for she would not be able to mourn you. Oh, that's fine. I've, I, I don't care about her at all. Um, all right. I'm ready to go back. I will be here. When it is time for us to meet again. Everything goes dark and you die. A dominant vessel. Bring the tower to her. Alright. Let me load this. And take the blade. If you take the blade from the altar, it would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Enter the basement. door to the basement creaks open, revealing a spiral staircase, its steps almost as deep as you are tall. The smell of incense drifts up from below. For a moment, you almost feel at ease. Huh. This is actually kind of nice. It's still a stone basement. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. A booming voice rolls up the stairs. Is that a guest I hear? Don't linger on the stairs. Come down and witness me. Okay, bae. You weren't kidding when you said it was booming. She wasn't like this last time. We need to get down there. She wants us to see her. We need to see her. Should we be worried about your sudden change in attitude? Just a few minutes ago, you were going on about how pointless everything was. Now you want to go down. It doesn't matter what that little voice says. He's not the one making the decisions. Though if his ramblings get you to the princess, they get you to the princess. Making your way down the spiral staircase is a time-consuming and exhausting effort, every step requiring you to clamber over one edge before dropping to the next. But soon the end comes into view and you tumble to the bottom, entering the vast, temple-like room beyond. The princess towers over you, almost glowing in the weak starlight, her figure framed by a stained-glass window. Her long hair billows around her, and a chain binds her wrist to the far wall. I don't think this one is killable, because how the fuck are you going to kill this thing? It's like trying to kill a d goddamn planet. The chain is nothing to her. It might as well be a toy for all the good it would do. I told you it was pointless to resist her. The little bird has returned to me. I wonder what he wants. You've brought that knife again, even though you know it's useless. Such charming audacity. Drop it. Find your grip. Uh, hold on. Find your grip. As if on command, the blade slips from your grasp. It clatters uselessly to the floor. But we didn't drop it. We decided to grip it tighter, remember? Are you really just going to let that happen to us? I have a duty to report facts as facts, and the fact is, you dropped the blade. Of course we dropped it. She's so much more than us. She wouldn't understand what it feels like to be in her presence. Oh, I understand what's going on, and you'd better snap yourself out of it. Neil. No. Oh, are you still trying to defy me? I said... Neil. Your legs buckle, and your knees hit the floor. That's no good, little bird. Now, 
Why don't we talk? The last time we met, you tried to kill me. And here you are again, trying to succeed where you've already catastrophically failed. What draws you back here beyond the empty halls of death? Speak. The last time we met, nobody should have met her before this. You should be the first. You're the only one I trust to deal with her. And you shouldn't have trusted it. There was nothing we could do to stop uh, Hey, Aki, welcome back. supposed to do to stop her that's worrying whatever you do don't tell her why you're here it's best not to give her any ideas uh hold on this is different uh Uh, remain silent? Oh, uh, no. Perhaps you need another lesson in submitting to your betters. Pick a mass needle. Good. It's what she wants. No objections here. <laughs> don't know what she's planning, and I don't like that we don't know what she's planning, but we might as well pick up the blade. As your eye falls on the blade, you feel a weight. Some divine hand that sits unperceived by your senses, but that manages to push you towards its desires like an unseen puppeteer. What is the time in your place right now? It's 9.30 in the morning. Wow. Why? What are you going to try and make me do with it? I'm going to kill you? You're not kidding about that divine hand. Who's doing this? Is it her? Is it you? No. Pick up the blade. Wow. You reach forward and grasp the blade. Stand. This one's easy. See? It isn't so bad. Okay, yeah. We can do that. We were probably going to stand anyway. <laughs> I hate you. I hate you so much, all of you. Stop making me do things. I'm going to kneel here forever. Stand. You can feel a creaking tension between body and will as you slowly rise to your feet, like two foes forced into an unhappy truce. The princess eyes you with soft contemplation. The moment seems to last a lifetime, the silent anticipation of what's to come dragging out for long, painful seconds. So but all silences are broken eventually. It's 5.31 p.m. in my city? Oh. So I'm like... What, six hours behind, I think? To defy me is to claim we stand on level ground. We do not. You are quiet shadow, while I am brilliant radiance. Take that knife in your hand and slit your throat. What if I slit your throat? I mean, I can't reach you, but what if I do? You don't have to listen to her. You're armed. Just steal your nerves, step forward. Well, I don't have a choice, so... Oh, we'll end this all right. Your hand lifts the blade and brings it towards your throat. Okay, I apologize for... <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I can't resist. Um... Yeah, probably six to seven hours behind. Hmm. Uh, say the princess. Your body is sluggish and unresponsive, actively fighting against you, but you do your best to stagger forward. One step at a time, you move towards the princess. Hitting you first would have been a mercy, 
but it seems you're in need of a harsher lesson. Plunge that knife into your mouth. I'm sorry. Don't! As you take another step forward, the blade digs into your ribs, slicing through flesh with ease. It somehow feels like an entirely natural thing to do, while the simple act of walking has become an arduous impossibility. Then it slides back out, the wound burning as a small hiss of air escapes through the fresh orifice. Blood fills your lungs. Now, do it again. Keep doing it until I give you permission to stop. Uh, what is your national language? Uh, technically Italian, but I've, I'm, uh, but I, I, I'm not, I don't live in Italy, so, technically English. Those are just words, and you don't have to listen to her. It's what she wants. You, heroic one, what are you doing? Don't just let this happen. Stop them from killing you. I'm on it. Your other hand locks around your wrist, struggling to keep it from perforating vital organs. The blade still flails towards you, managing to slice bits of skin that pop to the floor to join the growing pile of blood and gore beneath. Despite the pain, you manage to keep yourself in one piece. At least for now. What a pitiful display. A wounded, bleeding bird. That doesn't have to be like that. That doesn't have to hurt so much. You can choose a gentle end. You can choose to leave that punctured vessel for the next. Uh, god damn it. I always need to. I'm Filipino, but I'm learning time in Spanish. Nice. I will slay that damn princess. You can pathetically struggle against yourself until the floor of this temple is painted with the bloody impressions of your futility. You continue to approach the princess, even as the repeated gouges of your blade expose bone and muscle to the open air of the basement. You know, this would be a lot easier if you gave us a hand. <laughs> My influence only goes so far, and I can only juggle so many things at once. Best I can do right now is to continue to drive you forward. Believe me, this whole ordeal would be so much easier if I didn't have to contend with free will. You're the one making things difficult. You're the one making us hurt. She doesn't want us to hurt us. She's just doing what she has to. You only make a few sentences in Spanish. Honestly, that's a few sentences more than me, so... I think you're doing pretty good. Stop. Oh. As you finish crossing the room, you fall to your knees at the princess's feet, your chest heaving as your blood pools in the crevices of the stone floor, a coppery taste coating your throat. The princess kneels down, lifting your chin with her finger as her face lowers to yours. Your devotion is misplaced. You've surrendered to illusion. But something about your defiant spirit speaks to me. You are different than you were before. Uh, okay. Perhaps, if you've learned your lesson, I can spare you from the release of death. There is a place at my side for you, if you'll have it. Not as an equal, but as something worthy to be kept. A priest, perhaps. Or a pet. Well, that's the minion, isn't it? Yes, how thoughtful of her. It's a mercy. Take it. I think he's given up whatever say he had at the start of all this. At least one of his say. She's within striking distance, and she's only negotiating now because she knows you have what it takes to put an end to her. Seize the moment before it's too late. 
What is your hobby? Uh, I guess streaming is my hobby. I don't really have much else than that. Um, and plus, like, streaming has been pretty much taking all my time because I'm a dumbass. And I, and I just apparently love to torture myself. So, yeah. Okay, how many... Say the princess. Yes. Though your body trembles, struggling to defend itself in the face of the princess's overwhelming will, you finally manage to break through, darting to her side before she can react. The wind of your freedom rushes through you, and you channel it into a decisive blow, stabbing into the soft flesh of her ankle and severing the tendons in an act of unyielding defiance. She falls to the floor, crashing unceremoniously to her knees. Now you kneel. Don't have any time to recover, your heart pounding with determination, you plunge your blade into her chest. As you find your target again and again, she laughs, crude emotion breaking through her once stony composure <laughs> as your blade cuts her flesh. We can do this, can't we? You always could. The decision to give you this task was not made lightly. You're here for a reason. It's not too late to pick up the pieces. It's not too late to toss that blade aside and beg for forgiveness. Same, the only hobby I do is sleep, read mom was, watch anime and draw. Yeah. We're pretty much on the same boat. <laughs> I can't believe you would actually strike me. You. You beat her. You worm. You defiled her. You don't know the consequences of your arrogance. Before you can strike the final blow, the princess lashes out, knocking you off your feet. There's an unsettling wet pop as your spine oh. breaks, numbness and pain spreading through your body. As you rebound towards the ceiling in a moment of disorientated lightness, Drives her fist into your chest. That's gotta hurt. Your body is crushed as she pulverizes you into the floor, the ground itself breaking from the impact. You lie there, broken, beyond pain, unable to even see what she's done to you. But the princess is succumbing to her own wounds as well. She looks down upon her body in abject horror, disgust. You made me use my hands. I I can feel myself twisting into something new. Something dull, something defiled. What have you done to me? No, no, you tell me. Monsters and conspirators. I can't bear to think of it. The princess has been nothing but cruel to you. You should feel liberated by her fall. <laughs> Aside from the pain, I feel fine. <laughs> she collapses to the God floor. killer. Yeah. Her glassy eyes watch, unblinking, yet somehow still full of anguish and fear as the two of you perish together. Uh, killing a god. We were never going to get a happy ending here, were we? I mean, yeah. Don't let those be your final thoughts. You saved the world. That's worth something. I guess. Regardless of how you feel about it, it's finally over. Thank you. Everything goes dark, and you die. The Fury? Hold on, the Fury? Huh, wait. That's the same one as this. Anyways, did you get inspired by a VTuber or just said to yourself, you know what, let me start streaming as a VTuber? Um, that's a really long story, actually. Oh, my God. Um, so, I, uh,
I was originally friends with some VTubers and and then I was going through like a, like a hard time in life and I just said okay I'll just start streaming as a VTuber oh yeah this is A little bit. And what's he got to be upset about? We just killed a god. Exactly. It was he that was destroyed. The most beautiful thing that ever was. And ever will be. You're damn right we did. And you'll get over it. <laughs> Can't say I have much sympathy for you. She was bad for us and you almost got us killed. Yeah. You're being too generous. You did get us killed. All right, enough chatter. It's not a thing I'm supposed to do, and if you don't mind, I'd like to do it without any more interruptions. Okay, great, you're listening. <laughs> <clears throat> you're on a path to new roots, and at the end of that path is a... If your thing is telling us about the princess, don't waste your breath. We know all about her. It's hardly a path in the woods at this point, is it? Well, this is just great. <laughs> Let me cut to the chase. Clearly, you've already been here. Yep. Yeah, you think? <laughs> uh, actually, I don't think we have been here. No, we have. This is all different, isn't it? I don't know, it looks familiar. Precisely. And if you'd given me two seconds to finish my thought, I would have said that to you. Oh, you're actually letting me talk now. Great. <laughs> If you've already been here, it means you've seen things you aren't supposed to have seen, and you know things that you aren't supposed to know. This doesn't look like a path in the woods, if reality seems distorted. It's because reality is distorted. You know, like me when I was having a bad time, I just go and watch streams. It's like a comfort comfort place for me. Chat with people online or streams, especially people. Yeah. restart life in me I know all sorts of things which is why you should listen to me that's not really an answer <laughs> look if the world around you is changing especially all the way out here then that means you're nearing the point of no return whatever happens next that's it there won't be any more do-overs you would better take things seriously Um Fine. I actually I'm going to save. And I'm going to go back. I'm yours. I mean, she do. She is a bit of a bad bitch. And there is what you have been chasing. The motivation that dragged you across the floor, bleeding and choking. I am destined to destroy the world. Something about that thought wraps itself around my heart. As if it's a fundamental truth to my being that I've somehow forgotten. The collapse of the old is a necessary prelude to the birth of the new. And the world as it is now is overdue for alterations. It's time for us to seize my destiny. If this is what you want, then I guess there's not much else for me to say. Just give in to her, not when the stakes are so high, not when you're so close. I won't let you do this. Oh, my back hurts. <laughs> There's still something in the way. 
a greasy film inside of him where it doesn't belong, trying to conceal and remove it from Uh, him. wait, something tells me. Wait. Is that a person? Wait. No, it used to be a person. It's something different now. An echo. Uh, I'm gonna say it just in case, but honestly, it doesn't seem like this is gonna be different. Let me load this. Slay yourself. No, you can't just give in to her. Not when the stakes are so high. Your body and its renegade hand freeze in place until you get a hold of yourself. Honestly, you're pretty nice to talk to. Am I? Hmm. I mean, I feel like I haven't talked, like, much at all in this stream. One, because I pretty much pulled an all-nighter, and two, because this game has a lot of voice acting, and I just kind of wanted to listen to it, so. You're shaking. It's pointless to resist. In the end, everything mm. submits to oblivion. So, yeah, I feel like uh, <laughs> for ten hours, I probably only spoke for like five of them like at most but you're not the one resisting me I am there's something else in there is that a person no oh my god it used to be a person it's something different now an echo okay I don't know Hold on. is she talking about you You're a small one, aren't you? A shriveling little worm stretched beyond its limits, trying to control things that it can't understand. No, no, no. What are you talking about? I'm just... I don't care what you are. You're mine. Did I ever wait? You bring the blade to your neck. Oh. You slice through soft flesh, severing veins and arteries. Your blood flowing freely down your body. It's a painful lesson in obedience, but the pain. If it's just a few words, uh, wait, I need to remove the live reactions or sentences so pretty chill to talk to. Mm, thank you. The hypothesis. Okay, this one's new. Uh, I mean, at this point, I might as well load this. Oh, no, wait, this is... is she talking about This is record chain. If I don't believe, okay, yeah. All right, never mind. Let's just do this one. Oh, let me guess. At the end of that part, there's a cabin. <laughs> Excuse me. This is the third time we've been here, and this is hardly a part in the woods. It's all big and weird. Another witness to her radiance. Her hour is soon upon us. I'm here to keep him in check. I'm sick of prying fingers digging around in our head, and he's making it all too easy for them to get in. This is bad. Oh, is it now? I hadn't noticed. Do you need a primer, Mr. Amity? <laughs> uh, how old are you? Uh, I can't say my age but i am i can assure you i'm of i'm of legal age no i'm quite all right but 
I mean, at least I don't think I sound like a miner. Slay her, or if you don't, it will be the end of the world. You have lost speaking privileges. <laughs> you two are just wasting your time. It's all going to end when we open that cabin door, which means it's already all over. What's the point of dawdling when the end is already written? Okay, that nonsense but is going on about. What we need to talk about. You've been here before. Was that Obviously. thunder part of the sound effects of this game, or was that in real life? I actually couldn't tell. <laughs> so you have met us. Oh no, it's the game. Yeah. <laughs> no, I haven't met you, but reality is clearly falling apart at the moment, and the only reason that would happen is if you knew things you weren't supposed to know. What? What the hell are you talking about? He's talking about those weird marble trees and how wrong everything looks. Yes, exactly. Whatever you did before gave her far too much power. So you've got to cut it out, get to that cabin and slay her before things get any more out of hand. We've built a new god. And she... What if I'm doing it wrong? What if I'm making her even stronger? Oh no. Do you hear those two with their runaway thoughts? I'm only giving you the sliver of information I'm giving you now because things are already deep in the shitter. This was my last card to play and it looks like it's already made things worse. So hurry. Cabin. Now. Gotta go. It's fun talking to you. I hope you reach your goal on 3000 sub. Ah. <sighs> I've been at it for six months. I don't think I'm reaching it. <laughs> I've, I've, I'm still doing it, but I've, I've given up on it. <laughs> but thank you. Have a good whatever you're doing. Uh, okay. Well, this one's gonna run away. Well, I guess. Yeah, fuck. It. Beginning of something new. The moment we open that door, she will be free. Stop believing everything you hear. We just have to get our thoughts in order. We just have to think straight. Any uh, words of warning? <laughs> you already know everything you need to know. Let's get into the cabin. As you step forward. Jesus Christ. Flung backwards, violently slammed into a tree as debris rains down around you. Uh well shit. You've watched in paralyzed awe and terror as the princess emerges, her body unfurling from some vast space as she stands upright to face you. So uh about earlier, uh that, that, uh, I didn't, that, uh, that wasn't, wait, actually, no, this is the part, wait, when, how did I get this, this scenario again? The world bows to her. The ruined landscape shifts, trees and stone and the ground itself succumbing to her gravity, orbiting her like a great black hole. Finally. Always how it was going to begin. The 
There's a loud thunk from the tree behind you as something embeds in its shattered bark. Your pristine blade. It's now or never. Take the blade. Embrace oblivion. Hold on, actually. This has to be. I will embrace oblivion. You need to put clothes on. Oh, damn. You do not get the chance to join her at her side, nor will you ever. It's time to leave. Memory returns. Oh, where did she go? Witness your better's ascension. The end of something. She's gone. Is this the end of the world? She and herself? What is that mirror of yours? Why is it here? Why now? First a mirror. The first a mirror. Isn't so your reflection. You withered. Proceed to the cabin. Oh damn. Oh, she's enveloped in it. You're at the cabin. Approach her. I am a glowing chorus of contradiction. A mass of tides ebbing and flowing all at once in the direction of the more attention you can bear to hold. To look at any one is to shift them all into something new. And to look away is to reshape them yet again. All of me is changing, and yet the rest of me is still the same. Um... What do you think of this vessel? This one is Dominus, a figure capable of bending everything to her will. She will make for a terrifying and divine fight. Do not mourn her, for she would not be able to mourn you. All right, I'm ready to go back. I will be here when it is time for us to meet again. I think it was dark in you die. A uh, godly vassal, bring the apotheosis or whatever the fuck. Uh, load this. Give me that knife. Take the blade. Screw all of this. Other in her direction I, I, I don't know maybe it'll work maybe none of this is real maybe we can do whatever we want to do with a forceful tug you yank the blade out from the tree you close your eyes and take a deep breath and for a moment you can feel everything around you like you're a part of everything and everything is a part of you and then your eyes open settling on your tongue it's like, <laughs> just attack on Titan. But instead of a Titan, it's a fucking god. Slay the princess. Do it. You launch yourself towards the princess. You can feel her gravity envelop you, carrying you from the ground into the violent swirl of her orbit. Even now. End this.
You did not get the chance to slay her, nor will you ever. It's time to leave. Memory returns. No. Where did she go? She's... Is this the end of the world? Or was that a mirror of the world? Okay. Uh, I think that's good enough. Uh... What didn't I do? Uh, the adversary I did. On. So I did the witch. I haven't done the beast, I don't think. Did the witch, I did the tower, uh, the specter, that's something I haven't done yet, razor route. I turn to the prisoner. There is so much I need to do. Oh my god. Okay. Alright, let's uh, load the beast. of that cabin is a princess you're here to slay her if you don't it will be the end of the world oh, fuck the world um see to the cabin a warning but she will lie she will cheat and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her don't believe a word she says does a cat lie to a cornered mouse when it plays with its freedom? Or is it just acting out its nature? I don't see why that matters. A lie's a lie, and if anything, she's the one who's cornered. She could have gotten out of there whenever she wanted to. We should trust nothing that she tells us, only what we hear and smell. That's a very roundabout way of saying that you should listen to me and take this seriously. Maybe. Just into the cabin. The interior of the cabin is ruinous and dilapidated. It feels like no one has lived here for a long time. Wind rushing in through cracks and holes in the wooden walls. The only furniture of note is a termite-eaten table with a pristine blade perched on its edge. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Uh, That's because there isn't another. There's a table, the, the blade sitting on the table, and the door to the basement. There's nothing else in here. There's definitely a mirror. There isn't. What a strange thing to lie about. Maybe he doesn't see it. Well, why would you lie about that? Doesn't matter. But it does matter. Don't we care if we're being lied to? If he's willing to lie about something as innocuous as a mirror, what else is he hiding from us? I'm not lying to you. Oh. Close your eyes. There is no mirror. Why would I lie about something so meaningless? What good would a mirror even do? Let's you waste time preening yourself instead of doing what needs to be done. But there was a mirror a second ago, and now it's gone. Um. Anyway. Okay. 
don't really need half of these anymore. All right, enter the basement. Still could. Nope. Do you think we can talk our way out? Yeah. I don't think she wants to talk. That's fine. I guess we'll just have to trust that we made the right call. It'll still be here if we need it. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing what's left of an old wooden staircase. It's still sturdy enough that you can make your way down in one piece, though you'll have to be mindful of holes. The air seeping up from below is oddly warm and wet, as if you're descending into a jungle. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. She growls up the stairs. I can smell you. She sounds almost feral. Oh boy. Patient. Or maybe... make your way down the stairs the last step gives way to the damp earth floor of a starlit pit the walls are obscured by an impenetrable darkness giving the illusion that the room might stretch on forever you brush against the wide leaves of plants that surround you on all sides seemingly the only living things that occupy this strange underground wilderness the jungle is pressing in on us Hiding her from view. She could be anywhere. Oh yeah, I wonder where she is. It's not like she's every furry sexual awakening. You see only a flash of the princess before she scurries away into the underbrush, dragging her heavy chain behind her. Remember, she's just a princess. She's certainly not just a princess. You're not helping. Shining eyes appear between the leaves, staring hungrily at you from the darkness. Oh, hey there. I can hear your heart pounding from the bottom of the stairs, fledgling. You're right to be terrified. I'm so much more than you. You sure are. Can't wait to see your full body. A shiver rushes up your spine and pulls you upright. Where's she? Where? Um. Oh, and this is probably important. Where? Don't you hear that clinking? She's in chains again. We're fine. We're not. Move. There's a shift in the humid air, and something enormous. <laughs> Lunges from the shadows, her more unhinged and dripping, her eyes fierce and full of hunger. Well, damn. She is too quick to outrun, too nimble to outmaneuver, too determined to overpower. This is her domain. You are devoured. Well, damn. I guess that's it then, isn't it? Unfortunately for you, no, this isn't it. Oh. You are in a dark and caustic place, a thick. Fibrous lining constricts around you, its slick surface impossible to grip. Your hands scrabbling uselessly at your surroundings as they compress in on you. Your lungs can barely expand in such a tiny space. Not that the humid, finite air grants you more than a few shallow breaths at a time. The liquid pooling beneath you starts to seep into your skin. You itch, then sting, then burn as the acid begins its slow work. When I killed you, I tried to leave this place, but it wouldn't let me. You belong down there, it screamed at me. The world is better off without you in it. The flesh around you rumbles as the princess begins to move, her thundering footfalls twisting you helplessly about. Your skin protests as the corrosive liquid sloshes around you, but there will be no respite for you in sight. The burning grows stronger, and you can feel layers of you being peeled away. But you, you don't belong down here. You came from somewhere else. You came from out there. So I consumed your dead heart, and I carried it in my throat, and I draped what was left of you on my back, and I threw myself against that door. She stops, her muscles tensing around you, 
and through the muffling layers of her flesh, you hear the whine of straining metal. And with a pop, she lurches forward, your body lurching right along with her. Her chain. She's loose. But even then, it denied me freedom. You cannot fool me by draping yourself in decay. I know your true nature, and it is suffering. Gravity pulls at you as you're hefted upwards, the distant creaking of ancient wooden steps barely audible over the thudding of the princess's heart. Mm. And then it was gone, and I was here. I mean, closer, a nicer cave but still a prison. I learn from my wounds. You're alive now. We can leave together. Does that work? Could she free herself if we're alive enough? Probably. Do you really need me to give you a definitive answer for you to understand that the situation is grim? Stop her. Do something. We don't have steel, but we have tooth and claw. Tear through her before we Can you talk to the cabin? Wait for death. I kinda wanna wait for death. Can you talk to the cabin? I understand it. And it understands me. Talking is for those who don't know how to listen. Uh, You could have asked me before swallowing me alive. I acted on my will, fledgling. And you acted on yours. The strong triumph, and the weak submit or perish. Your body is violently jostled, the disruption causing burning skin to slough from raw muscle, and you hear what you can only assume is the princess pulling against the door to the cabin. The cage is still locked. I don't think we can talk our way out of this. We are drowning in death. There's no more space for words. Uh, you need me to want to free you, don't you? You can't force me to let you out of here. Just because I want freedom doesn't mean I want to give you yours. You can leave, just let me go. Can I? The click of what you presume to be a door ripples through the layers of suffocating flesh. Yeah, I didn't think that would work. That wasn't so hard. You feel her take another massive step, and then another, and then... And then? It's gone quiet, hasn't it? You can feel a churning in the forms around you, and then a wet tunneling before you are ejected to a place that is nowhere at all. Oh. I guess I don't need you to be a part of me. How lucky for you. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Also, what the fuck are you? That is straight up the fucking Chimera from Full Metal Alchemist. This place. Like, look at that. That's the exact same hairstyle. <laughs> That's the exact same hairstyle as Nina. Like, you got me fucked up. That's literally the Chimera. But before you can say anything to her, she, she's gone. Memory returns. She's gone? Where did she go? Should we try and find her? Why would you? And there's that mirror again. Why is it here? Why now? Approach the mirror. You approach the mirror. Gaze into your reflection. You've unraveled. We're at the cabin. Approach her. There's a world beyond the empty cells of the Rancor. I'm supposed to be there. Do you know what you're fighting for? Um, you have thoughts on this vessel? This one is 
consumed by instinct, a predator pushing those around her to adapt. She will make for a bold heart. She wishes me to devour you, to make you a part of myself, but she is only a voice. Oh. Do not mourn her, for she is part of something greater. The next time I see you, each of us will finally know what we are. I will be here, waiting for you. Anything goes dark and you die. A feral vessel. Bring the beast to her. Uh. Okay. Claw and bite. Like the cornered animal you are, you tear against the thick membranes of her stomach with every part of you that can be made sharp. Nails, claws, teeth, hands, feet. I can feel you tearing through me, but are you thick enough for it to matter? Your body is violently jostled, the destruction causing burning skin to slop from raw muscle, and you hear what you can only assume is the princess pulling against the door to the cabin. The cage is still locked. Climb by it. Again you tear, heart pumping with adrenaline. Your ulcerating hands a blur of feverish motion fueled by the desperation to fight against being reduced to lifeless molecules and meat. The pulling returns to banging as the princess desperately throws everything at the cabin door. Your flesh screams as your reddened, spongy body is hit with fresh waves of blistering acid. You can't hold me forever. Climb by. Your energy is fading. You can hear her heart thumping somewhere close. There's so little of you left. Your fingers reduced to bone. Your nerves bare and screaming. The acid pooling around you now a soup of your skin and meat. You are a spark of will driving a melted corpse. But will can never truly exceed the limits of the flesh. Your vision finally begins to blur, your eyes clouding over as they melt in their sockets. What little air remains in this rancid stew of flesh and slippery organs is finally too foul to breathe and your lungs mercifully give out before you have to suffer another burning, liquefying moment. Everything goes dark, and you die. The Wild. Didn't I already do The Wild? Or... wait... Oh, huh, guess not. Yeah, I guess I didn't. Oh, no, I did. Or... It's in the first page? Let's see. Which one is... Oh, no, I didn't do this. We are a path in the woods. We have no beginning. And we have no end. Something cold. And unnatural sits watching us from just beyond our edge. His gaze pushes against our borders, pulling them in on themselves, preventing them from stretching to the places they need to reach. No, 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 that's all wrong. You're not a path in the woods, you're on a path in the woods. Who's even saying that? <laughs> that's not... That's not the princess, is it? Yes, it is. Oh, no. How many times have you been here? Uh, three. I think this is our third? That's bad. That's very, very bad. It wasn't even supposed to reach two. If you're at three, well, no wonder things aren't the way they're supposed to be. Let's get our facts straight. What happened last time? What could you have possibly done for things to be like this 
Um, I died. The thing that sits beyond our edge speaks his logic into us. He tries to grasp the things that cannot be grasped. He tries to stare with wide pupils at that which can only be held from the corner of the eye or with a passing glance. Shut up. The rest of you talk. What happened? What did you do? She hears you talk. I can hear everything, little you. But you don't have to be afraid of me. There's no place where you end and I begin. Nothing can hurt me here. Not anymore. That's just because she devoured us and we dissolved away. We don't even exist as a body anymore. We're still here, though. And if we're safe, isn't that better? She ate? And now you're convinced that you're stuck together? What next? He doesn't understand. We aren't convinced of anything, and we aren't stuck together. We're one. This is how we're supposed to be. Can't you feel it? I guess that's it then. This is us now. We're the woods. Okay. Uh... This thing watching us, what is he? Uh, oh my god, there's a lot to go over. I'm not watching you, I'm trying to help you. That's not an answer to our question. <laughs> I don't know what he means. I only know that he is something other, and that he wishes for you and I to tear ourselves apart. Yeah. I do want that only because it's in your best interests. It's in everyone's best interests. You won't be able to slay her unless you remove yourself from her. He wants us to kill each other. I don't. I want you to kill her. Don't be charmed by her faux solidarity. You're not in this together. She's the only one who poses a threat to the world, and she's trying to make you go along with it. You don't have to enable her. Especially when you have what it takes to stop her. I've had enough of this guy. How do we stop him? You push back. It may feel like he's everywhere, but presence isn't strength. Otherwise, he would have torn us apart by now. There must be a crack in the walls of this prison. There must be a way for us to be free from him. She's trying to use you. After everything she's done, you should be able to see that. I may not have been around to witness it, but clearly you remember what happened. How about you try remembering how it all felt? Remember how it felt? Turn inward and find your freedom. Um. Okay. Um, remember how it felt. We can't go back to that. We can't go back to the fear and the hunger and the pain. Not after being something as beautiful as this. Doesn't all that conflict feel so far away right now? So petty? We've been posed against each other by something that understands the strength of our unity. I can feel a thumping. A heart. Distant terror that keeps getting louder the more we pay attention. Please, stop. If you let it in, we'll fall apart. No. Don't look at it! Bury it now before it's too late. Gaze at the terror in your heart. Please, don't make us remember how I was. And just like that. You start to fall apart. I can remember it now. I didn't like being eaten. I'd forgotten how much it burned. And the air was so hard to breathe. She didn't care. She 
didn't care at all. As you remember the terror and pain you felt at the hands of the princess, you start to remember something else, too. You remember that you are a distinct being with a finite form and a mortal body. You can feel it. There is a shifting of the space around you, the infinitesimal movement of your molecules rearranging back into the shape of what you're meant to be. I don't like this. It's better for us to be the woods. I don't want to go back. No! I devoured you! I won! I put things back the way they were supposed to be! Some division, when sown, can never truly be mended. A cavernous gash rips across whatever it was you thought you were. A cabin comes into being among the trees. It approaches, and it swallows your body whole. Then you find yourself blade in hand, exactly as they meant it to be. At the center of it all is the princess, a wooden and fleshy heart beating with an unbroken rhythm. You're filled with a sense of purpose. Strike at her. End this once and for all. I feel empty, don't you? Always have been. Us, we never should have left her. I feel safe. She isn't dangerous anymore. We could leave her. We could both leave. Do we have to do this? You have to. You know you have to. And now I want to kill you, not really, but we can't be on. But we can't be the same thing as each other. I had to put it into whatever happened to us or slay the princess. You raise the blade, taking aim at her heart. And then you strike. I'm sorry. Will you never see her die? It's time to leave. Memory returns. She's gone. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? Or wait? We pushed a mirror. Find yourself in the long quiet once again. Proceed to the cabin. You are at the cabin. Approach her. Oh There's damn. There's a world beyond the endless valleys of the long quiet. I am curious to see what it means for us to know. Mm, do you have thoughts on this vessel? This one is like a shadow of me, twisting vines in search of answers. She will make my curious heart. Do not mourn her. She has found what she longed for. Ready to go back. The next time I see you, each of us will finally know what we are. I will be here, rooting for you. Ring goes dark and then you die. A wounded vessel. Bring the wounded wild to her. Um... I'm going to let you free her. You have another thing coming. And that other thing is... You just have to wait and find out when it happens. Ignore him. His words only confuse us. Just do it. You're tired, aren't you? No, I'm not. I'm... Whatever. Cut the princess down from the roots that bind her. I hope you're happy. Good luck getting her out of here. I think we are happy, actually. We might not be a part of her, but being around her is almost the same. Almost. 
I didn't think you would do that after everything. It's so cold without you. You don't get a chance to respond, nor will you ever. Sensibly, your memory returns. She's gone. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? What do you think? There's the mirror, gaze. I already have this. Alright. Then. Alright. This is where I'm gonna. This is where I'm gonna take a break. I think I don't have any more time to. Um, I don't think I have any more time to play this on this stream. I think I have to play it, on um on the next stream. Which, honestly, I am planning to. Let me just move myself a little bit more. There we go, like that. Okay, I think I have to make a new stream afterwards, so...